11 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Good morning, how are you doing? Now here we are at The Craft Store and we have a brand new day full of inspiration and gorgeous products to play around, but even more gorgeous at demonstrators. We have got Rosella to show us all about Malacca Designs. How are you? Good morning. How are you, Paul? I'm very well. As soon as I walked in, it was like color cross stage, beautiful designs. Yeah. You love those, don't you? I, d I do. And when you when you look at these designs, it's it's like spring bottled into a yes. kit, isn't it? The colours are so vibrant, and there's some new uh, Maloka. This is only our second show with Maloka. Okay. Um, a fantastic launch, and um, Megan, whose company it is, oh. um, she's really really talented designer, and you can see that from 
the um, designs that we're going to see. She's got some watercolour designs on there, and they're really different. They're really contemporary, they're fun to stitch, and they are absolutely stunning as finished pieces. Oh, Very excited. Very excited. And uh, the thing about what you are saying is just the colour uh, that you have in here. But also, I love how, you know, they are bigger pieces as well, yeah. you know, that you could be making into a cushion, maybe. Could you make it? Absolutely. But, uh, I mean, you've got that, like, this tree. Isn't yeah. that absolutely fantastic? Beautiful. That's almost got sort of dawn and, and sunset in it at the same yes, time, yeah. hasn't it? Four seasons as well. Uh, it, is, it is, absolutely. And yes, that would make a beautiful cushion. It would make a centerpiece for a quilt, yeah. maybe, or a tablecloth, oh, yeah. um, or actually as a picture on the wall. And I just think it's absolutely lovely. Um, I like that we've got the branches radiating out into yeah. the plain aider. So, I mean, you could actually perhaps put family members on there. That's what exactly yeah, what family I was tree. thinking right now. <laughs> Oh, it's exactly. Um, wouldn't that be lovely, perhaps to celebrate something within the family? Yeah. Um, you know, maybe you've got a significant wedding anniversary and then you come Absolutely. up with members of the family that happen to be there. And I just think it's such a super, super design. I was just thinking as well, because the way that is uh, holded and he displays, uh, this would be really lovely if you put it like this and then you make it into the front of an album, a family <gasps> album with yes. the heirlooms and all the pictures and there. <sighs> That would be super, and it's so tactile, it's it? cross stitch. I know we shouldn't touch your embroidery, but actually, when oh. you see it, you've got to, haven't you? And it really is so tactile. I think that's a super Should idea. Actually? It is just so oh, beautiful. Uh, right, it is absolutely stunning. I love how it's like a explosion of color behind the tree. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price, and of course, you are getting here the uh, Ada. Uh, do you know what what count of Ada? It, yes, it's fourteen count. Fourteen count, and then you have all the thread you need. Beautiful colors in here, and then of course you are also getting the all important um, the charts. I love. I have to say, I love a color chart. I know that is not uh, some people, you know. I prefer the symbols, but this one has both, That's right? That's right, absolutely. And actually, if we can compare the size of the chart to the finished article, you'll see that it's so much larger as well, which means it's easier to see. Yes. So it's easier to stitch. And I, yeah, I like the fact that it's in full colour. You've got DMC threads with this as well. So this, this is a, such a beautiful quality kit. And it's it's really lovely to stitch as well. So your threads aren't sort of yeah. tangling. And, yeah, absolutely. Um, you've got everything in it that you need. You've got an embroidery needle in there. You've got full instructions in there that's the color chart and the symbol chart there so that you're yeah. going to be referring to that as you're stitching along and I think Megan's thought of absolutely everything I for this. love this I love the designs I love how everything comes in a really good quality 29 pounds and 99 pence you can see also it's just like the light larger size I just think it's just striking 762658 is your item number then you know, it's hard to have a favorite because I have about four favorites in this hour, four favorite favorites, but this one is definitely one of them. Yeah. There is something about the negative space of the heart. I think that's it, isn't it? It's so unusual, and I know um, we chatted earlier about yeah. potentially putting a name within yes, that, that and there's a kit later on that's got some lettering, um, or just, again, a significant date, something to celebrate. Perhaps, actually, when you stitch this, and maybe you're a beginner, you've gained your confidence, maybe you put one of your own design within Ooh, there as well that would be lovely. you know our design from uh, one of the other kits but again it's got all of those colors so perhaps you're having a theme in your house you're gonna have the tree you're gonna have the heart you know that they're gonna tie in together Absolutely. I think it's just a gorgeous gorgeous design I mean, this one is one of those ones that you're going to really frame I think I would frame it but I would also put I love to incorporate pictures in here so a black and white picture of my niece maybe or my mom or my dad you know something like this like with a clip a Peg, peg, peg board, yeah, but not a peg yeah. board. Yeah, exactly. Magnetic. Oh, magnetic, exactly. So, yeah, you could put a magnetic sheet behind so that we're not actually putting any pins in here. Yeah. And then, um, actually, we've got or a little... metal plate and then magnets onto it. That's it, little needle minders. You know, which, by the way, we do have needle minders as well. So, that would be uh, also, we'll, we'll talk about those ones later. Mm. Uh, as per usual, you are getting that fabulous chart, as Rosella pointed out. That larger size scale means that you can see it perfectly. I love the color and symbol uh, charts in here so perfect for both wh whichever you prefer in terms of following and then of course we have got the cross stitch i'm not going to show it again but just kind of reference it that we, you have it as well uh, in whichever kit you go for it's absolutely stunning i mean this is about 
I mean, my hand is about eight inches, so about 12 inches more or less in the board. So that is a really nice um, finished piece in here. £29.99 is your price. 036-367 is your item number then we have got the birds. Is that the one of the yes. birds that you have? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's my little um, dicky bird uh, oh. brooch because I just thought I love it as it is. Yes. I think it's a super, super sampler, but actually to choose some of them from it and I just thought it's a fun thing to I do. I love this. And again, I'm just thinking this will be amazing as a cushion with all the yes. birds. Am I right thinking also, once that you have, because you're getting the chart, uh, we could then go in and say, well, uh, I can do these birds in a different project. Ex absolutely, maybe three in a row, something yes. like that. Or, yeah, or two um, kissing each other. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> How about uh, so? What about on a, a door plate for somebody's room? You could put the bird, and then you could put the name on there yeah. as well. You, you're going to find so many things that you can actually use these little birds for, and they're so much fun to stay. And your idea of having them like um, you know, like a support also kind of uh, you know, I was thinking keychain yep. or, or hanging, hanging to the yeah. thing, you know. Oh, how about us on something like a tree? So whether it's yes. a Christmas tree, whether it's an Easter tree, whether it's an everyday tree, or on a, an indoor wreath, something like or that. Or even you could make them into little satchels for lavender so to put in their yes. wardrobe and things like that because that allows you to do it these. does yeah because they are sort of standalone motifs there's so many things little gift greeting cards oh yes gift tags Absolutely. anything like that bookmarks. at all bookmarks bookmarks, bookmarks. Yeah, that would like, be nice oh, i love that Oh, actually, you know, the little corner bookmarks, yes. rather than that they would look super, because that's oh, the sort of shape they are, isn't yeah. it, sort of triangular. That would work. So, uh, well, £24 and £99, you can see Rosella and myself getting very excited <laughs> about this one, because the possibilities are endless and the designs are stunning. 055645 is your item number. Then we have, I mean, this is one of my favourites as well, because the finished sample is like um, the one that I'm thinking, oh, this is me, my future, whoever, and then, of course, the future future cat as well so it's just such a lovely project but you don't have to do somebody who resembles resembles me you can do anybody I love that you have a chart for everybody I, I, I love the fact that you can actually stitch your own family or actually you could choose your family yes. you? like, actually if Henry Franny are out of it I'm gonna have yeah absolutely <laughs> or I mean, just I feel, dogs and I have to say because obviously my, my, my niece is uh, you know is black so it is so lovely to have dark skin tones in there I mean I just adore the fact that it's so inclusive different hairstyles you can mix and match right yes I, you know. I, I love the baby in the prom I think that's yeah, just so that's much fun uh, for, for maybe a birth sample or something yeah. like that, that I love just... that you get a bald man I love that you have got shirts with you know Derek shirts in there I love that you get a, a guy with a man <laughs> Oh, no, I get. I love that you have got different types of dogs, cats, and the alphabet as well. Exactly. So we were saying about the heart, perhaps putting a name within yeah. the heart or something significant. You've got all the alphabet there, so that you're going to be able to use that as well. I just think this is so much fun. It is, and I love the fact that you have got different heights as well, so you can then again mix and match. You could create a whole family. So, for instance, I'm thinking of my sister, and I'm just automatically thinking, well, actually, my sister looks a little bit like this. My brother-in-law looks a little bit like him. And then, of course, Alima, my niece, looks a bit like her. So then I said, but then I could mix and match. And then I'm thinking, oh, but my mom. So then I can change it. It's just so adorable. And I, this, this is the thing. You can see the whole family, no matter the colors came to on. Um, you know, £29.99. £99. Very busy for this one. If you want it, please make sure to check out your baskets as per usual. You are getting two uh, Ada's here? That's right. So you've got the cream and the white with <laughs> within there as well. So, <laughs> sorry. I've had to laugh. Pal is actually under the, under the table at the moment, picking up the, the, these gorgeous DMC yeah. threads. And you've got such a lot in there. And like you say, you've got a lot of different tones in there as well. Yeah. So you're going to be able to choose from there. You get mm. a, a huge amount of thread with this as well. So you, you've got so much. And also what's really important is it's actually got the DMC number with it. Yes. So actually, if you decide that your entire family is going to wear all of the same clothes, oh. and there's 40 of them, then you can always stock up if you need to. That's, that's such a good point. I love that. I absolutely think that that attention to detail is extraordinary. I think this is worth, I mean, I would just put this, well, not just because of the, what you are getting, as a to complete this time but then 
uh, then you could do something like Christmas presents for the different families as well, the things like this. Oh, that would be, how about personalised Christmas cards, but actually yes. real personalised, as in, that's you? That's, that's, you. Really, yeah. that's you. Well, I was just thinking, our Emily, uh, who is a producer here, uh, she, uh, she commissioned Holly, I think it was Holly, uh, to do like a portrait of her family, like a, just a, as an illustration, you know, an illustration. Uh -huh. uh, how amazing would be that now this year, that is a cross stage one, yeah. you know, just to make like kind of growing the family as well. If you have got a new pet, you want to celebrate that. Yeah. If you have got a new rival uh, for um, Yanis and baby Archer, you yeah. know, like kind of that would work so well. Uh, and that's that's such a, an amazing memento as well. Yes. For a, that could be on a box, a baby box, so that's the rival of the baby. That would be lovely, because that, that's it. That is your heirloom, isn't it? Exactly. That's, that's going to go with that child. And you can put the, the date of the birth as well. So then it, it, there's so much potential. And remember, you are getting the chart in there too, so you will be able to do that more and more and more. But you, of course, you have enough to create one of them. Well, two of them, actually. 093637 is your item number. Remember, this is the, the only hour of Maloka Designs are here with Rosella today so make sure to check out your baskets then we have a returning favorite and this is the elephant the absolutely elephant uh, gorgeous elephant across the stage kit now this is full of color isn't yes. it again yeah absolutely i sent you earlier i'd have this on my yoga bag yeah. i think this is absolutely the most beautiful beautiful design um the colors in it the design in it with the flower there and like you mentioned earlier the trunk lifting yeah. upwards um i just think it's a super design in fact and also we, we talked about needle minders earlier paula there's yeah. actually a needle minder to match this because it is just Me such too. a beautiful design and um I'd, I'd almost be inclined to when i stitched it to leave that with the finished piece yeah. didn't you yeah, absolutely. By the way, it's a different item number there is, uh, we're going to reference in a second. You want to go for the gorgeous elephant, uh, £25.99, one, three, one, uh, sorry, it's gone, uh, the item number. But there, let's have a look. Uh, there it is, oh, 799. It should, I should remember that. Uh, but then we have, of course, the needle minder you can see here. So is that a magnetic, right? That's right. So, um, I mean, I'll show you this when I'm actually um, demonstrating, but these are great for also badges as well and we mentioned maybe yeah. a pin board something yeah, like absolutely. that these are really quite a collectible little item as well we've got quite a few and i just think eight they're very practical and useful but they're also very very beautiful they are indeed 1095 is your price 244803 is your item number then we have the uh gorgeous feathers now again this is another one that you we can take them out yeah. right absolutely um the boho feathers is, like the colors on this are absolutely dreamy aren't they but yes of course you could then separate this you could perhaps um make a long design if you wanted to you could do one of those where you've got sort of four or three pictures in a row on that as well um I, I, it's just it's, I, I demonstrated this one on the last show, actually, and it is a beautiful design to stitch. It really is. It is absolutely gorgeous. I, there is something about the designs from Maluka Designs that is just so um, refreshing. Yes. I mean, I love cross stage. I think it's one of the most wonderful, for me personally, mindful exercises. Mm -hmm. There is some rhythm to it. But having these amazing feathers in there, it's just, it's that kind of ethereal nature of the feather falling down it is something incredibly refreshing i love it i, I think it is it's natural isn't it it's and natural, it's yeah. it's something we do rejoice in nature you know yeah. if a feather does drop but again going back to maybe personalizing how about choose one of those and then choose yeah. a, a verse that's very yeah. personal to you or Absolutely. to the person yeah. you're going to give it to and and i, I love the maloka designs because you, you this is your start of 10 yeah. isn't it you've got this fabulous fabulous kit and once you stitch that then you're going to take it onwards yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Thirty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Nine eight seven seven four eight is your item number. And then another one of my. I mean, I, I love them all to be honest. But this one is the map. I think this is extraordinary. If you like to travel to pay and make a pin yep. out of the destinations you have been, <laughs> dream destinations. I, I think that's it, isn't it? May, maybe everyone in the family has to put a little pin of where they would like to go. Yeah. And they're, they're never going to be the same, are they? But <laughs> <laughs> make it so much easier if they it were. Yes. I mean, I just think it's just 
again a travel journal you could have it as a kind of a uh, the, the or a photo album the cover as well i just think it's just an amazing of course you have got the chart you are getting the ada and of course you are getting the uh, dmc a threads as well 25 pounds and 99 pence is your price 344156 is your item number absolutely gorgeous you can see everything on the website but also the end of cold offers which are those needle minders now you have the cactus uh you you have also the gorgeous a bee you have got a black hat which is absolutely adorable you have also a, a you know a little dog face and you also have eat sleep stitch repeat and you also have got the seven uh, inch embroidery hoop uh, as well for 3.99 and of course if you don't have one you can add it onto your cage and of course you don't have the uh, the uh, pay p and p right and i have to show you some of those needle minders because look at the gorgeous they are such a good quality as well they are, they really are. Ooh. Oh, you've got that. <laughs> and they're very magnetic. Can you oh, tell? <laughs> who would have thought it? You have got the cat in here. You have as well the gorgeous, uh, look at that, the eat, repeat, and estate. And then we have got the dog face as well. Here we have it. But look at that gorgeousness. And then the cactus as well. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Make sure that you add them onto your, uh, when you're checking out your baskets or when you are giving us a call here at the craft. So, right, Rosella, how okay. do we start? So I, I wanted to look at the watercolour heart first. And I wanted to open it so that you know exactly what you're getting at home because there's nothing more exciting to me to actually get a kit home, a brand yes. new kit. I just think it's just wonderful. When they come through the post, it's like, oh, I can't wait to open these. So it's very noisy, sorry. Um, these are all hand-packed by Megan and her team just in Birmingham. So she's very, very local to us. And um, it's just wonderful that we've got this super local success story. So, I mean, Megan's company started in 2017. So wow. it's, it's, it's four years yeah. old now. There's now three of them it's working like, yeah, on this. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah, absolutely. And it's beautifully put together. So you've got the photograph there. And it's a really good photograph. You can actually see every single stitch on this as well. So, you know, as you work in, it's always nice mm. just to see where you're going to. Um, you've got the... There we go. The um, chart. So this was the DMC. This is the colour number of the thread. So if you've never stitched with thread before and it's like, what are you talking about? Um, each thread colour is numbered so that then you can buy more of it. And it tells you how many strands to use. So on this design, we're using then two strands, which is a sort of, you know, fairly regular. And how many skeins of that you've actually got. You've got the beautiful design there. So when you stitch this, if, if you then decide, you know, actually, I am going to personalize this, then you can actually try it out with a pencil on here and erase it and see exactly how it's going to work. And then you can stitch that. You've also then got um, your instructions and your guide. So if you've never cross stitched before, it tells you even what, what cross stitch is. It's the transfer of design on a chart onto a piece of fabric. Um, what scissors you'll need, which is the only thing you'll actually need is scissors. Everything else is in your kit. It shows you how to begin, um, how to uh, end, how to uh, weave your needle, your thread through so that it keeps it tidy and secure and even how to stitch. Now, um, one thing that's really different with Maloka is that you get a needle with your kit, yeah. which is here, and you'll notice it's sharp. It's actually an embroidery needle. Now, cross stitch um, as often has a blunt needle because the holes are preformed. Yeah. Um, you don't necessarily need a point on your needle. However, if you then come to do what we call a three-quarter stitch, which oh, is sort of, of half of it, yeah. and then you're going to go through the centre. Well, if you've ever tried to do that with a cross-stitch needle, it's, it's like, not easy. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. it, it goes one way or the other, and it's, it's not going to be the way you want. So an embroidery needle, I think that is just such a great idea. Um, Megan even tells you how to do French knots on here as well, and carrying your thread, and that's really important. So if I just go back to this design here, um, if we were stitching this, this sort of coral colour here and decided actually the next bit we wanted to stitch was over here, we wouldn't travel our thread across there because you've got holes in the fabric, it's likely to show through. So you'd then end it and you'd restart. But actually it's really well, worth knowing that because unless you've done it, you don't understand, you don't realise. 
So um, it's, it's all there in the instructions. And then what you've also got on there, now look at these threads. Let me get the white table for this so that you can see these because these are just absolutely lush, aren't they? Just, and look how much you've got. This is very strokeable, wow. actually. Just look at that. And again, these are all hand-packed by Megan and her team. So um, they're just, you know you've got exactly what you need. Yes. So if we were going to begin, where are we going to begin? So you're going to start by this, finding the center of your fabric. So if you notice on your design that the center is marked, you've got a little arrow at the top there and it's actually a red line it's following. You've got a little arrow on the side there. And where these designs cross, that's the center of your design. So let's put it, which is there. Now, because this is a negative, you're gonna, you're gonna count from that center. Now, to find the center on your ADA, what you need to do is just literally fold it in half and crease it. Okay. And fold it in half again. And crease it. And yeah. that is the center. Yeah. Now, I find it a lot easier if we actually mark that center. Now, I, often I would use an air erasable pen. Because this is, the, this is going to be blank, I wouldn't use an air erasable pen on this one because you don't want any residue at all staying within the center of your heart. It's going to be a beautiful heart, and if it's got a cross in the middle of it, that's hmm, difficult yeah. to work around. So what I would do is just put some tacking stitches down. So choose the line that's going to be your center. Okay. And just put some loose tacking stitches down to show exactly where it crosses right and um, large stitches and particularly on this design you're not going to stitch over a lot of this yeah. thread but you want to be able to take these stitches out easily yeah absolutely yeah. and it just means then that when you go back to it when you start counting because you think oh it's okay I'll be going back to it tomorrow a couple of days later when you, you pick it up and it's yeah. like oh I can't quite remember exactly where I was heading with this one question I have mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, would they, once you take the packing stitches off, would it, they leave any mark? Uh, the hole, will it, is there any big, it will be, be bigger or you will have? No. no, no, providing you that you use a smaller needle and yeah. w when you've used it, if you frog it, so if yeah. you just sort of rub it, yeah. it'll, mm -hmm. it'll get that, um, the, the ADA back into mm. under control, basically. And that's uh, one of the benefits, isn't it, of using ADA as yes. well? Because sometimes other fabrics can have more memory of that yes fabric, yeah. that's right um, and then I would just leave it like that now the other thing that I probably would do yeah. and I would do this with an air erasable pen yeah. is pop a little arrow oh yes saying that's the way I'm working <laughs> yeah that's now, a very on the heart it's going to be fairly self-explanatory yeah. when you start working it but on some designs um, especially if you're thinking of maybe the feather yeah. and I found this really important you turn it upside down it's like where, where was I? I I can't quite remember you know I've got black there oh I've got that in the wrong place and then you answer no just turn it up the right way around so that's how I would begin with that mm. and then what I would do is I would establish where I'm going to start stitching so which side from this now because the top of the heart is closer that's less counting so I'd probably start there actually so it's each of these blocks is 10 she says with confidence yep yeah. so that would be um, 11 up from the yeah. center so I would start where did I put my arrow that way around yeah. so I'd start counting 11 up from the center and can, that's can I ask a silly question just to remind no so when question. you say 11 is it 11 threads or 11 holes it doesn't really matter as long okay. as you've it's it's constant so yeah. I, I would use 11 blocks because you're counting in blocks yeah so I would count that at one two blocks Perfect. and then yeah, yeah it'd be the block above that you yeah. were covering and then you, all you need to do then is to split your thread. So that one would be, it's a little, let's go back to my chart, which I'll put down somewhere. It's the coral color and it's a little diamond. So that's this. The other thing I, I do like to do is actually photocopy this as well. Yeah. Because you've got a color chart, yeah. if you mark it as you go along to what yeah. you've actually done, um, and you, if I got green, if I'm marking green, it's not gonna show, then, um, Always maybe perhaps black and white yeah. copy and just mark it off. That's just, a very good Again, idea. just to give you a bit yeah. of an idea of how you're getting on. Yeah. Or um, you could, if you don't have a photocopier at time, I would take a picture maybe. Yes. Uh, so to preserve it. So then I kind of do it onto here and then I can print it off 
the if I want to do it again. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes I kind of sometimes I feel that um, not everybody might have a copier or something like that or even a printer. But at least if you have the picture, you know that if you wanted one day to do it again, you would have it there. Oh, pencil crayons rather than a oh, pen yeah, that absolutely. you could then erase. Yeah. yeah. So, um, or, or, or if you are very, very clever and you have got a uh, vellum or parchment or tracing paper, you could yes. do it, put it on top, glue it, and then lift it up, and then the vel parchment you, or the tracing paper, you do the stitching, like the um, marking. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, we're, we're very creative at this time. <laughs> we in the morning, are aren't we? this morning, yeah. <laughs> this right and early. Um, and then that's that's pretty much how I'd begin. So that would be the colour, it's the 947. Now what you could also do is actually put the, the symbol on here as well. So um, it, that's the little diamond, so we could put the little diamond on there. Just again, if you've got a couple of colours that are similar, so 352, 722, they're quite close in tone. So maybe then 352 is like a little umbrella. Perhaps they put the little umbrella there just so that when you are going to it and you're thinking, oh yeah, you're stitching away, it's this coral colour, you're picking up exactly the right colour. Yeah, absolutely. That is fabulous. And that's how we start. Of course, if you want to go for the hard cross at Stage Kit, £29.99 is your price. Look at the finished result. It is absolutely stunning. It's like this burst of colors that kind of, you know, imagine that Leone has been into the studio, has thrown all the paint over, has had one of her tantrums. I'm joking. Leone's over there. She's not listening. But I'm just kind of throwing some. Uh, no, but you imagine that. And then, of course, you remove that masking and that's the white heart in there. Think about if you have an alphabet, you can then bring in, the, you know, kind of those, those elements. You can bring in those gorgeous uh, monograms, uh, dates. Maybe it's a wedding, um, you know, to remember an anniversary. It is absolutely stunning. £29.99 is your price. And then we have the kind of element in here as well. So you have all this gorgeousness. And then remember, you can frame it. You can stage into it, make it into a cushion so much more. But we also have a very popular elephant. Uh, it's been very busy again. The elephant cross stage uh, kit here. This is the finished result, £25.99. And, and of course, it gives you the Ada, but also this beautiful colors, the beautiful design in here. P perfect um, for so so many occasions with that trump going upwards to receive the good luck and the blessings. Very popular um, also when it was here first. Uh, it did sell out. If you want to grab yours, maybe you missed out. 131799 is your item number. £25.99. Now, if you want the matching and needle minder, we do have it on the show. Is the gorgeous needle mind. Let me put it. 20% of the stock has gone. And now they are super strong magnets. You can see in here. So these you put it onto your embroidery hoop. And then of course you can put the needle over the top and it mines it. But also this could go onto a magnetic board. It could be onto your handbag. Maybe you have, like for instance, I wear hair pins or, you know, you know, cloth pins or whatever, not cloth pins, I don't wear over cloth pins, uh, safety pins. Uh, so you could have them in your, in, your, in your handbag and then of course that could hold them together. There is so many ways and it could be a charm, it could be something on a magnetic board, so many ways, not just as a needle minder, but that's the purpose, 10.99, super quality. I mean, it's really, you can feel the quality here. 244803 is your item number, £10.95. Right, Rosella? Okay. So what there is the next one? So, um, the watercolour tree. As you were looking at the elephant, Paula, I, I wanted to um, just show you the quality and actually the, the cost of these um, kits because I was just counting how many threads you're getting with this tree kit. I mean, this is DMC yes. thread, isn't it? And you're getting a huge, I can't stop stroking this, yeah. you're getting a huge <laughs> amount. Soft, yeah. It's so soft, it's lovely. Um, and it's, I, I just think the way it's put together, yeah. if you're gifting this to someone, they are going to yeah. be absolutely thrilled. They really are. Yeah. So the watercolour tree, I just think this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, we're going to start to stitch this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, find the centre again. So we're going to head down to the centre, um, which is around there. Now, yeah. what I would do on the tree, because it's, it's such a stunning design, I'd go straight for the tree first. And I would stitch the tree first because then everything works from it. Yeah. So, and the branches are easily identifiable. 
um, so that you know then if you're actually going to start into the blue green section then you're going to be working around these branches here so once you've got that tree in there and also if you are beginning and this is your first counted cross stitch because a lot of people <coughs> excuse me a lot of people embroiderers have, have shied away from counted cross stitch because it's counted I mean you know the name itself yeah. is fairly scary isn't it but actually it, it is just following a pattern yeah. which you know we do in everyday life don't we so you're going to find the center again by pinching it and on this one because it's all colored in I just pop a little mark there just to say that's actually the center on here and that's where I'm going to work what I would also do is I would use a hoop for this um, I, I like to stitch in a hoop this, this is my personal preference. It's not essential. If you've not tried stitching in a hoop before, try it and see how you get on. Um, these hoops that I'm going to use, these are actually a non-slip hoop. So they're slightly different to um, an embroidery hoop that you might be used to because they've got this little ridge here. Um, I discovered these when I did needle punching because you need the, the fabric taut and they really do grab the fabric slightly more tricky to get them in your hoop because you've got that to go over so make it a little bit looser than you perhaps ordinarily would and what I tend to do is to, to, to put it so that the outer hoops on the bottom so you're pressing against it and the inner hoop then can go inside so it's in there and then tighten it up and it's really quite satisfying to tighten it up so. so you're getting four of the non-slip embroidery hoops. Nine ninety-nine is your price. You're getting a three-inch, a five-inch, a seven-inch, and a nine-inch. Uh, Two zero seven and six five seven is your item number. Actually, just on that, can I show you what that looks like? Because yes, I know please. it's easy to say, oh, this, this yes. is a three-inch. Okay. <laughs> What's that then? So this is the one that you put in your purse when you're taking your stitching everywhere ah, like I do. Yes. So for small designs, and actually that is a lovely hoop. If you're doing something really bright, that would be a great display hoop as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. And also because you've got that hook there, it means that they're easy to hang. Oh, so uh, true, again, this one, if you're stitching my little bird, yeah, then that would be a great size to stitch a bird. Yeah. I'm using the orange one now and then for the larger projects so when we've started stitching and we've got more stitching if you can then go on to a larger hoop it means that your stitching is not caught in the hoop yeah. so sort of keep moving on as you're progressing yeah. with your stitching I, I remember when I was uh, doing cross stitch often I, I was when I, I always tell the story which is when um, I was a, I think it was the equivalent of a levels or O levels in in Spain uh, you know cross stitching did help me to relax uh, you know with the exams and things like that and for my mind was really good and I remember having I started with a medium size but then having a bigger one really helped me to like, just what you explain it that that sort of not the squishing the embroidery you have done and yeah. it really is great to have all the different sizes and also I love the idea that you just mentioned the smaller one the three inch in the handbag yeah oh absolutely my stitching goes absolutely everywhere with me because i stitch every single yes. day and have done for years now um so it's you know it goes into some all sorts of unusual places and sometimes you know if you're traveling you don't want to be taking you know my big hoop no, i just absolutely. want to take a little bit of something yeah. and um i was talking yesterday about maybe now that we can see friends in the garden, yes, in the garden. and on nice days we could stitch in the garden so you, you know perhaps yeah. make up a little set and say this is for you this is for me or this is for you and this is for me <laughs> it at them uh, and sit and stitch together because that's yeah. the memory isn't it, it? Is. and that's what it's all about Absolutely. Um, just on your hoops if you do have this clip on one of the seat stands you've got from us then you'll find that it fits on there really nicely and needle minders I need to tell you about needle minders don't I look this is how essential your needle minder is how many times I mean I've got a dog so I'm, I try and be careful where I put my needles so because you know mm -hmm. if you've got an animal you don't want them to to catch it but how many times do we put it on a lap thinking that's okay because I'm picking that up? Um, or actually, um, I've seen people, you know, yeah. in your mouth. It shouldn't third, be done. Sorry to interrupt, okay. Rosella, but the elephant and needle minder, a third of the stock has gone really busy for this one. It's absolutely a delightful. And I just think if you have gone for the elephant cross stitch out either today or in the past, this is perfect, makes perfect to use it. Right, so back to you, Rosella. Okay, so I just want to show you if you've never split. Um, stranded cotton before uh, then I want to show you what to do now um, ordinarily for embroidery you want about 
the length from your middle finger to your elbow. Yes. That's that's sort of the optimum length where it's not going to tangle too much and it's not going to fray the thread. Yeah. So um, sort of, I've got obviously slightly shorter arms than Megan <laughs> has <laughs> measured this, but these threads are pre-cut to this length, so it's yeah. perfect. So that's all good. you need to do then is to split it because this is double, and I'll show yeah. you that. So you're going to grab one of those strands. I can tell it's early in the morning, can't you? There we go. See, for me, it's almost perfect. And I've got long arms, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna you're gonna hang on to the majority of it with some fingers, and thumb and index finger can hold the one then that you're gonna use. And you're gonna gently sort of twist and separate it as you go along. Mm -hmm. Now you do need to then move your hands, unless you've got very very long arms, and. <laughs> Just keep working your way down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's always that tendency when you get oh, to the end, yeah. and I'm sure you've done this, power, and you think, yeah, I'm there. Yeah. And it knocks oh, yes, up I, within the last yeah. inch. <laughs> so, Been just, there, gone that. Yeah, absolutely. Control yourself when you get to the end. <laughs> there we go. And put that bit of thread yeah. back straight onto the card, yeah. because if you go into my house, there's thread everywhere. I walk it around the place. The dog's often wearing it, and it's just everywhere. everywhere. So, and then what I would do is I would put the two loose ends through the eye of the needle okay. rather than just one and not mm -hmm. it. So we're going to put the two loose ends and I'm not going to thread this because you've seen me thread needles before. It's a long process. So I've got one that I threaded earlier. Mm -hmm. There we go. So <laughs> let's pop that out of the oh. way. We can edit that in later. So <laughs> there's the loop yeah. is on the bottom. So we're going to start with a looped method and this means that we don't need a knot for this. Oh, that's a we, clever one. Yeah, it's nice and neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to go back to our chart to find out exactly where the center was. So it's, we're going to, let's start on this row here. Yeah. And it's, in fact, I'm going to start on this row because this is the only row that's got the five stitches. Okay. So we'll do five heading left. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to pop this seam frame. Yeah down so that I can actually see you it. Have got, what is it called? I always forget. Is it a hoop a holder? A uh, seat frame, a embroidery seat frame, yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to bring up, now it doesn't matter which way you want to cross stitch, whether you want to start left to right or you want to start right to left, whatever's actually comfortable to you. So I'm going to go left to right and um, I'm going to cross over the majority of my thread still underneath my hoop. So I'm going to turn it over now. And if I just turn that round, I'm going to bring it through, and I'm yeah. just going to pop my needle through that loop. Okay, yeah. And that's then clever. it's nice and tidy. No, okay, so, so to start, that's a, that's a really nice method, and it means that you don't have to then worry about where your loose ends are going. Mm -hmm. There are other methods, but we'll just start with that one, and then we'll finish off so that you can see it finished as well. So we had five stitches on this. Yeah. So one, two, now, Paula, when you stitch, do you stitch with one hand? Do you stitch with one hand on the top, one underneath? Do you uh, mix so and match? I do, like, yeah, coming out one hand underneath. Yeah, yeah, one hand underneath. And I do, it was funny because when I started, I was self-taught. I was, that was in Spain when I was 16, 15, 16 or something like that. And I had, my, my mom didn't do color stitch. And I started doing exactly how you stitch. And then some um, purist, when she saw my work that I was doing, it's like, no, you need to do every cross stitch at once. Like, but then you use a lot of thread. And also, don't you find that you have a neat result if you do it in one like yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. I find it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like, to, and also I find it a lot more satisfying to it do is. one way and then back again. And if it, so, if I if I put this down now. Yeah. I'd know that I'm looking for a row with five stitches exactly. on to go back to, exactly. as opposed to a single stitch, which could actually be anywhere at all, couldn't exactly. it? Exactly. So, that's, that's also, because yeah. then you, you do one, so that you concentrate in one direction, but then when you are doing the finishing, or the other cross, uh, or, or you're finishing the cross, basically, you are not thinking, really. You are just... I think that's it. And actually, I do that. So I look at the chart. The concentrating bit is looking at the chart, finding what the stitches yeah. are, 
when I've done that, it's like, okay, I can sit and yeah. talk now because yeah, exactly. I've, I've got half of it. All I'm going to do is the other half yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. And that I find it that kind of really relaxing, concentrating one bit, not concentrating the other. Precisely. And that is, that's, this is why I really found it that it was so good for my mind at the cross stitch. Now, although we've only done one row, yes. <laughs> you know, I can sit and stitch all day, I'm happy. Um, you will be happy but to. I just want to show you finishing off. And all it is is you're just really going to weave through. Yeah. And that's it. It's done. Now, to st if you've got a colour already and you've just got a short length of thread and you want to start, again, you can weave through to start as well. That's perfectly mm -hmm. valid. Just as long as it's neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. And then all you need to do then is to just snip that off. Mm -hmm and you, you're on to your next colour. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, the counting, particularly on the tree, if the counting, you're thinking, actually, that's a little bit daunting, um, then because you've already started the tree, you're just going to follow. So you're just going to go on top of it, on top of it, on top of it, below it, below it, below it, to the side of it. So you mm -hmm. can work it up. So it's a really great one if actually it, it, this is, you know, the first one you're going to do because you, you haven't got so much counting. Absolutely. Uh, right, of course, that's the watercolour tree cross uh, stage. You can see the finished sample here, how absolutely stunning it is. £29.99 is your price. The watercolour effect on the back, the colours. I see the four seasons here. I see a little bit of winter. I see the kind of beautiful colours of the spring, the summer and the autumn. £29.99 is your price. Uh, now, if you want it, 762658. Now, the needle minder, the elephant, one very busy for that we are approaching half the stock for this one uh, 1095 is your price 244803 magnetic and of course you can have it as a needle minder which is the purpose of it but you can use it as so many different things I think this as a pen would be absolutely stunning receiving all the luck with the trump going up uh, do check out your baskets because of course this is the only hour for Maloka designs today and if you want to grab absolutely stunning kids this is the time to check out those baskets. We have got more demonstrations coming up from Rosella, but do not forget about the heart, the tree, those gorgeous, uh, you know, the family ones. The, the characters for me are just absolutely amazing because uh, you have also the uh, way that you can personalize them all together, the card. Not just them two, uh, you know, I, I love I love these two because they, they I was just kind of thinking, this is my family, eventually, one day, one day. Uh, but you have here, uh, you know, the whole family, all colors, all sorts of skin tones. Of course, you have got the cats and the dogs and the full alphabets that you can personalize it. There you have it. If you want your mellow characters, 29 pence and 99 pence. Right, Rosella, what are you going to show us? Okay, then? so I just wanted to talk about my, my little bird. Oh, and yeah. um, in fact, I'm going to take it off yeah. so that you can have a quick look at it. So... Um, there it is, and um, all I've done is I've stitched it. I've actually put interfacing on it because you're, you're cutting around your Ada, not in the squares. It's it may fray slightly. It's a little bit of interfacing on the back and then a little bit of felt on the back, and I couldn't find a brooch back, so it's safety pin. That's good to go. We're happy with that. And I just think that's a really sweet little bird and what you could do actually <laughs> so um maybe you like me do workshops and you, you have to have a name badge don't you everybody oh, has to have a name oh, badge because yeah. there's nothing worse than not knowing someone's name i know so that. <laughs> you could put a little bit of extra on the bottom and you could put a name on there couldn't oh, yeah. you and this could be your name badge so um, i just thought these were so cute i love it as a complete sampler i think it's super um design but i really enjoyed just stitching a little one so um what i'd recommend for stitching the little ones because this is my stitching on the go so this is my garden stitching so if you're going to come around to my house you're going to stitch your bird so what i would do is let's go for the little yellow bird this is a photocopy yes. this okay. is oh not, that is when this really is not is the like original it. chart if you're going to do this to your original chart make sure you stitched it once first <laughs> but then you know what this would be a great idea so you stitch your chart but then um we talked about maybe having three in a row something like that so you could cut them up and then you can organize them yeah. and, sit and design it yourself and see where they're gonna go so that's the one i would be stitching so let's put my mess out of there and um, i'm going to use my little hoop because it's coming out with me so that's my ada in this instance only wants to be about this large so we'll cut that up there we go i've made a right mess of this table already haven't i never mind yeah. and loosen it so that you can get it in and it's really important to loosen it 
and then pop it in your hoop there. And you can see that they're, they're sturdy and mm. um, they're quite stiff. So it's not going anywhere. Your fabric's not going anywhere in these. And they're really easy to tighten. You don't need a screwdriver for this. You can tighten it with your fingers. And then going back to our needle minder, which I have mislaid in this messy table of mine. Right, what do you mean Ooh. needle minder? Can I borrow one of yours? Pamela, yes, of course. Please? Would you would you like uh, the elephant yeah. one? Yeah. Oh no, I found it now. Oh, I found you the cactus. It. Sorry, beg your pardon. I would like the elephant, but mm. I've got the uh, cactus there. And then what I'd actually do is I'd clip oh, my pattern clever. onto there. So uh, there's no looking up and down. Yeah. It's all there. Like ready that. for me and I'm ready to start. I'm just going to show you a different method of starting as well. So I'm going to start with his yellow body. So back to my chart. It's a little uh, Crescent Moon 744 Pearl Yellow. So this is my 744 Pearl Yellow. Oh, he said I'm going to have to thread my needle. Paula, get think ready with a joke or something oh. to entertain whilst the thread. <laughs> just to say. <laughs> oh. Let me right, look split at that thread. Look at that. But you do it so fast and so well. I, I, I have an awful to go lot. much slower than you. <laughs> I do recommend doing it slower. Yeah. But I know that we're short of time. I've got so much I want to share that yeah. I just haven't got the time. So right. this time I don't need to put both ends through because I'm going to start at a different method. So if you're uh -huh. just using maybe a small length of thread, yeah. then this is a method that you'd use for that. So. Um, Paula, now's the time for you to tell a joke. Oh, I'm well, I have very also. little jokes to tell, so but, <laughs> <laughs> but we, I'll, I'll tell everybody to check out their baskets. But remember, this is the only hour uh, from Maloka Designs uh, this, the, today, so make sure to check out your baskets. The needle minder with the elephant, we are now half the stock on. Please make sure to check out your baskets. We have got brand new kits, we have got returning favorites. Make sure to check out your baskets. Right? Details at the bottom of the screen for the needle minor 1095 is your price 244803 but if you wanted the design of the elephant uh, on a cross stage we do have it on the show it's a returning favorite with that beautiful design here with the trump going upwards to receive all the blessings and all the good luck uh, 131799 is your item number and i believe uh you know the needle has been threaded it's, we're there we're there because i did have the f foresight to bring a needle threader <laughs> So I'm going to put a knot, I know, a knot. Yeah. Who puts Ooh. a knot on their embroidery? But this is going to be a Ooh, waste I'm knot. very naughty sometimes. <laughs> But I, you know what? I, there's a, I'm not a purist, and as I said, I was self-taught, so everything. And I ultimately decided that unless it's a towel that you are going to see the back, yeah. you know, if you are going to cover it, um, it's just... Exactly. Well, I've got Sashko shows at the weekend. I'm not in there. But yeah. this, this particular knot is one I use in other hand embroidery. It's a waist knot or an away yeah. knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in my fabric on the same line that I'm stitching, but away from where I'm stitching. Right. So I'm going to stitch this bottom line here. So my knot's going on the front of my fabric. Oh, I see. And then I'm going to head over here to start stitching. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine stitches. And I'm going to stitch then towards my knot. Yeah. And I should have put this in the stand because I can keep it stiller in the stand. So I'm sorry if it's wobbling around a huge amount. I'll try not to. The idea is that as I'm stitching, and what I'm doing is with my, with my finger, if I turn it over, I'm sort of gently stroking that thread down. Yeah. So with each stitch, I'm catching it. Okay. And that's going to make it really, really secure. So um, again, I'm going top right to bottom left on this. And I'm just enveloping that thread as we go along. Yeah. And then when I feel that it's secure, or I've got to the end of the row, because I've immediately forgotten how many oh, stitches okay. I was going to yeah. do, all I need to do then is to cut it off. Uh, Let me just count, <coughs> excuse me, how many it okay. was? It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it, there was okay. nine. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Uh, yeah. I love the fact I counted down there and yeah, in front absolutely. of me. What's all that about? Nine. And do cut your knot off fairly soon because you will find that it interferes with your stitching. Ah. So just check that yes, you've, you've caught it in. Can you see ah, that it's yes, really, really yeah. well wrapped in there? 
So grab your scissors. Mm. And then just cut it loose. Okay. And get rid of your knot. Oh, okay. And then you're That's good to go. And again, it's idea. nice and neat and tidy. Yes. You've not travelled your threads anyway, yeah. you didn't. Because what you also don't want to do, if, I, if my next stitch was black, yeah. what I wouldn't want to do would be to weave through really of in course. black behind a pale colour. Yes. So just, just be aware of that. And then all you have nice. to do then, Paola, is just head back. Yeah. And, and it is so relaxing. It is. If, if you've never tried cross stitch before, mm -hmm. try it. If you've never tried embroidery before, this is a great starter. And they're just so wonderful. So all I need to do is just head back. Um, by the way, the uh, Mellow characters, very busy for that. Remember, you are getting two Ada uh, fabrics, so you can do two of them. You can then customize it, and you have all the characters charts. And then, of course, then you can pick and choose. Or you can create something that resembles your family or your future family, uh, you know, kind of asking the universe sometimes. But then you can also create, like, for instance, I love the different skin tones, the different hairstyles. You, I, I love the different heights of uh, the children, even the from you have got the more kind of feminine looking the more masculine looking you can customize it i love as well like kind of the long hair the you know you know the pun the, the head the bun in here but you also have like curly hair wavy hair different dresses you can customize them of course the sample that we have got here instead of wearing a red dress she's wearing actually well it's actually a play suit in here uh jumpsuit and then you have here a dress so there is so much customization that you can do as well so it's really up to you like for instance here we have the boots from here this guy the jacket for um, this uh, guy or here but in black and then we have got the belt from this one so then you can personalize the, the the hair from the you know personalize it change it and this is the beauty of it that you can't you have got the, the chart in this case the chart is just invaluable 29 pounds and 99 pence is your price zero nine three six three seven is your item number back to rosella do we have got two and a half minutes so um i'm i'm pretty much happy with this now i just want to talk about the birds in that um, again, if you are a beginner, if actually you want a quick stitch, so maybe you're thinking, you know, I don't have an awful lot of time. I, I don't want a sampler that I'm going to be keeping hanging around. I want to get on and I want to get it finished. This is a great one to go for. It's very satisfying. If like me, you like doing backgrounds where you've got lots of colour the same, these birds are the ones to go for because they are... In, they're simple to stitch, but the designs are just absolutely beautiful, and they're really charming because yeah. of that, I think, aren't they? But And they're just so very, very useful. I mean, we've just passed Easter this year, haven't we? But these would have been great for little absolutely. Easter tricks. Uh, yeah, would tricks, be. Um, Easter wreaths. But I just think that they're, they're just so lovely. Um, maybe you're going to, uh, maybe you grow, grow your own eggs? No, lay, you, you <laughs> wouldn't even lay your own eggs, would you? Maybe you've got lay chickens that eggs, lay eggs. <laughs> But, you know, and you're gifting something yeah. like that, you know, pop a little little something yeah. on there, make a little tag with Absolutely. one of these birds. <laughs> and I think this is the thing, it's a sampler, so then you can use it in many different ways. Do check out your baskets, though. Remember, we are very, very busy for uh, the uh, gorgeous needle minder of the elephant. I'd really please make sure to check out your characters out as well. You know, we have got the watercolor, brand new items throughout, or some returning favorites. We are over 80% of the needle minder now. If you want it, please do check out your basket. 1095 is your price. Absolutely phenomenal tool to have. Now, Rosella, uh, sorry, we have some matching, uh, which we, oh, the elephant, um, the design here. So let's have a look at here, the mandala. And I just wanted to show how strong the magnets are because uh, uh, there, this is a board. This is a, a kind of a really thick board. Look at it going through embroidery, and there it is. There it is. Absolutely phenomenal. Do grab your, uh, your check out your baskets as well. Rosella, it's been a pleasure it's as always. When are you back? I'm back on Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. So oh, more embroidery, so it's a fabulous week. Well, we look forward because it's such enjoyable to see all the expertise from Rosella. And of course, she always brings top notch, uh, beautiful designs. So stay tuned though, because after the break, we have another look at the one day special, a clarity, beautiful clothes and characters as well. Uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you, Rosella. 
well. I will see you Saturday. Stay tuned here at the craft store where inspiration continues with crafting and many demonstrations. After the break, Leone is back with Crafting with Clarity One Day Special. And then we are doing Crafting Individuals, a Fan and Friends, and then, oh, it's actually Lou Sims. Oh, fabulous, Eva. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to the Craft Store, your home of everything craft.
Hello. Hello and welcome. Oh, I've just seen here. Oh, dear. I know, we'll sort it out later. Um, anyway, it is lovely to have your company. I am so pleased I've got a one-day special with um, the wonderful Clarity and the Groovy. I don't feel like I've had a Clarity one-day special in such a long time. Um, and I'm super, super pleased because our lovely Paul is in the building. Morning, Paul. Well, Good his building. building yeah, not our building, yeah, your yeah, building. I'm in my building, you're in your building. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Social distancing. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, maximum social distancing, isn't it? It's a few miles. About 150 miles. <laughs> about 150 miles thereabouts. We're so safe. We're so safe. <laughs> uh, Paul, it's lovely to see you. Me and Derek were chatting about it yesterday because I said to Derek he had a lovely shirt and he said, well, I have got Paul later. And he said, Paul always wears a lovely shirt. So Derek had to put his posh shirt on because he had you as a guest. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind. Eh? Nice to make an effort and dress up for for the occasion. It's, well, especially lockdown, it's good just to have an excuse, isn't it? <laughs> um, Paul, this bundle, this fantastic bundle, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, groovy plates anyway are always amazing because there's so much crammed onto them. But this is extreme. There's so many images and things you can do. And obviously, as ever, the wonderful Linda artwork is just sublime, beautiful, beautiful images. And when you actually see the finished samples, they're super cute as well, aren't they, Paul? They are. And you look at the style and you instantly know that it's from Linda Williams. The style, the, the, the volume of items that we cram onto the plates. Now, these are four big plates. These yeah. are A4 in size. And we could have just done sort of a, a couple of smaller plates and just given it a few elements. But no, Linda, she just wanted to throw everything into this. And when you look at that, I mean, that's the accessories plate. That's so and cool. there's so many cute but elegant. Yeah. Yeah. elements to it yeah it, it's just endless it really really is i love it absolutely love it and every time you look at them you see different things don't you like i've just seen the ladybird didn't notice the little ladybird and then you've got the little bumblebees and they are ridiculously cute i mean the bumblebee i think that's got a little smile on it and when you look at all the um the beautiful baby claws and the washing line they're just exquisite aren't they Exactly. I mean, that second washing down the two little birds yeah. either end reminds me of sort of like a fairy tale yes. princess type yes. effect. You know, right where the birds come in to help Cinderella. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that just instantly reminded me of that film. Very yeah. weird, but um, yeah. But when you look again, Linda's put so much on there. Yeah. And what I love about her designs is it doesn't matter what level of crafting you're at with the parchment system, with the groovy system, is that they're quite easy to cut out with a normal pair of scissors. Yeah. So when we look at some of the finished art work from the design team and they've done pico cutting and they've sort of mixed and matched them all it don't think oh there's no way i'll be able to do that i mean that piece there we're looking at the beautiful frame around it those little elements you can cut out with a normal pair of scissors yeah you don't yeah. have to be at that level of the pico cutting yeah which i think is really important because obviously it makes it all achievable um i mean it's a beautiful beautiful collection the amount of variations that you're going to achieve here is is huge you know not only have you got all the beautiful baby elements but you can see the cute little wardrobe I mean, that is one of the plates to create that wardrobe. We've even got the cards in the um, the wonderful one day special for you. I mean, the envelope, um, sorry, the, the wardrobe in itself is just gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. That is so it pretty. Is. And again, when Linda designed the, the plate that contains the wardrobe front, she's given you all these different options to change the top, to change the bottom. Yes. Yes. And recently, since last year, we've started uh, manufacturing our own car blanks. So Dave, Mr. Mr. Clarity, uh, mm -hmm. worked really closely with Linda on these designs. And so now what you're getting in the one day special is three of these wardrobe boxes um, in, to enable you to create this beautiful dimensional look to it. Yeah. And you get the little stands to display them on as well. I love that because it does mean, and I'll show you the stand, it does mean that, yeah, they're going to look exquisite. It's nice heavyweight card as well, isn't it, Paul? Really good quality. It is. Yeah, If I'm, I think I'm right in saying it's probably about 300 GSM, so it's yeah. a really nice 
good weight to it. Yeah. So it means that it won't crack when you do the folding. And you can see from there, it's all pre-scored and all pre-cut yes. for you. Yeah. Um, so it, it's really good to go. And they do look so effective. I mean, obviously, they work perfectly with the, the wardrobe. The wardrobe, I mean, it, yeah, of course, it, it goes with this collection. But I know we've got a sample later with some of the, the, the cups of tea and the coffee and the cake. So you will be using it for other things as well. And I love how you said about the panels. Because when I'm looking at them, when you're looking through, every panel, I think, every panel is different. And that's the thing, you can really personalise every element of this, can't you? Absolutely. And that, for me, is the beauty of the Groovy system. It's about being able to do that personalisation and to pick and choose the different elements, to add colour, to go with coloured parchment. The choice is yours. This is just giving you Linda's beautiful line art to get going. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely stunning. Um, if you do want to go for this, you do need to check your baskets out. Um, absolutely exquisite. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at the little donkey. Honestly, every time you look at these, you see something different. You see something new. It is absolutely incredible. Um, 812666 is your item number. Now, if you were to buy your plates individually, they'd be £19.99 each. So two, four, six, eighty. So it's nearly 80 quid. If you were to buy just the plates, however, in this bundle, you've got the brand new, beautiful A4 plates. Look at how much stuff is crammed on here. You know, you absolutely, um, so much choice there. Of course, predominantly, we're talking babies, but you've got florals, you've got uh, beautiful little um, embellishments there. You know, you've got um, f um, the lovely little butterflies and then the little bees. So you've got lots of other things as well. But of course, the, the main deal here is all those wonderful little baby elements. And of course, that incredible wardrobe. You've even got an alphabet. So this will allow you to personalise. There's a lot on these plates. And I think this is it. If you are making a special baby card, which let's face it, if it's a new baby, you want to make a really special card. It is a keepsake. It's something that mum and dad are going to treasure. And this is something you can personalise. So you've got the little alphabet and it's really sweet. Um, and then, of course, you've got the name there, the date of birth, the weight, place of birth. So it's really good for, for something that you're going to keep forever. Now, you've got your wonderful plates, all four plates. Um, <clears throat> but you've then got in this collection, you've got your parchments. Now, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of a crock this morning. Um, you're getting five of each collection. Um, so you are getting the blue there. You've got the, um, the darker colour there. It's like a, a beautiful sort of navy. That's gorgeous. You've then got the, the soft pink and then the slightly darker pink there as well. So you're getting five each. It's good quality parchment paper. You then get in those cards, the brand new cards that we were talking about. Now produced by Clarity. Heavyweight, beautiful, pristine white. You get the card and, of course, you get the stand. It's all pre-scored, ready to go. Um, you're getting three of those. So, essentially, all of that you get for nothing. The only thing you're paying for are the plates. £79.28. Now, 40% of the stock has gone if you want to get hold of this one. Um, obviously, with this, you do get your Flexi as well, I presume. I'm just waiting for it to spin. Um, there it is. Two payments, 39 pence and 64 pence. You've even got a Freedom price on this. So if you're a Freedom member, you are going to save more money. 1993, it's actually more than that, but we'll talk about that later. Um, 1993, uh, 71.35 for Freedom members. That is a why not deal. Absolutely, why not deal? And remember, you're not paying any postage either, and you've still got your flexes. Two payments, 35, 68, 812666. Now, Paul, that's all my bits done. Um, I'll hand over to you, because I know you've got loads to tell us this hour, haven't you, Paul? I have indeed, and I wanted to start off with, for anybody that missed the previous hours, to show you this beautiful piece of artwork oh. that Linda created for when her granddaughter was born. And this is really where it sort of all started. So this was done um, traditionally with a paper pattern. Wow. And if I bring this in on the, the overhead, you can really sort of see 
uh, the intricacy of it. You've got yeah. the beautiful washing line. You've got the elements. You've got the... I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me for a minute. <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs> It'll <laughs> be back. It on, Leone. It'll be back. And again, so beautiful sort of Caitlin Rose, six pounds, uh -huh. nine ounces, Milton oh. Keynes Hospital. And this... Caitlin still has this in her room um, and it's, it's just that treasured memory and this is where it all started so now with Linda transferring the designs to the groovy system you're able to replicate this really easily and I've got another couple of pieces that Linda created sort of back in the day so again this was before the car blanks were around so Linda had to create this so this one here is oh. for twin girls. That's so cute. And I love that, that she's gorgeous? home and got some on the inside of the door as well. Oh. Yeah. So again, it's all that sort of attention to detail. So you've got that one there, which is gorgeous. And then you've got this one here. So again, the car blanks went around, so Linda's had to create her own box. But what she's done is she's turned the wardrobe into a card itself. So don't think, oh, I can only make 3D wardrobes. You can't. You can make beautiful, beautiful pieces, uh, cards as well. So it gives you that versatility. So there are a couple of pieces from the lovely Linda that oh, she kindly let me so borrow pretty. to showcase. And then I've got a couple of samples here from the design team as well. So this one is from Maggie Byford. And again, what Maggie's done, she's turned it into a card. Ah, that's cool. So again... It doesn't have to be a box. Yeah, yeah. Then this one from Josie Davidson, there's no sign of any children or babies whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. It's just taken those floral elements from that accessories plate to create this card. So when you get the plates and you start looking, as you said, you look at them first time, you think, oh, that's there, that's there. And then you go back and you look again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And we've got this adorable. final piece here. This is good. This is from Francis Knott. So this is done in a very traditional method. And wow. what Francis has done is she's used the play as a traditional pattern. So she's traced it out with a pencil because you'll notice on all the artwork, yeah. there's no raised line art like we get with the groovy. Yeah, so yeah. So Francis has combined both techniques to create this beautiful piece. Our colouring in is so phenomenal. Isn't it? It's like porcelain, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Oh, that That's what it reminds me of. The... Yeah. Yeah. It's a porcelain plate, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's so, so I just wanted to showcase those. And then what I thought we'd do is have a quick recap on what we looked at last night for people that missed any of the previous shows. So this was a card we looked at during the, um, the six o'clock and the eight o'clock show last night. So again, created by Linda using these wardrobe blanks Amazing. and again in the six o'clock show we looked at how to create the front of the wardrobe and again look you've got so many different design elements just to change the yeah. look of the wardrobe top yeah yeah and when and you start so looking at this paul i mean the wardrobe you can split it up that to me you can make that into a beautiful double door do you know what I mean? It doesn't need Absolutely. to be a wardrobe. It can literally just be a beautiful door and a door frame. It, there's so many That's possibilities. Right. Yeah, and, and I understand if rumour has it, I think Linda's working on some additional plates. So you'd get sort of like men's clothes, ladies' clothes. So once you've got those wardrobe plates, it's just going to be yeah. endless on what you'll be able to hang on the inside. Paul, we've just so we had... Pot. Paul, Paul, I need to tell you this one because Emily said in my head, um, please, could it be um, a lion and a witch? Do you know, do you remember from The uh, Lion, the Witch? What, what, what was the full thing? The Lion, the Witch and the it Wardrobe. Was the Lion, <gasps> the Witch and the Wardrobe. Oh, my word. Because, <laughs> Narnia, yeah, can we go into it? Narnia through... Oh, Paul, please <laughs> ask Linda to do that. I want to go into Narnia, please, Paul. <laughs> a bit specific. <laughs> I'm sure we can. We can, get, we can get lost, can't we, in, oh, yes. in different wardrobes. <laughs> so, again, so that's what we looked at in the 6 o'clock, and I showed how to do the cutting. Now, you get instructions from the lovely Linda that guides you through. So if you think, oh, I didn't see the show, but how did he do it? You can either watch on Rewind, but you will get a set of instructions with the One Day Special as well Amazing. to show you how to open those doors. Perfect. So that's what we looked at in the 6 o'clock and then in the eight o'clock, we looked more detail oh. on the inside and how we could then sort of personalise yeah. the piece. Yeah. 
Attaching it, we looked at that in the 8 o'clock show and we used brads to attach it. Right. But have you seen our brand new tape runners, Leone? No, I have not. You haven't seen our Clarity Roller Tapes? No, I Double have sided. not, Paul. I've not seen these yeah. little beauties. They launched about two, three weeks ago. We've got a very special offer of four for the price of three. Amazing. And on each roll, you're going to get 30 metres. Wow. That's okay. good. So that's 120 metres you've got there. And the reason behind, there were several reasons when Barbara was looking into the design and the concept of them, was that the more that's on there, the less plastic it uses. Yeah. So, you're, so it's really good for the environment. It's got a really nice ergonom ergonomic design, so it's easy to hold, okay? And it's got this fantastic little flip cover that means you're never gonna lose the lid and it will protect the end of the tape. Ah, oh, cool, yeah. Okay. So we've got those on show, and I showed how you could use it with the parchment to attach as well. Oh, and you can't cool. see where that tape is yeah. because we know with parchment how yeah. difficult it is to attach so we had a look at that and then here we go there's another one here that has been created and that's just got the full panel on it as well yeah. so you don't have to cut out the design yeah that's beautiful so that's what we looked at in the six and eight o'clock last night marvelous then this is these are gorgeous i absolutely love these oh look this at is what that. we're going to look at in this hour and I've got some other samples from Linda. This is using our stamp build frames and panels. Wonderful. Okay. And look. Oh that's oh, so cute. Just... So you've got four by four, six by six, nine by nine and twelve by twelve. Amazing. Oh, oh look oh, at that. Gorgeous. Isn't that they're, pretty? they're great for your mixed media. Yeah. And it's something, again, we've started manufacturing ourselves. Yeah. So these are a fantastic quality, um, not only for your parchment, but for your mixed media and all your other artwork as well. They're so this is where we're going to head during this hour. Perfect. And then, dependent on stock, what we're going to have a look at in the 12 o'clock show is we're going to build a washing line. Oh, wow. And That's amazing. Gonna... So this is a piece created by Sheila Bradley. So we're going to have a look at more white work and more colour, really going to depth from the white work during mm. the 12 o'clock show. Amazing. Because you know, Leonie, with Groovy, how it can take time to build it up. And we always run out of time when we're doing the shows. Yes, absolutely. And then at four o'clock, we're going to do a really quick and simple one. And this one's been designed by Carol Pankstello. Oh, that's lovely. I like so that's it because... Just it gives yeah, us a go bit of a, I was going to say, I like it because there's so many different ways of using it. Because that's on um, your, your coloured parchments, isn't it? In the back there. In the background, that's the designer papers. Yeah, yeah that's it. Oh, I is think it the that papers? Could be, let me have a look, see if it's on the back. I think that could be White Mayor Falls or Toscana. Really beautiful, beautiful colourways that really sort of lift it up. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. So plenty to look forward to on all the shows, Paul. That's marvellous. Um, and obviously what we um, saw, so, oh, that's the one for this hour, is it? It is indeed, Stunning, yes. stunning. Shall we let you get started? Okie dokie, right, off we go. So we're using one of the um, six by six panels and frames. So let me just bring them in so you can see. So they're in two pieces. So you've got your panel, which is great for sort of all your mixed media. It and looks heavy weight, Paul. What weight it is that? Is, it's a really... Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember what the weight is, but it's a really good, it's the same weight as our sampled shapes that we do. Nice. Um, fact, I should know that. Emily's talking in my head, so it is 1,500 microns, so that is really nice and weighty. I like them, they're beautiful. It is, and it takes water, it takes ink, it takes paint, it takes all the different things for it, so fantastic for your mixed media. Yeah. Yeah, no, I am. So this is where we're going to start off with, and we're going to use this as our basis to get our positioning correct. Perfect. Okay. Now, when we look at these lovely little elements around the outside, Linda worked out, you know, we have our perga glue, don't you? Yes. Um, which is 
fantastic for parchment. But sometimes if you put it on too thick or you put too much on, you get what we call the mayonnaise effect and it sort of squidges and <laughs> it can show through your parchment oh, even yeah. though you don't want it to. Yeah. So Linda, um, by mistake, worked out a fantastic way of stopping that from happening. So we're going to look at that in this hour because it's a fantastic tip, especially if you want to sort of decorate the outside frames or build layers up onto the parchment on top. Perfect. Okay, cool, okay. Right, so to start off with, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the plate mate that comes with the starter kit. Marvelous. Because I want my nested frame, nested squares that comes in the starter kit. Okay. It's such a cracker is this, because you go for it again and again and again and again, don't you? Absolutely. And it's a really, once you get started with the, the groovy system, the starter kit really is sort of key and it gives you that basis to carry on going. So when I position this over the top, you'll notice just by coincidence that that square in there is the perfect size. OK, so what I want to do is take a piece of the A5 parchment and I'm going to attach it to my plate mate using my groovy tabs that come in the accessories kit. Marvelous. I'm going to give it a wipe with a tumble dry sheet. OK, because what that's going to do, that's going to allow the tool to glide more easily. So I'm going to use the number one tool that comes in the starter kit, and that's got, there's no tip on the end, it's just like a fine stylus. Right, yeah. On the other end, it's got a little ball on the end, and that just will give you a softer line. Wonderful. So okay. what we're going to do, I'm going to position that over there so I can see which one it is in the middle, and then I'm going to take a white pencil, and all I'm going to do is just mark the inside with a white pencil so that I know where my frame is. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Then what I'm going to do, I know I need the outer square, so I'm just going to trace out the outer square because this will be my cutting edge when I trim my parchment down to fit behind the frame. Wonderful. So you can't see that at all. Yeah. Then I'm going to take my Pergamano ruler and I'm going to draw a white line with the pencil. Okay. And what this is doing, it gives me my frame in which to work for my positioning. So all of my artwork is going to be contained within this square. Right, OK, yeah, that makes sense. Because why so, don't... When you're... Sorry, I was saying, with this, you know, um, like normally, as you did your outside one, you use the stylus. How come you're not using the, the stylus on that one? How come you're using your pencil instead? Because what I wanted to do, I didn't want to have a harsh line right. on the inside of my frame. I mean, I could do if I wanted to, but what I can do, it's really more for my positioning of my artwork. Right. Because I want to sort of concentrate on it. But you can, yeah, there's no right or wrong to say that you could do that if you wanted to. But I just found it was easier because when I come to position this on the back of my frame, see, I can just line that up. Yeah, I see. And it's going to fit perfectly. Yeah. Beautiful. Okie dokie. So now we're going to start to build our design on the inside. So if we bring this in here that the lovely Linda's created, and what she's done, she's gone with the washing line plate. So let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. Yeah. So you've got two different washing lines. Okay. You've got those lovely little birds with the booties at either end. Yeah. And then you've got all of these outfits. Now, these are not just for babies. It can be a birth, first birthday, second yeah. birthday. It can go up to five or six. Yeah. And with the groovy system, even if you trace out this design here, you don't have to put the hearts in the middle. Yeah. You could put the flowers in the middle. Yeah. You could put flowers in the middle of the little romper suit. Yeah. So it's all about giving you that flexibility of how to sort of just build up your design. Yeah. And what I love each of these elements on this particular plate could all be cut out with a normal pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah, I think that's amazing. And I love when you start looking at it, because, uh, you, you know, the, the baby grow, if you, you could use that, like, little dress and then just the bottom of the baby grow, and that would look like little tights, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know, it the, would. And that's the wonderful thing with a groovy system. You can literally tweak it to make your own, your own designs again and again and again, can't you? It's so compatible. You can, because, 
Yeah, because the groovy system for me, what this does, this play, it gives you the confidence to get beautiful line art from Linda Williams. Yeah. And because you get that confidence, you then want to learn more. Barb always describes it as being on um, a bus journey. Yeah. And you can stop at any point on that bus journey. If you think, I just want to do tracing out of the designs, that's it. Because yeah. it will look beautiful at that point. But if you want to learn more, then you just go a little bit further on the bus. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about sort of choice and how you want to sort of go with it. Yeah. So I'm still working on the back of the parchment. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have a look because I want to put some of the washing line in this corner here. Good, OK. OK. So I reckon I'm going to choose that little bit there. So Beautiful. I just take my parchment down and then I take my number one tool. Now, if you're worried about sort of going too far, then the groovy guard is a great way to focus the area in which you're working. Yeah. If you think, oh, the plate's too busy, am I going to get Because for me, I do get carried away. Yes. And I think, oh, and then I, I've gone too far. Yeah. So this is a really good way to focus. It keeps now, your I've mucky paws off as well, doesn't it? It keeps your, it your hands well. off the, yeah, we like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so all I'm going to do is I've got the two little pegs here. Now, I know this pencil line is the end part of my frame, but I can still go past it because yeah. I'm not worried about that. OK, so I'm going to put my little washing line in there. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to decide on what outfit I want to hang from the washing line. So, again, you've got all these different elements. We'll go with this lovely little dress here, yeah. like Linda has. That's cute. See, and now you just line it up. Aww. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to ignore where the design goes through, Let me, where it goes through the pegs. Yes. So that it looks as if it's been clipped on. Yes. Okay. So, again... You just trace it out and you could have hours and hours of fun just building up beautiful little design elements. Yeah. yeah. They'd make because the sweetest tiny cards as well, would these, wouldn't they? You know, because they so, are just oh, so cute. See, and if you go too fast and you jump out like I did there, or you can't see that, let me come in on. So if I come out and I've jumped out of the groove, yeah. nothing's going to happen. Yes. So this is why it's great for the children to get involved as well. Yeah. Because at this point, there's no skill required whatsoever. Yeah. It's because just the tracing, tool... isn't it? It's just tracing that yeah. line. It's the tool and the groovy plate that's doing all the work for you. Yeah. See, and you just pick up those little hearts. It's just... Easy. Just so easy and relaxing as well. And yet, seriously and effective. <laughs> and it's clean, there's no mess, <laughs> it's portable. Um, if you're going away for a caravan, when you're allowed to go away for caravan trips, yeah. then it's great to just pop in the case and take it with you. That's it, because if you know what plates you're working on, you don't even need to take tons of stuff. I mean, realistically, you could just be taking you know, a, a bit of parchment and a couple of plates, really. When you've got so many elements on a plate, and obviously you choose. Absolutely. And yeah. And again, just your colouring. So whether you go with the Perga yes. liner pencils or the, the Perga colour pens, it's just, yeah, you could spend hours just tracing. What I tend to do if I'm prepping or, or working on a project is that I'll do all my tracing out of my designs first. Yeah. So I know where I'm going and then I'll spend an evening of doing white work and then I'll spend an evening doing colouring in. And for me, it's a real nice way of just relaxing. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, just to watch it's relaxing. I like it's what the formation of it, isn't it as well? I love the pattern building element. I love seeing it come together and it's quite quick, realistically. You know, compared to traditional it parchments, it, it's... Oh, yeah, definitely. It's quick. Yeah, I mean, it's a real skill to do it traditionally, and I tried yes. many, many years ago. So hats off to, to everyone that learned that skill, because it's a very special skill to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, and Linda Williams is sort of like one of the, the top experts in the world that... I mean, she was a, a master tutor worldwide. There was only two. Wow. Um with Pergamano. Which is award-winning, isn't uh, she, Linda? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's sort of, it's, 
to do this traditionally, I, I don't think... I, I don't think I would be coming on TV <laughs> doing this in a traditional method yeah. um, because it would take months to yeah. prep for one demo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And by then it'd be like, nah, nah. I don't okay. want to do it anymore. No, 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 it would. It's, it's, yeah, it's a lot different. And when you look at that, the, the quality and the pristine nature of that, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. That's so pretty. It, it's crisp, and you'll learn to get the right pressure. I mean, I go over it in one stroke, but there's no rules to say that when you're tracing out for the first time that you have to get that crisp line straight away. Yeah. You can go over it several times, and you're unlikely to go through the part. I mean, if you go on really heavy several times, then you could. But if you're just going on very, very gently, yeah. you just build up that line until you're happy with the whiteness of it. Yeah, that looks absolutely gorgeous, Paul. Love it. Love it. And I would, okay, if so anyone's watching, would definitely suggest the, the tabs that Paul's using. Remember, they're in the accessory kit. Um, you've got your, your guard as well, which is there in that accessory kit. £12.99. 211682 is your item number. The runners that Paul mentioned as well, they've been busy. So if you do want those, 40% of the runners have gone. Um, the details are just zooming in as we speak. I'll just hold on up for you. They're the runners that Paul ran about. Uh, really handy. There's 30 metres on each one of those, which is amazing. Um, and it's 8 millimetre thick tip. Now, you are getting a set of four of those uh, for £13.46. And um, that's four for the price of three. And they have been exceptionally busy. 452-238 is your item number. OK, um, are we going back to our lovely Paul? Let's. Let's back to you, Paul. Thank you very much. OK, so what I've done, I've gone through and built up our design. So again, when I compare it to what Linda's done, I've sort of virtually done it. The only thing I haven't put on is the little ladybird. Oh, yeah. But the ladybird is actually stuck on. It's been cut yeah. out. And so like 3D embellishment on it. Yeah. Just like the outer frame as well. Right. So yes. what we can look at now is, again, if you're new to the groovy system and you think, right, that's it. I don't want to do any colour. I don't want to do anything else. Then this is where our beautiful designer papers come into play. So I've taken a piece of our Waimea Falls. No, Amazonia, this one. And if you just pop that on top, oh, you see, yeah. and it sort of instantly adds colour to the background. Yeah, that looks pretty. Now, some of them are more vibrant. So again, depending on where you position it, yes. you'll get a different look. Yeah. OK. So it's all about having that versatility of thinking, right, OK, I'm happy with tracing it out. That's all I want to do. I can pop it in a card or I can put it in a frame. Yeah. It's all about choice. Yeah, absolutely. So I thought what we'll do now, we'll just do a little bit of colouring just to show how we've done the colouring on Linda's completed piece here. Beautiful. Okay. So, again, for me, I do my colouring on the back because it's more forgiving. And I'm going to use um, a couple of Pergoliner pencils. So we've got the Pergoliner pencils on the show. Okay, okay. And it has 16 what we call B pencils, and they have the white writing on These are the basic, but they're a wax-based pencil. So if you've got polychromo pencils, it's the same type of pencil. Right, okay. You also get 20 of the watercolour pencils in there as well. So this is a real sort of nice set of pencils to start off with if you're thinking, oh, I really like colouring. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, just because it says Pergamano on it doesn't mean it's just for parchment. These are fantastic pencils for, for normal colouring in. Yeah. Barb's been using them in um, the Shack Shack on Facebook Live um, to do colouring in um, some, some of our beautiful postcards. Um, and yesterday she was working with a Kingfisher and she was using these pencils to colour in as well. Yeah. So again, even if you want to buy something for the kids to play with, these are not expensive that you'd... I mean, I wouldn't give my polychromos to my nieces no. or nephews, <laughs> but I'd be more than happy for them to... Because they're still going to get the same results, but obviously they're just 
not as precious. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the polychromos, uh-uh. Um, and yeah, I so, love the fact that you get the oil-based and you get the water-based with these. I, I like that, that combination, it's lovely. It is, and it's a real nice, I say, it's this great starting kit, sort of, if you want to go down that colouring in. Yeah. Now, what you'll notice I'm doing, I'm not going on heavy with my colour, and I'm not going on um, thick, if that sort of makes sense. Yes. If I bring that in underneath, look, it's just a scribble. Okay, yeah. So you're just going so for it. That on, yeah, I, I'm sort of, all okay. I'm doing, I'm, if I was to go on heavy, because these are a wax pencil, it creates a seal right. and makes it harder to move. Right, okay. So, and I don't need to worry about going right up to the edge and... This is, so this is like a, a two-year-old colouring in. <laughs> you look well, like no you've been speeded up on that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all it is, is just... That, because, again, for me, working with the B pencils, there's no skill required when it comes to the colouring. Look, yeah. I haven't even gone right up to the edges. You can see I'm so far away. But yeah, if I went, I'm, oh, no, I've gone over the oh, edge. Oh, no, Paul. Oh, no, I've gone over the edge. <laughs> then all you need... Is an eraser pencil, ah. and it gets rid of it. Amazing. That's why I love the pencils. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. It's um, yeah, it's fixed. It is. Okay, so I've got one of our spot-on sponges, and I'm going to use some of the lovely dorso oil, okay. which has a beautiful um, smell to it. it. Smells of oranges. Gorgeous. And I'm going to pop some of that. Oops, am I empty? Oh, I'm empty. Oh, no, Paul. <laughs> Luckily, I have another bottle just behind me. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Where is it behind there you? We go. It's behind me. There we go. So, right, so we've got some oil on there, and then I'm going to use my blending pen with a nib. Super. So I'm going to go with a, a clean nib. Okay. And all I'm going to do is... a. Go on, sorry. So I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of oil, okay? And I've got way too much on there, that little tap. So all I'm going to do is let the sponge soak some of it away from the nib. Okay. And then as I go onto here, can you see the colour start to move? Yeah. So all and that, starts, your sort uh, of scruffy colouring in now just blends together and makes it look really professional, doesn't it? It does. For me, it turns the pencil into sort of like a, a paint or an ink. Yeah, yeah. So again, and I can get right up to the edge of my line art. And I'm not worried about going over the hearts on the back because yeah. the line art on the front will prevail because we've done the embossing. Beautiful. So if I bring this piece of card in, you can see... Oh, yeah, look at the, the difference. difference. Yeah. Straight away. And if I turn it over from the front, wow. you can see the difference as well. I mean, so you can really, yeah, really scratchy to really not scratchy. Bless. I so, so, I <laughs> your sneeze, Paul. Um, Paul, Bless is, you. <laughs> is it okay if I do a quick reminder? Because we've got about 20 minutes left, Paul, so I better give him a quick update. Is that okay, love? Okay, no, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, folks, um, this is your one day special. So we are approaching half the stock on this beautiful collection. Now, you can get smaller bundles if you wanted to. So if you wanted to go for your um, smaller bundles, then um, so you could go for the top two plates with the card blanks. That's one of your collections, which is £36 and £32. Now, that has got a saving on it. It's actually got an £8 saving on it. The second bundle that you could go for are the bottom two plates. That's all those accessories. So maybe that's the one you want to go for. Um, and that has got a £5 saving. OK, so with your one day special, you've got that £8 saving at £5. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is a £13 saving <laughs> on my fingers. That £13 saving is actually carried forward and added to that saving. So that saving that's on there isn't, um, it's added on top of that. So actually it's a 20, 
£25 saving. Um, that is absolutely amazing. A £25 saving on this one day special. Um, even better because if you're a Freedom member, of course, um, it's £19.93 and then it's that, I've already forgotten what I said it was, that £13 saving. So that's £32.93 and you don't pay any postage. I mean, Freedom members, it is absolutely a why not deal, isn't it? It's only costing you, um, how much is it costing for Freedom these days? £7? How many? £7.97 for Freedom. And you're saving all that money. It is definitely worth being a Freedom member. That runs for the month. You can cancel any time and you're not paying postage on any of your orders. Um, the plates are beautiful. You've got full instructions. You've got the brand new cards as well. Those wonderful concept cards. You then get in your uh, five pages of each of your parchment. The parchment is exceptional quality and it gives you those results. I mean, there's so many things you can do with these. They're super cute images. This is absolutely Absolutely for brand new babies. It is for um, babies' birthdays as well. Or, of course, I mean, realistically, you could make these for babies' first Christmas as well because you'll definitely have plates that are Christmas plates already. You bring those sort of Christmas images, blend them with these, and you can do so much. But it's not just about babies. I mean, there's so many different little elements on here, like the beautiful florals. You've got all the little bumblebees and things as well. I mean, it's such a beautiful beautiful collection and it's huge. If you added up every single element on these panels, you have got, uh, literally, when you look at that panel, you have got, oh, I'm not even going to guess it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go over 120, but I'm proper guessing. I mean, that is random, isn't it? Well, I was thinking, I bet there's about 30 images at least on each one. But anyway, um, but yeah, you've got so many images on here and it's the little things that you can pick out of these. Um, oh, yeah, I love it. Literally endless. Now, please join Freedom. Okay, now, RM's reckon she's counted about 40 on that one plate. Thing is, though, when you look at it, you look at your little flower. The flower doesn't have to be a flower. That can be a little smiley face. Do you know what I mean? You can literally pull out different elements. The beautiful, um, the detail in that blanket, that detail in its own right is actually a wonderful background. You can literally, with these things, with the, the groovy plates, you've got in one image, you can actually get, on most of them, you can get two images. And I, I love that. I love the, the ability to, to really make this your own. They're fantastic. Now, if you do want your one day special, 812666, buy the wonderful and horrendously talented Linda Williams. I mean, she's so clever. Um, and yes, stunning. Now, that's your one day special. We have got more for you on the show. Now, you might have seen these previously. I haven't. And these are lovely. Um, you have got all about your tea, your coffee. Coffee, I need a coffee. Biscuit, need one of them too. Um, you've got the lovely Welsh dresser. I mean, look at that. It's just crammed full of treasure, isn't it? I love all the little accessories on there. Now you've got the little teacups. Um, not tea, well, they have got tea cups, but I meant egg cups. Uh, you've got the wonderful little cookie jar, the beautiful little jug at the bottom, just stunning. And then, of course, you've got so many beautiful elements. Stay calm, drink tea and eat cake. Yes, yes, please. Uh, coffee and friends are the perfect blend. Coffee is a cup of hope. It is, especially first thing in the morning. But when you look at this, you have got so many different frames. You've got borders. You've got beautiful accessories. I mean, as I was saying, with every Every single groovy plate, you have got countless possibilities. When you look at that, I mean, that beautiful stack of uh, cups, but you've got another beautiful frame. You've got the lovely accessories. Another frame, every single frame is different. That means within this collection alone, you've got countless beautiful frames that could be borders, of course. Um, I love all the detail within every single little cup and saucer. And then, of course, the beautiful teapots. That is such an incredible collection. Now, it's another incredible price as well. You are saving £25 here. Um, which is phenomenal. A £25 saving, £69.89 pence is your price. And again, it's what you can do with this. Plus, you've got your uh, flexi. So your first flexi today for all of these plates is £34.95. And you're getting all of these plates. 
Plus, of course, um, you're getting the, all of the beautiful, I know I keep banging on about the borders, but I absolutely love those borders and frames. They're incredible. Um, now, oh, and of course, don't forget, can I show that one at the back? This one, because that one has been, so you know the little wardrobe from the, the uh, one day special? Well, look, when we open it up, look, it's got all the little cups and the saucers. That is adorable, isn't it? Oh, love it, love it, love it. It looks even better in real life because in real life you can see the detail. Like the little jam jar. It's got a tiny little jam jar. Oh, my gosh, it's exquisite. The beautiful little biscuit. I mean, the biscuit barrel. The detail on that biscuit barrel. You won't be able to see the detail. Yeah, I really like this collection. It's really pretty. Again, oh, um, okay, if you do want this, it's a warm collection. Do you know what I mean? I know a cup of tea is warm, but it's, it's a, a, yeah, I can't think of any other way to describe it. It's homely, that's why. Two payments, 34.95, is your item number. And 30% of the stock has gone, and it's lovely. Now, our Paul is definitely waiting in the wings. Oh, look at that, all coloured in and looking beautiful. Back to you, Paul. Thanks, Thanks Leone. Uh, that tea set the time for tea coffee and cake it's like a feel good factor isn't yes, it yes um because again tea coffee cake biscuits it just gives you that as you say that warm feeling and yes. that feel good um feeling as well it's homely. and it's great to it is and it's great to see how you can combine the welsh dresser easy for me to say not um, <laughs> with the beautiful wardrobe collection as well yeah, and yeah. see again that's the versatility of linda's designs where she crosses them over i mean who'd have thought that you'd put a, a tea set into a wardrobe yeah i mean it just becomes yeah. a, a kitchen cupboard doesn't it yeah so, absolutely magic yeah. And Absolutely I think that's magic. the thing. When you look at this wardrobe, you know, you, you start, and this is why I adore this collection and everything groovy because you look at it and then you break it down, don't you? And it's like, oh, I could do this, I could do that. It's just never ending. It's a maze. Anyway, sorry, Paul. Absolutely. Over to you, love. That's right. OK, so I've coloured all that in and I've just trimmed it down. And then I say we've got the beautiful sort of um, beautiful Amazonia paper in the background. Beautiful. So that would go on to there. <laughs> we would take our frame to complete our picture. OK, so that's where that white pencil line really comes into play in relation to the positioning. But what I wanted to really showcase was this little technique that Linda came up with the glue. OK, to attach all these different elements to the outside without the glue showing. Now, Linda's very kindly done a couple of stages for me just to explain the difference. OK, so I'm going to try and bring it in on this camera here. So if we have a look at the little romper suit number one, OK, so we yeah. can see, see all that whiteness, like that splodge behind it, like yeah. oil. Yeah, yeah. OK, that's where the glue's been applied and then it's been put onto the parchment. Mayo. And it's wet. <laughs> yeah. So it's mayonnaise. So although it dries clear, you can still see that's where the glue yes. has been applied. Yeah. However, on number two, you can't see any sign of the we, glue at all. We need you to scooch it over a little bit, please, Paul, because we scooch can't see number two. Scooch it over a little two. bit. There that's we go. it. All right. OK. There we go. So number uh, yeah. two. So you can see there. Look. No glue. No, you can see the glue there. Yeah. But no glue. And Linda's applied it in exactly the same positions. OK. OK. So when we have a look also what she's done with the little dress as well. So again, number one, you can start to see, see behind that heart where it, we've got the, the mayo effect. Yes. Yeah. Squidgy yeah. mayo. But then on number two, no, no mayo. squidgy mayo. No, just okay. a beautiful finish. So what Linda found was that when you're working with the, with the glue, because instantly you think, right, OK, I'm going to put glue on the back and I want to pop it onto my card. Yeah. OK. And so that's where you then get that effect of um, the mayo, because you, you want to put it on there and you want to get going and move on to the next thing. Yeah. But when Linda was prepping for this, what she found was that she put some glue in specific areas. And what she did, she did me look this little diagram of where to position the glue. Let me bring it in on this camera. Oh my word, the so attention saying, to detail is ridiculous. She did a diagram know, for you. That's yeah, amazing. Of where you would put the glue <laughs> so that it wouldn't show because it'd be like behind the hearts yeah. in certain areas where you've done white work. 
And so what Linda's done, she's done me this little template just to show. So position um, of dots of glue, and what you do is you leave it to go dry. Ah. Okay. okay. Because it dries clear. So what you're doing is you're creating a little dot. Yeah. So for example, so if I go to the front of th this piece here, and I take my perga glue. So the perga glue comes in the crystal accessories kit. Yes, yes. Okay. And all I'm going to do is squish some out onto a piece of parchment. That creates a little heart. Now, in the um, accessories kit, you get another groovy tool that says number one and number two. What I've done, I've covered over those numbers and I've written glue on my tool. Oh, yeah. So, that so I you've know got a glue this stick. This is going to be the one. Mm -hmm. that this is always going to be for my glue. What is you use the number one tool to pick up some of the glue. Let me come over on this one. Pick up some of the glue. And then what you're doing is you're creating little dots okay. of glue. And I mean teeny okay. tiny and dots of glue. You, you wouldn't even think they'd do anything, would you? No. See, and normally what you would do, you would then take your little piece of artwork and then you would put it on top and it would squidge. Yeah. Okay. So you put it where Linda's indicated for this particular piece. I mean, you could put it, depending on how you coloured it, yeah. whether you've done white work or not. Yeah. Because okay. Cause another thing to be wary of is if you... Yeah, go on. No, I was going to say, because I suppose you put it under the, the heavier items, don't you? Like the heavier white work and the heavier colour, so you don't have as much chance seeing it. No, exactly. So, again, when we look at compare the design, so you've got the, the little heart there in the middle. So that's where Linda's told us to pop it in the sort of top corners where there's white work behind yeah. some of these little hearts. I mean, you don't you don't want to obliterate it with glue because yeah. obviously that just defeats the object. But also, if you're using the pencils or the pens, the moisture from the glue can cause the colour to spread as well, which obviously you don't want to happen. Right. OK. Yeah. So what you do is you pop that to one side and you just let that dry and it will go clear. Okay. So what will happen is it will reveal the pink from underneath, yeah. for example, on that piece. So what I've done is I've already, I say I've prepared some pieces. The lovely Lynn Jackson has very kindly cut out some oh. different elements for me. She's a good egg. Um, and she is, she's fantastic. <laughs> Without Linda and, and Lynn, it just makes this so much easier for me to sort of come on air and showcase what they've put together for oh. us. And I've already put some glue on here, which is already dry. Okay. Um, coming on here. So I've just popped it in a couple of areas. Okay. So now that's dry, what I can do is I can now go back over and just put a tiny little bit of glue where it's already dry. Right. And I'm not putting as much on as when I put on the first time, if that makes sense. So literally just a touch of glue this time, so it won't squidge out. Yeah. So what we've done, in effect, on here, we put some, not biggish blobs, but we put some blobs so that they will dry more raised. Yeah. See, those ones are starting to go off already. Yes, yes. And then all we're doing is we're just reactivating it again with a tiny, tiny little bit of glue. Right, yeah. Just in those, those areas. Okay, right. And I did it on this one as well. And it's just... A, and you can see this glue is just going to yeah. last forever. There's hardly anything and ever. there. Yeah. So then what that means is I'm going to pop this to one side now so I don't put my arm in it. Uh. So if I now bring my frame into play and I take... Look, these have all been put on to sellotape for me. There we go. So I don't lose them. So now when I take... Oh, you can't see that. Can't there see that, go. love. Yay, we can see that. <laughs> yeah. So now, when I put that, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. Yeah. I'm bring it around there, you can see that even better. So now, on what that's doing is I'm just going to hold it there for a minute because that tiny little bit of wet glue yeah. is enough then to cling to that particular frame. Amazing. And again, if I take this one off. And no splodges. Uh, and no splodges. See? We've got about so a minute, gonna... Paul. A minute, oh no. I know. There we go. All right, we'll come back to that. But you can see, there we go, look, it's done. Yeah, that's and, amazing. And so that is a really good technique. Oh, 
cameras, cameras, cameras. <laughs> it's a really good technique, um, especially if you're going on top of parchment as well. Yeah. And you don't want to see that splodge effect. Yeah. So we can see that. Yay, that works go. so good. That's amazing. So thank you for Linda for, for, for working that out, even yeah. if it was by mistake, because I think it's a fantastic <laughs> tip when yeah. working with the parchment. Amazing. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so lovely to have an hour with you. We're going to see you at 12 o'clock, aren't we, my love? We are indeed, and we're going to make a washing line. Hurrah! We look forward to a little bit of washing on that line, as long as it's not a frosty day. Um, now, it is your wonderful one-day special. Please check your baskets out. You've got a massive saving. Um, you've got all those wonderful elements, um, and you've got basically beautiful artwork that you'll be able to create special things again and again and again. Just remember to check your baskets out. Um, don't miss out on your wonderful one-day special. 812 666 is your item number. See you later. Coming up next, Joe Bella, um, which is gorgeous. I'm going to have a look before the glass. We've then got, hey, make a Joe, and then a festival of Japan springtime. See you in a little bit. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please 
Join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Good morning, we have Ciabella, absolutely beautiful papers from Italy and we have of course the amazing uh, Lou Sims here with us. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yourself? Uh, very good, very very dazzled by all your samples that you thank have you. done. Thank you. I just wanted to show that the papers could be used in lots of different ways, you know, not, not just scrapbooking or art journaling, 3D, upcycle, you yeah. think outside the box, that sort of and thing. of course, you are using, well, Ciao Bella is a company based in Italy. Can you tell us a little bit more about I mean, it? Yeah, Ciao Bella has a great ethos. It's, it, it's um, got its own in-house designers. It tries to design all its own elements itself to put together. They use forest-friendly and recycled um, paper to make theirs. Their inks are um, like organic. They're, they're as natural as possible rather than being too chemical. Uh, yeah. So it's, they've amazing. really thought about the whole ethos, you know, the eco ethos as much as they possibly can for a paper crafting company. And that is amazing. And it's great to have a company that you can invest that not only has that ethos, but also amazing designs. Now we are going to start with the 70s. Uh, now this is a, obviously, I was born within the 70s, like six days within the 70s. Uh, if I would have been late, I wouldn't have been in the 70s. But look at gorgeous papers. <laughs> I, you know, I the I, this paper kit is absolutely stunning because there's a little bit of everything, you know, riotous colours. I think sometimes we're quite conservative with our colours. Yes. And then you look at something like this and you think, why? If, yeah, if exactly. that makes sense, you yes. know, why? So when you see it all go together and all the patterns, I mean, um, the 70s for me was uh, different dodgy secondary school uniforms <laughs> and things like that. But some of these designs do remind me of things like the home furnishings and Absolutely. curtains. And dresses, um, those kind of Mary Quaint sort of dresses oh, and, as well. Yes. Uh, no, absolutely gorgeous. I love the way. I mean, it, this is one is one of the all time favorites from uh, you know for our Leon. It absolutely adores it. Now you are getting the twelve by twelve and also the A4 creative pad. What exactly is a creative pad? So the creative pad will give you the chance to have lots of different elements. But if you didn't want to use the elements, you've got decorative papers which are different to the twelve by twelve papers. So you can, um, I mean, there's so much to snip into there. I mean, even the toppers snip into them. I mean, there is just absolutely, I've, I've kept little slivers just to keep. But they are, they've got so much there. So you can actually, you know, if you're a card maker, yeah. there's loads of elements there for card making. Um, if you're a scrapbooker, art journaling, I mean, the lovely tags there, the huge tags. You've got the circles. And the circles, I will say, go with a standard nesting die. Indeed. Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. And I also think, like, for instance, the other day my parents sent me a picture, uh, well, quite a few pictures of their, you know, in the 70s, mm. and they were proper hippies. And I was just thinking, just scrapbook those pictures. Make sure that you incorporate them and keep those memories alive. £15.49 is your price. Very, very busy. A quarter of the stock already gone. If you want your scrap them by checking out those baskets, you are saving £3. And the item number is 742829. Then we have more of those creative pads. We have them in as a pick and mix. So you choose any two, and we are going to go through the different options here. Now, you have a moon moon and me and then you have got delta but let's have a look as well as modern times which i know is one of the favorites from lou as well so you have all that kind of camera action that vintage element and absolutely glorious backgrounds as well and i love that they are have you have that background and you have got the tags uh this is one of your favorites isn't it it is it's 
I don't know why it's one of my favourites, but it is one of my favourites. I know the colours are quite muted compared, but there is actually so much. Yeah. I mean, I've decorated a suitcase with it that we've got on the show, but I then did a double page art journal spread using photographs of my son when he was in his maths jazz hands mode. But, um, but there, there was lots of iconic, obviously, Hollywoody images. But there's lots of film, there's there's lots of bits you can yeah, cut out from absolutely. it. absolutely. And I'm also thinking, uh, well, this one is Cecilia. Uh, oh, look at that. I love these colours. The Cecilia is absolutely beautiful. When I first saw it, I thought, mm, I'm not sure it's me. Oh, Do you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's it's bright, it's zingy. Um, and I think the paper pads, they do really well. There are so many elements that you can cut out and layer up. To, you know, collage. You don't... You, you, toppers i mean quick cards oh you, you know you cut there. those out a quick you know uh, one or two flowers a sentiment yeah absolutely. And, and, you're, and you're done sort of thing but they are beautiful beautiful designs absolutely and you are right i love also the, those sentiments like when we say le uh, life gives you lemons yeah. yeah you know you make lemonade so that is that sort of uplifting a uh, twist on there i need to show the this one because i absolutely love moon and me uh, i love the kind of surrealism in here but it is, but you, again, this is another one which I think is really cool because you can take it in so many different directions because you've got fish floating around the moon. Yeah. You know what I mean? So with an umbrella, but then you've got classic, what I would call, moon yeah, images. Yeah, absolutely. So you can go, I mean, that one in the window is a classic moon yeah. sort of thing. But then you've got the sentiments, and it is, it's a great one. To, you can go wild with this one. I had great fun. Absolutely. I think this one, one is just one of those ones. Uh, moon and me. It's already limited stock, so if this is your option, I'm not going to go through the all everything because I want to show you a sample that our Lou has created. Uh, otherwise, you might miss out on seeing. Look how gorgeous! And this is you are absolutely right that. You know, uh, Lou was saying that it's just papers, but you can do so much more than papers. Another option that we have got for you is under the Tuscan sun. Oh, th this one I think is beautiful. It's got some really nice um, small quotes yeah. in there as well. Um, and it's got lots of little elements. I, I love the circle elements because you've got little, you know, like countryside. For me, it was, I mean, that one there is beautiful. I mean, this reminds it's, me, of course, a lot of um, Mallorca is very much like this as well. But it's, it, you've got hinges in there. You've got lots of different ways oh, yeah. with it. I mean, it's, it is beautiful cut out oh, little oil. jugs. You know, no. layer up the tags on top of each other. I mean, this is l exactly like the fields right beside my parents' house. Exactly Putting like that. Put a crackle gel on top of that image yeah. and then, you know, oh, knock back with like yeah. a gesso or a wax. I like that. You, you've got something totally different so again. Something. And they've got some beautiful soft papers, but then you've got the pop of red. Yes. Um, and always, you cannot go wrong with a bit of pop of bread. <laughs> and of course, being poppies, also for Remembrance Day as remembrance. well. And you've got clock images in there, which is great ones for Remembrance. But that is a really lovely one. It does lovely. layer up, you know, superbly. Yeah, absolutely. And then we have another one, which is, of course, the Brocado Estense. Brocado Estense. Uh, I love that as but well you see, with the beautiful That blues. one, I think, would work beautifully with the Cecilia. You know the two together because um, of the flowers and the colours. Because the silly is yellow and blue, and you've got the blues in there. Absolutely. But that's beautiful. It's got some wonderful backgrounds. Absolutely, Im well, it absolutely immense. Uh, beautiful, uh, fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. You choose whichever two you want, and of course, it's a pick and mix. Seven one seven three one seven is your item number. We have news on the moon and me. Uh, that is a technical sellout, so we are going to put them in here. If you have them in your basket please make sure to check out those baskets and get it. 717-317 uh, is your item number. Shop ahead though uh, because of course we have them on the website. We have got lots more so have a look there and just make sure that you check out whatever option you got. We are already very very busy. We already have had one sellout. Please do not miss out. Check out those baskets. And of course Lou is here to demonstrate but look at those papier mache. Uh, six uh, hard boxes, the, the pencil holder treasure chest candle holder these ones are the substrates the things that you can alter with the beautiful uh, gorgeous Chiabella papers and then of course you have the apple barrel from Platt 
with the acrylic paints, beautiful paints as well, and lots more from Deco Art as well. Right, so make sure to check out those baskets. Now we have, of course, Lou's gonna demonstrate the first demonstration. We did 70s, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, had to, I had to use this one as my, my first demonstration. So what I've done is I've, I've, I've part made an album and I thought what would be nice is to actually decorate the front and then show how we can use lots of the elements to create the album. Um, and I've just used circle layering dies and then I've just created lots of, I mean I love the papers, look at those. And then I've used um, Charmaine's you know, different edges because I wanted something wavy and different. Yeah. So if we start on the front and all I've done is I've taken um, one of the backing papers and cut it out. Now this backing paper is actually the front cover that comes with the actual kit. Yeah. So I thought, I'm not going to waste it. I might as well use it all at once sort of thing. So, but then that, those front covers, yeah. if you didn't want the backing paper or the alphabet, are a, a, a beautiful source of, um, you know, inspiration straight away. Right. Okay. okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to put... I love this kind of... What, what is it called, this pattern? Seashell pattern or... It, it, yeah, it, it, race? It, it's... it's yeah, it's a bit like a she, seashell, isn't it? It's a bit... It's, it's love, I love all the different shading and all the different... I mean, I love greens and I love blues anyhow. Right, I'm not going to worry about the spine. I will stick that down separately. So what I've done is I've grabbed lots of different images because we have got them and I, I've cut loads out and I've got a couple of border strips that these were left over from my pages. And I love the fact that these are a little bit different mm -hmm. and I can start layering up because, you know, you, the 70s, it, everything didn't matter, yeah. if, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? The colour didn't matter, um, what you wore. Yeah. I mean, how you wore it exactly i mean the pictures when you look at pictures like for instance my parents and, and, and my <laughs> uncle i mean oh my goodness i, I mean, mean you're saying that i mean my dad i remember my dad vividly in the 70s had um, obviously platform shoes because that was obviously oh, yes. the rage but we think of platforms now and he was telling me they were wood yes they were and yeah. he said and he said sort of yeah. thing how anyone walked um remotely, you know, decoratively, or, you know, with any form of grace or style. He never knows, because he said it was like having two trees yeah, <laughs> on your, on yeah, your on feet. Your, on your yeah. Feet. yeah, absolutely. I mean, I remember my horrible school uniform. Mine was pink and green. Ooh. I have mm. got pictures of my dad, I think, somewhere, with, wearing a caftan as well. Yeah, that, that, you know that my mum always had a caftan as a house coat. No, that she was my father, it. though. No, my, well, my mother still wears caftans. My dad now has become much less flamboyant, but, um, you know, it's, but this is the thing, it's like these flamboyant times, it's, yeah, it's, it's good, a celebration of them. And I think it, it was, that was it, wasn't it? It was all about, mm -hmm. you know, the different colours, the different things that we're doing. And I'm just going to, I'm just playing around with all my different elements that I've well, got. Well, if you want to play around with the 70s, uh, I would be quick to check out those baskets because it's now limited <gasps> stock. Oh. So if you want this collection, please do check out your baskets and then you will get them. So... I'm just going to build up. I mean, I carry on collaging and collaging, you know, forever and a day. Yeah. Because I just want to add that little bit there. I'm not, I'm going to, I will stick it down properly. But for speed, so I, I'm going to layer up all the little bits. And then we've got the car, which I would snip away. We've got the joy, love piece. Um, we've got sentiments. So you've got, no, loving yourself is the greatest, what would it say? I, I was going to cut it all out, then I knew I'd lose it. Loving yourself is the greatest revolution. Oh. Yeah. So I would add that to the top. So going in, to, we'll let that dry and I can add the other bits to it. So going inside, and it's looking at all the different papers and how they work. And we've got things, you know, like beautiful tags. So I can add tags in to my different pockets. And I've just created, and they all work together, even though the colours are, you know, bright and stingy, so. But the thing with all them, these ones as well, I find that they are bright, but they are not shouty. No, no, but then, you see, I've put those together. If I backed those on black card, it would change the look again. And yeah. then we have the beautiful bigger toppers, like an A6. And we've got the backing paper on the back, but that could be a perfect photo opportunity. You know, you put your photograph there, your six by four, you know, that can sit in there. I've then just done a simple wallet and then I thought I had to do something a little bit different sorry yeah so these swing Ooh. by 
That's nice. Well, it was on the chair. Bella saw. I saw someone do something similar. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a photo. But when I turn it... So this is a pocket here because I had to hide pocket. But when you turn over this side, you can then see your photos. Oh, of course. So I, I thought I had to do something a little bit different. I love that. And it kind of has this kind of disco kind of yeah. element as well. I love that technique. So I can then start adding a few of, you know, the toppers. I've, yeah. And I think this is the fun. You were saying what's brilliant about A4 and is this. You've got lots of different elements that suddenly you can snip out. Play. I mean, there's a backing paper on there, which is just um, cassette tapes. Now, I remember cassette tapes and um, recording the top 40 on a Sunday evening. Um, and I've snipped out, just from that one backing paper, two or three of the cassette tapes. Oh, and, and made them an embellishment as well. I mean, we've got things like um, the radio I could add on. I could, so you've got lots and lots of different things. I've even kept, you know, like little strips that I can add on, you know, to add little decorative detail. So we've got that one there. So I just really wanted to, so I've got pockets here again. Yeah, fabulous. Uh, we have got some news with uh, the 70s. Now, the 70s are technically sold out. Oh. If you have it in your baskets, make sure to check them and you will get them as well. We are trying to get more so As soon as we have got any news, we will uh, convey them. Uh, right, uh, Lou, uh, do, do you want to get ready for the next demo? <laughs> we knew that this was going to be busy. So, of course, uh, while Lou resets for her demo, let us have a reminder of the pick and mix of the paper pads, now the creative pads. Now, we are there is only one set that we haven't oh no two two of them that we haven't seen uh we have got frozen roses uh now this one is of course one option for the winter theme it's not really christmas it's more the winter one but oh, it was one of that december days when it was autumn in the light and winter in the shade of roses how nice how beautiful words and of course those backgrounds with the uh, kind of layer and collage and then you have those gorgeous reds and greens in there Look at that, the winter theme throughout. And then you have always those elements in there. Oh, which are, oh, no, that's, um, I don't know, oh, ferret maybe, maybe, I don't know. Uh, look at those gorgeous red crackles, those roses, those beautiful uh, uh, birds as well in there. And of course you have the light, the candle, the garden. It's a really good, I love these kind of colors as well for Christmas because they are not your traditional Christmas, but then therefore for people who do not celebrate Christmas as such, but then of course you want to have a Christmas, uh, kind of a wintry theme. Let me do a little bit of a move around. And then this one is the Delta with those glorious animals from the Delta. Uh, of course, with backgrounds we have here. I, I love, I love, is this a... Um, a crane or a heron, I don't, know, I don't really know the name of them, but they are absolutely stunning birds on this. And that is a, definitely a dog, and this is a horse, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and this is kind of, uh, look at the, I love the background as well in here. Love the feathers, the symbolism of the feathers. Love the way that the animals in here as well. And we have always the wood as well. We have got the sentiments in there. Um, the river has this meaningful, the poetic meaning as well, those labels as well. I love this, the postcard in here. You could trim that, you could do a, a little bit of fussy cutting, layer them as well. And of course, you can see, the, of course, you can use these as backgrounds for your elements. And of course, this is one of your options. You have got different options in there as well. If you want to go for the creative path, the pick and mix, 717-317 is your item number. Very busy for this, 14 pounds and 98 pence is your price, saving three pounds. Very busy, make sure that you select which of the other options and check out as soon as possible because, of course, the, we already have had a sellout. Now, if you wanted the Delta in the 12 by 12, we have them here for you. Uh, now, the 12 by 12 are gorgeous because it kind of gives you more possibilities in terms of sizes and also gives you a bigger background. So if you have, for instance, a die set that allows you to count uh, journals, I'm not saying, uh, you know, yes, if you were lucky to get one of them uh, yesterday, or you have a studio light as well, you could uh, create journals 
for your memories. For instance, if you have been into a trip down the Mississippi Delta or the Delta in the, you know, in Valencia, for instance, the Delta del Ebro, uh, you can do that, you know, it's, or if you are, a, if your partner or yourself are a fishing uh, kind of uh, um, aficionado, this could be perfect. And then you have, of course, the feathers in here. Look at what uh, Lou has created, fussy cutting them and hang them there like this. But of course, you can then create coasters. You can create thing elements like this, which are glorious. But not, of course, not just something 3D. You can include beautiful tags. It could be a bookmark uh, if you like to read. Uh, and of course, or a present could be really nice as well and something to hang here. I always think that things like this would be really nice to have like hooks in here and a key chain, like a key, to leave the keys in here because kind of, uh, or it could be like if, the, again, the fishing theme, you could have the little elements as well in there. Uh, 11 99 is your price, uh, 30 pounds saving, 20% of the stock already has gone. 8 8 9 2 7 1 is your item number. Now, moving down to the uh, flowers and buttons, I think it says, uh, flights and buttons, uh, tags and buttons. Sorry, it's just that the monitor is all the way around there, so I cannot read it. Uh, right, so, I just like, don't, sorry, don't not, I'm not being, I'm not being, um, no, poor thing. Hannah is here doing a little bit of extra work, so you can see it. She's doing great. Uh, right, uh, you can see that you can say 12 sheets in there. Uh, now, they are the same design, but what I would do is because the background is the perfect background, this is the, what I really love about this. You would have, you could do the whole album with this in here, and then you have the elements in here uh, with the tags. So you can mix and match as well as much as, as possible. I love, love this background. It's a perfect background for so many different occasions. And it's a perfect background. So for instance, if you bring in your clock, so you put it in the background, the first element, and then you put rice paper over the top, it kind of gives you that element in here. But of course, those tags as well, it kind of bring in the, uh, right, $12.99 is your price. 565-043 is your item number. Then we have the 12 by 12 pick and mix, uh, different options. Uh, now in here, you choose any two of them. Uh, you can see here that you have got Summertail, Bourgeois Extraordinaires. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, you know, uh, French. Uh, but then we have got also the gorgeous and the uh, uh, Tuscan Sun, and you have those beautiful poppies in here, those glorious landscapes. I love this. This is such a beautiful side of the springtime. We have in all those foxgloves and those poppies, the bees in there. It's absolutely stunning. Make beautiful journals, but you also have the a calendar. And I would just use this as a kind of almost like birthdays and things like that. Just kind of a reminder of things. But you can use the bag if you don't want to use the uh, calendar. You can still stamp and journal. I love the time and of course the word luck at the background. Love that you have got always two different options with the vivid red that kind of is full of passion and color and depth in here and of course you are getting one of each per set but they are double sided so plenty of options so you could if you like to you know if you like a very much this one for instance you could go for two of these ones and that way you have two of each of them Let's have a look at this one because we haven't seen Under the Ocean. Now, Under the Ocean features, of course, as the name says, like those beautiful blues and seashells, the ocean elements in here, double-sided again, one uh, sheet of each of them. And of course, you can see the deep blues, the light uh, sky blues as well. Uh, so you have got all the options. Oh, now I'm hungry. I see lobster and crab and I'm hungry. I'm just, uh, oh, I love, these kind of a Japanese elements in here as well and the bubbles and the anchors as well so that you have got all these options in here if you go for under the sea uh, sorry uh, under the ocean not the sea the ocean and then of course you have the uh, Sicilia also option in here but you have time for home with the winter theme as well this is more like December January times those beautiful blues and grays as well so you have all all that in here so that's uh, one of the options of time for 
uh, for home. Shall we look another one of these ones as well? So let's have a look. Summer tails. We like some summer tails. Uh, now this is what reminds me of the shirt uh, our Derek was wearing yesterday as well. Really nice and summery. Uh, we have the Riviera and Rimini and Sorrento and Almalfi Coast. And we have the plainer colors in here. Uh, I love this. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, this definitely was the shirt that Derek was wearing yesterday. So fry, fresh and high viscous. And then, of course, we have got the ice cream. Uh, no, you call them ice lollies. Lolly, lollipops. And then we have the milkshakes, uh, the sweet cream, the aperitivo italiano. And then we have got the cocktails and the lemon and gelato as well. So we have all those beautiful words in there. And then we have got the greens in there as well. So this is one of the options, summer tails. And we all want some summer tails to tell. Uh, we want all, you know, the brightness and the cheerfulness of the summer. And then we have got Borges Extraordinaires. Uh, and then, of course, we have the uh, here elements in here for the alphabet, so you can spell uh, anything. Love the kind of adventures from Jules Verne. And, of course, you have got the Nautilus and the thousands. Look at that. Oh, absolutely an element. Perfect for a steampunk as well. And, of course, those elements in there. So I'm going to not show all of them because you can get an idea of the colors and the patterns, one of each. But remember that you are getting eight double-sided paper, 16 designs, so you could go for two packs because it's a pick and make. So you could be the same one, and that way you have two of each or two different ones. £13 is the price. You're saving £4. One eight one zero two two is your item number we have got rice papers next it's a pick and mix so you choose uh, any two that you like now you will get 10 sheets in total so you are getting five of whatever design you're choosing so two designs uh, right so here this is one of my favorites the hummingbird is absolutely gorgeous then we have oh look at this one this one is just amazing this is from the moon uh, is it upside down Ah, it's called upside down. I'm kind of thinking, are my eyes deceiving me? Uh, no, you have them here, the upside down. And then we have, then the next one up is the roses, thousand roses. Look at that, frozen roses from the collection. So they match the collections. Then we have got the clocks, which will work perfectly with the under the Tuscan sun. And then, of course, this one is called, okay, let me see if I can see it. Um, is it uh, ah, Taormina? 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 It's in, the, it's in Sicily, apparently. We have got somebody who has been there. Uh, Taormina. Uh, uh, apparently, there is an, uh, a Roman aqueduct. Amphitheatre. Oh, there is quite a few of those ones around. So, uh, right. So, and we can see Taormina, that beautiful, gorgeous yellow that will work with the Sicilia, uh, gorgeous paper. So, you have got all these options that hopefully they're not going to fall off. Uh, remember, whichever you go for. So, for instance, if you wanted to, uh, the uh, uh, upside down and the hummingbird, you could go, you will get five of each of those options. I would definitely recommend to go for this one because it's a background one and then a feature one that will kind of coordinate with it as well. £14.98 is your price. You are saving £5.348091 is your item number. Oh, can I show this sample because you can see it here how gorgeous that hummingbird is. It's exactly that's what I was explaining. The hummingbird and then of course you have got the time here as well so you can bring it in if you wanted it. Absolutely stunning. Uh, now we have got more more rice papers for you and then here they are so it's a different item number and you have got two different options so here you are not choosing uh, you know two options but just one single option and you're gonna get five of each uh, 999 is the price you have got here the ones that coordinate with the Delta collection and you have the first option here which is called uh, ooh, Trebu uh, Trebuchet, Trebuchet which is actually the name of a font and then we have the Delta. Uh, look at that gorgeous Delta in here as well. So you can see them here. I love that. So these ones are your two options. Uh, both of them coordinate beautifully with the uh, gorgeous, um, gorgeous 
Delta Collection. 999 is your price. 613-719 is your item number. Right, and we have got, uh, of course, everything that we have seen on the website, but also we have got a couple more that we want to show you. Uh, now, for instance, uh, how about the hard boxes? You are getting six of them. So there are two sets of nesting uh, boxes there. So look at that low price of 975 pence uh, price. It's absolutely uh, really great. Uh, now, they are nice size hearts, actually. They are not too small, not too big so really nice to decorate it this would be a lovely centerpiece for a wedding as well to keep all those memories inside it and surprising as well uh, six four six uh four, eight one three is your item number then we have a treasure tre now you get me <laughs> now charlie was like i cannot pronounce it and i'm like i cannot pronounce it either uh treasure Chest <laughs> and candle holder, 11.99 is your item number. And you're also getting the pencil holder, one, two, one, a double zero, three. And then we also have the suitcases, a set of two, and they are fabulous. These ones you can make a lovely, uh, you know, absolutely gorgeous elements you can do uh, with the rice papers, with the papers. Uh, they are such a good quality as well because you have got actually proper leather handle. Well, and you have got that closure so you can see them here as well. Gorgeous decorated and they are proper nice sizes. So you could actually use it for crafting storage. Crafty storage, you put things inside, like you were saying. I just think a, pr a different way to do a present. Yeah. You know, for something that someone, you know, decorate it with the papers that people Absolutely. like. But you get two sizes, like you say, something. One is slightly smaller than the other, but they are beautiful. They are. I love the idea as well. It could be uh, kind of, a, a, like you said, um, a memory box, mm. but also kind of thinking it could be even a makeup kind of thing. So you can put a mirror kind of element yeah, in here. Yeah, that would be lo lovely. And little lights. You know the LED lights that you can bring so you can have it like this and then it kind of. Oh, yeah, that would be really cool, actually. Right. Something different. Yeah. And then outside, you could do the, of course, like you have done with the modern times uh, papers. So kind of the camera kind of element in here. So this could be for you when you come here. Oh, yeah, it could get be. Ready. Get ready. <laughs> yeah. Get ready. Ooh. Well, the ideas, ideas. Uh, but of course, if you want it, 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 855-082 is your item number. We also have stamps on the show. You have got different options in there. Uh, they are six by four inches uh, clear stamps and you have got matching stamps that will work with the collection. So from the Delta, you have got love somehow. Oh, uh, right. And I I was got some, somehow finds always way to flow like river to delta uh, and of course you have that and then the wood and of course the patterns I love that that's who you would use it so many times love that one as well the moon go slowly my lovely moon go slowly oh, amazing and those patterns that kind of bring in those layers absolutely phenomenal bad girls apparently that's the name of the collections attitude is everything indeed it is uh, I love them all. Oh, look at those geometric lines as well, random, and those butterflies. My window in the clouds. Oh my goodness, they are all amazing. I really want them all now. I really want them all. You can find them on the website. 10.99 is your price, and 903.895 is your item number. Do check out the website for those ones as well to in more closer detail. But we want to see more of them. Ones. So back to you, Lou. Right, I'm going to play with the Delta collection, and I've actually grabbed a little bit of everything because why not? Yeah. Um, I've got the rice papers, I've got the paper kits, the A4, and I've grabbed some of the stamps. So I've made a start, on, I'm just going to, to tear away some of my rice paper elements. And I'm going to use the suitcase, Yeah. the other suitcase to do it. And I just want to make that nice for it. Oh look, I'm being really good and putting it all in the bin. Um, and as you said, I've just um, painted my suitcase up with one of the paints we've got on and I've just done it inside and out because I had a plan for the inside. You were talking about mirrors. I thought if we had the papers and layered two up, you could make them like a little filing wallet. Yep. That was in my head. So I thought what we could do is, and so I've got, we've got some beautiful iconic images. Yes, now when I decorated my last one, what I did was I actually decorated the whole of it and then with a knife, I went round and trimmed around the edges. So the case could, you know, open back up again. Okay. So let's just put some of these on. Okay. And I think that's beautiful image, isn't it? Yeah. The horses. Absolutely. But like I said, the rice papers, I put, um, I had, I'm, every year I always make a new decoration for everybody. And um, 
I had some of those wooden chips left, and I okay, and I made them like you said into coasters. You know, something a little bit different. But I could have easily put those um, coasters on a um, decorated them up and put them on a um, canvas. Yep. Right. So I won't decorate. I'm just going to focus on the front more, and I'm making a mess. I brought myself an apron, and I haven't put it on. Only because I know I'm going to wipe my hands some point over myself. That's the only reason I wear it. It's not because of... Now, I've yeah. uh, chopped them all up. We've got lots of different images. We've got that beautiful bird. Oh, that's... I, you know, I, I think I, I call it a, um, a crane, but it might not be. Maybe... It's Is it a heron? Heron. I think it's a heron. I think it's a heron. Have you... Uh, the other day, well, a couple of months ago, or maybe last year, I don't know, uh, I was flying... I, I was flying. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't flying. I was driving. I and was then like, Ooh. one flew across me, and it is the <gasps> most magical experience. I mean, they are mass... They are really big. They are, and I can imagine... Yeah, that, they are very, very big, aren't they? So they're very commanding. They are. Uh, they're real. But, majestic. Uh, but the... Um, You've got so many different images within the rice papers that coordinate, obviously, with the paper pack. Um, but, you know, pull them apart in lots of different ways. The candlestick I decorated, the main focus is that bird. And then all the rest of it was just scraps of little bits of rice paper that I had left over. Yeah. Um, so, and, and it's, you know, you can... Use your rice papers in lots of different ways. Indeed, you can. <laughs> and of course, then can and you can see it here how well it has molded exactly the same. That's image. got all the stamps on that you were talking about yeah. as well. Absolutely. And of course, this is uh, the candle. Ho the candle holder is part of a bundle that comes with a pencil holder and a treasure uh, chest as well. I just wanted to do something different with the candle yes. holder. Uh, I think I was trying to channel my inner Lynette. Oh, yeah. Sort of, you know, like when she chops up all her MDF and throws it all on. I think I'm not quite there yet. I'm still a little bit too neat. Well, you are yeah, doing pretty good. I would say I'm really enjoying <laughs> to see you getting a little bit gritty. Yeah. Yes. It, it's, um, I'm getting there. You know, yes. you just think, I wish I could do it. So I'm just going to just put a little bit. Do you around. ever find that you kind of, you know, you watch somebody else take, take, take and then you bring it to your own I think, realm? I think we all do that, though, yeah. don't we? I think um, for me, um, where I'm probably a little bit more conservative is colour. And I love watching someone layer lots of different colours and you go, mm, really? And then you see it at the end and you go, oh, wow. Yeah. And then I got braver with my colour, I would say, you know, using your inks, making your backgrounds mm -hmm. and things like that. Then I probably... Did for, but it's also the way people layer, isn't it? You know, it everybody is. layers things differently. Yeah. Um, it was like watching you the other day. I'm not, I've got to be honest, a Miri Borf fan, but the way you did your die cuts and layering on top of the papers okay. made it perfect. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't you sound know. like you're going, mm. okay. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay. No, but it was, it was lovely that oh, way. Thank you. Right, so now I would take the rice paper designs around the edges as well. But, and oh. I love how free you are with it. You don't have to be like, oh, I, this, will, it, will it go there, will it not? No, I, I think with the, the whole of the rice papers and... Sorry, I'm just going to have to lift this up so I can just go around the, the lock at least. Um, I think the designs on the rice papers are very collage-like, so I think they make you want to do something yeah. a, a, with a bit more collage. So I'm just going to go around here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just because I just want to make sure and, it's stuck down. And you used the acrylic paint, the antique white, didn't you? Yeah, I've used the, the antique white to cover it all, and it's only actually taken one coat. I okay. haven't put c double coats on. I want, I didn't want white underneath the rice paper. I wanted the cream because it's such. They're such beautiful, yeah. soft images. Absolutely. And you, they're big pots of paint. You are getting uh, both of them for just nine ninety nine. Right, I'll just stick those down. So, we'll carry on building up. I'm just going to give this a quick blast. It won't take long just to go around the edges. Oh, I had a panic then that I hadn't put so, it in. Well, you do that. We have an update on the suitcases. Remember that they, they are two different sizes, a small difference. Uh, and you can see that they are, you can see them there. Very di little difference in size, but however, they are paper mache. And you can see how from this can go to this really nicely and easily with the beautiful Chow Bella papers. £13.99 for both of them, but three quarters of the stock has gone. Grab yours by checking out those baskets. 855-082 is your item number. Love them. They're because it, they are proper 
suitcases that you can put they things are, and in. They're, and, uh, yes, they're paper mache, but they're actually really robust. <laughs> they are. You, you, and, and if you put more layers are, of paper and inside and out, yeah. that will only build that robustness, oh, won't it? Totally. Cause, yeah, because if you're decorating every single side. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, now, I, I've gone ahead because... I just didn't know when to stop, and I started snipping out bits. You know when you just go, yeah. there are so many beautiful elements. I kept thinking, oh, that would look nice, that would look nice, that yeah. would look nice. Then before I know it, I've got a whole wallet of things. Yeah. So, as you can see here, I've got loads. And what I would like to do is, where I've got different elements, we've got, like this, we've got this beautiful one here of the boat. And it's just collaging all of these different layers yeah. up. I'm, I'm using a matte Mod Podge because I didn't want to use my collage medium because it dries just a little bit too quickly. Okay. And then we've got those on top. And, uh, and I like the, the feathers. It, you've got so much detail in here. You could snip round that. We've got, where is it that I'm looking for? I've got longer ones. That's for the side. Right, so I've got little tags here, which is like the duck elements that I just want to layer up underneath. Yeah. So I'm just going to stick bits of it down so I can carry on yeah. layering. And I've got, where is, I'm looking, i do you Do you sometimes just fussy cut around all the elements <laughs> and then kind of bring, yeah, that's... <laughs> very, very much so, as you can see here by... Uh, but there are so many different different bits, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, that's the one I'm after. So I, I cut. Yeah. We've got lots of different um, sentiments. I haven't cut all the sentiments out. And the main reason I didn't cut them out is I knew for a fact I'd lose them. If yeah. I cut them all up into their separate words, yeah. I've learnt the hard way, yeah. that way, sort of thing. So we've got beautiful sentiment here. Yeah. By the way, we have got some news. Sorry to interrupt, uh, Lou. Uh, now, the suitcases now have technical uh, <gasps> sellout, which means that if you have it in your baskets and you check, if you uh, check out now, you will get them. We are trying to get more stock, but there is no news as of yet. So if you have it in your baskets, please do check out your basket. And then uh, we've got this beautiful, we've got some beautiful things. Murmuring sounds of the River Delta in Symphony of Peace. And you just go, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it, sort of thing. I'm sticking everything down. And I want to, so I'm just, it's lots of different elements that all go together. They do. And I just want to bring them together. together. We get so many different bits. I don't want to cover the, the beautiful horse's head there. Oh, no. You know, you just go, that just seems a little bit rude. So we'll just put that down in there. But then, actually, I could. We have enough rice paper that I could actually rice paper that back over, paint it a little bit white, um, and just stick these down. That's lovely. And now you are using. Are you what medium are you? I'm using, using Mod Podge. I'm using a matte one. Okay. Um, you could use gel mediums, collage. You... I just found the collage glue dries too quickly. Like this. Uh, um, did you see? Um, did you <gasps> see the um, Sammy Samam. had yeah. the, uh, what's it, like the, the five ounces or something? No, 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 it wasn't more It was like a gallon ounces. or it something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. A gallon. I mean, that was amazing. And I know, you just sit there and go, I mean, talk about weight training, bless her, for the, for the whole well, of that. Yes, like, that would be quite good to get two of them. And cool. just kind of, it uh, did, wasn't it? Oh, you just go, oh. Right, so I'm just going to put one or two more elements on. And then I'll okay. put that there. Oh, sorry, I'm faffing. You know when you just go, I have to faff now. Because there we go. Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit more there. And I've decided to use the matte rather than um, a shiny for the moment. Because you can always go over Absolutely. whatever you, yeah. you do. Um, I prefer, it like you, to use the matte and then kind of go if you want to varnish it. Yeah, to, yeah. Uh, or go over them with a crackle. Oh, yeah. And the matte also allows you, if you wanted to stamp, you, it's a little bit yeah. easier, isn't it? It is. Um, so I'm just bringing in some of the other little bits of the rice paper because I just want to tie in... That's such a good idea. Just I just to want to tie in, in the toppers yeah. so yeah. They, they look a little bit more collaged. And remember the rice papers, uh, they you have got two different options for the Delta papers. Uh, now you have got uh, trebuchet, I think, and Delta itself. Those ones are the options for it. And you're getting five sheets of whatever designs. Um, 613719 is your item number. 
Right, and I'll carry on there. Um, and then we've got a little bit, the might use a little bit of the blue up here. And I think this is one of the nice things with rice papers as well. You can overlay them on top of each other. You can, um, you know, create different elements with them. Now, one of the things I did do, where have I got it? I did stamp out some of the feather designs yeah. that we've got in the stamp set. Mm -hmm. And I've die cut another one of the birds to go across the top. So I'm just collaging different elements. So like you were saying okay. that there's so much, and this was, mm -hmm. the bird is taken from one of the sheets. So I've actually just snipped it out rather than, yeah. So I would hold that down in place. We'll stick that there. And then you could bring in all your different stamping that we've got. And I think this is one of the things I think Chow Bella does very well with their papers. Because yeah. of the way they collage, they give you confidence to collage? They do. They it, do if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So, Absolutely. I mean, I love the, the feathers. They are gorgeous. But you could bring in other things as well. I mean, these are just, um, you know, die cut. So I've actually die cut one of the paper's designs. Because your papers don't have to be, um, you know, as we've done, I'm doing it here. You could, if you've got die cuts, use, you know, use different die cuts, cuts and colour them up in That's different ways. Thing. And then we've got one element, which I love is we've got um, a buckle. Oh, yeah, kind of... Uh... So I just wanted to add the buckle so it went across the... Um, either the I think I'm going to do it down the bottom here and I'll trim it. But I then want to carry that on around the rest of the, um, the box because you can get two or three different buckle yeah. to a page. And that is featured both in the 12 by 12 papers as well as uh, the tags and buttons. So if you go there, and this is really one of the uh, thing about going for the tags, uh, the tags and buttons, because you, then you are getting 12 of the same one, which is a beautiful background, but then that beautiful uh, buckle there. I've changed my mind again. I'm going to do Ooh. the buckle this way, because I haven't cut this one out, but I've wondered, because we've got the way the suitcase is, you know, with the handle at the front, that I could bring the buckle. Yeah all the way down to match it so it looks Ooh. like it was a design I like you, you know, but then i do like his face so maybe not maybe sorry not. yeah, yeah the hair <laughs> needs to be yeah. seen he's just beautiful isn't he yeah so. but this is the thing is like having all those possibilities and almost you cannot go wrong as long as you you like it yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, like you say as long as you like it and you want to do yeah. you know add on all the different pieces you want to add on yeah. and I'm going to leave that there because I would trim that down so it, it would then join up so I could make it look straight yeah if I just trim it now it'll just make me go mm. yeah. so we just and that's just doing the front and then we've got I mean, around the bottom there I want to I'm just going to lift this up if that's okay yeah. and we'll just carry on building and I'm just using up now these little bits around here and as I said I do I don't deliberately stick down where the join is but I do stick near it because then I can um, just go around with a, a knife and yep, I just trim the edges yep. then just cut that a bit more um, and it, it comes away you know absolutely beautifully so and I think when you're doing projects like this the rice paper is invaluable Yes, they are. Because it's more malleable than a piece of paper. And I find it even like I'm not a massive a mixed media. Well, I, I love mixed media, but I kind of more neat, clean and simple. But rice paper makes it so quick and easy to get all those corners perfect. It, it does, doesn't it? It covers, like you say, a multitude of sins. So I'm just going to work around the, the handle. And as you said, the handle's leather. And it's, it's nice. And it, it's brilliant. Because I wanted to, you know, about embossing it, because I thought, can I take that handle off and emboss it? And it was like, mm, maybe not. Right, so I'm just going to grab a few more bits of rice paper. Just yeah. looking we at the time. We have about... Um, I won't get this finished, seven, but we'll seven just... Seven minutes. Seven minutes. We'll just build this up a little bit more, just around the lock. Because I just want to say, with the rice paper going around like this now with the lock, if you were trying to do that with a piece of paper, that could be a little bit fiddlier. Right, so let's just stick that bit down because that will bug me. Right, there we go. Right, I'm just going to put that there. Just grab my cloth. Ooh, where is it? You know when you go, where's my cloth? Oh, yes. 
Where's my cloth? There we go. I mean, it's everything. Where's my everything? You, know? <laughs> you, you just start out neat, yeah. don't you? And then you oh, suddenly yeah. go. But then within the kits, we get lots of different things. Like on the tags one there, we get lots of little things like the buckles. You know, like with these tiny little dots here that you can add to it. We get all these wonderful like button embellishments that you can carry on adding with your different collage elements, which is exactly what I would, you know, carry on doing. Or if you really wanted to, I mean, you could sit here. I mean, I'm not going to, but I've got this is moss left over from Christmas. Oh. You could incorporate, you know, if you wanted to get that look, yeah. you can you could then have it more tactile if you wanted to and add, you know, add in your moss, add in your other elements to your decoration um, and, and just carry on building and building and building, you know, from there. I mean, the, another thing we can do as well, which I think is lovely, where is it? We've got a beautiful set of stamps that's called um, Urban. Yeah, Mine's probably a little bit wet to do this with. Okay. But let's well, grab, I want to grab the tail. We have had an email, oh. uh, Lou, uh, from, uh, well, it says, I mean, see if you can guess who oh. it is. From, oh. Hi, Simsy and Paul, Paul, Paula, I call myself Paula. <laughs> Uh, and Paula, uh, loving the show and the products are gorgeous. And congrats to Paula on her recent, recent collection. Thank you. Uh, when you have got a minute, Sims, let me out of your head. I have got work to do and it's exhausting when you are channeling your inner... Lynette. Lynette. Oh, Lynette. sorry, Lynette. Thank you. I was channeling my inner Lynette. Oh, I was trying. I know. And then a big a laughing, a smiley face. Thank oh, you, Lynette, thank so you, much Lynette. for that email. That's so gorgeous. Oh, yeah, I'd love me saying I'm channeling my inner Lynette. I was. Yeah, I was. yeah you were. But then we've got these beautiful stamps. I mean, and we can just move that. You know, and we can add on yeah. just a little bit. I'm using the archival ink. Yeah. You know, and just bring Absolutely. in a little yeah. bit more detail. Like I said, mine is probably a bit too wet still, but yeah. and I'm, I'm just going to add more. Because if you didn't want to, I mean, I could have got a blending tool and gone around the edges with it, but sometimes I find I get heavy handed when I do that. Yeah. Oh, so. I like that. Adding those dots. That's such a cool stamp set. Is that the border one? That's the urban borders. We get, um, I think it's one, two, three, four, urban. five, six, okay. seven of them. Yeah. I mean, I, as you can see, mine are probably could do with a little bit of a birthday. Okay. But we get some beautiful ones in there. And I just want to grab one more. And we've got some different designs. And I want to go for like a coffee colour. Okay. Now, I should probably dry this in between, but. Oh, well, you know, you got to like hey. TV and everything. And I just want to use this one here to add as like a frame, like a corner. Oh, that's a really nice Be idea. Because what I would do, if I decorated up, you know, this side here, I would do exactly the oh. same there. So it would mirror that would either work. side. So it's, it's just giving, um, mm -hmm. not a, a crisp image, but I just want to give the front, the frame, and obviously I'll trim these down a little bit more. Kind of finishing the edges yeah. to draw the, the eye inside. And then I can go round all of it. There's too much glue there. That's gorgeous. I lo really love those borders because... Like I mean, they are. are I mean, you get them. lots in there. But, I, you know, you could carry on building and building and building, and but that's just the front sort of thing and obviously that's around all the other sides yeah i kind of like these ones as well because you can see how different it looks with the red one and of course that's one of the other borders that looks really cool love and, that i mean the board yeah that's the board but also it's that stamp set that says made in ah. and the dates and stuff like that because i actually thought that went really well with the uh, modern times yeah because when you think about films or you're thinking um you know like for a birthday made in yeah and, and Made in, you know, whatever. Whenever. Maybe yeah. made in, you know, whatever it is made. <laughs> <laughs> if you want the stamps, of course, you can see them on the left hand side of the screen. You choose whichever one you want. All right. And uh, now, thank you so much, Lou, for the gorgeous demonstrations. I love, love watching a Lou because it's always an inspiration, as is working with Chow Bella papers because you have amazing and beautiful designs in here. Uh, we have a pick and mix of the creative pad. It's A4. It's been incredibly busy this hour you have got different options to suit all the taste you have the delta collection which is what lou was 
using with but you also have the under the tuscan sun which is an absolutely gorgeous collection with those beautiful red poppies the gorgeous uh, kind of i would say wheat fields as well the inspiration is stunning the back is pattern papers background papers which are phenomenal then you have the other option could be cecilia uh, which is absolutely a stunning blues and yellows bright cheerful you can feel the sunshine pouring in from these all these images and if you are like me missing a little bit of the sunshine this is perfect and it doesn't have to be sicily it could be you know southern spain southern france it could be uh like i was thinking portugal as well porto has got this beautiful blue tiles and then you have the other option in modern times as well modern times is one of uh Lou's favorite collection and i can see why why because if you are a cinephile, so you like the, the movies, you like this, this could be a perfect journal to collect all those ones, but also the old pictures as well. It has that vintage, vintage theme as well. There is other options as well. There is the Christmas one. There is, of course, the gorgeous, uh, this one is the brocade, the Boracato Intenso. Um, now, you have all these options. Make sure to check out your baskets. Lou will be back at 2 o'clock oh, with Fiona, yes. so that would be a lovely show as well make sure to check out your baskets remember ciao bella gets very busy we had already two sellouts so make sure uh, that to check out your baskets we have got cues on the phones so if you have got access remember it's the craftstore.com that's our new address website of course our brand new name right remember uh, if give us a call if you can but there is cues on the phones or on the website will say and uh, now of course uh, uh, lou it's been a pleasure as and always you. we'll see you at two o'clock Thank you. And to you at home, do check out your baskets, but stay tuned because Make It Joe is next with Leona. So it's going to be a really good hour next. We are making it Joe after the break. And then we have a Festival of Japan a Spring Collection. Absolutely gorgeous. And then Crafting with Clarity One Day is Special at 12. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for if they could use them too. Over time, I want Craftoscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me for my shows with Craftscope. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. 
These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. The past six years of Chanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same at Chanda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Hello and welcome. Uh, lovely to have your company this hour. Um, it's not just myself, of course, because our lovely Joe is in the building. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Leonie. Feels like you're miles away. I know, it does. I'll, I'll shout. <laughs> Hello! Um, Joy, you've got a wonderful selection of products today. I like it because they're all, it feels like there's a lot of happiness on there this counter. There is, yeah. Very much happiness, very much variety. Obviously, a mixture of surprise in there as well. Yeah. And some amazing fabrics from our friends at Material Magic as well. So, it's, do you know what? What better day to have some variety, eh? Absolutely. A little bit of variety is the way it's all about. Um, we've got some fantastic demonstrations as well by our job. Oh, that I was very kind of you to say fantastic. Well, I really like demonstrations <laughs> because I think you always give it a different take. You know, obviously sewing. Um, we've got a lot of sewing guests who make so many incredible things. But sometimes the... No, have you... Hold on a minute. Our, our Joe's having a little rummage for his microphone. <laughs> <laughs> bear okay. bear with. Uh, are you there? I think he's caught on the scissors. Oh, he's got his wires caught on his. Well, you're having a faff. Well, he's having a faff. Uh oh. I mean, scissors and wires, I don't know if that's good. Um, so, what I'll go through are the, the wonderful fat quarters that we've got. Now, you've got five different options with these wonderful fat quarters. And as we said, they're fun. And I mean, look at this. I really like this. This is your play days. Look at that. I really, really... Are you there? Are you there, Roger? Ready Joe? now. Yay! <laughs> Yo, these are really, really cute. I love the... Um, it's that almost like cartoony, isn't it? It is, yeah. But it's got that, like you say, it's that smile, smile on your yeah. face fabric, Leonie. Yeah. And there's so much going on. I love the fact that these... Obviously, the value is phenomenal. Yeah. It really is. But the little details... So the little projects where you need a little bit more detail, the patterns are small enough that we can use on so many different makes. Yes. And it's yeah. a beautiful soft cotton, 100%. Yeah, it's cotton. really nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, no, and it's it, beautiful. It, you know, I, I like the fact that whether you're a quilter, patchworker, I would say I'm more mixed media and uh, give it a goer. <laughs> <laughs> but I love these because they are so super soft. They wash really well as well. Yeah. I like to experiment with the fabrics, yes. whether it's myself or with Material Magic as well. We like to have a little little play with them and see what they do, yeah. and they still hold that softness. Yeah, I really, really like them. So you've got, in this bundle, first of all, you've got your two beautiful patterns. You've then got your, your planes, which will match and coordinate perfectly. So obviously, everything works together. So that's your beautiful play days. 
And that's 451916. As Joe said, this is good value for money. Only £15.99, pence, your price. Um, and honestly, it's really lovely quality stuff, is this? Your next one that we've got, and again, I, I love this. I mean, it's so quirky, it's cool, it's different. This is your park days. And the little animals on here are fab. Super cute, aren't they? Yeah, You've yeah. got a biggest smile there on that teddy bear, I believe. Yes. He's I, super cute. I tell you what, though, they, I, they're all so different. You know, I don't know, they're, they're that cartoony, but not um, not really childish cartoony. No, no, you, and I think you're right, Leone. It is that, that it is a, any age type of fabric. Yeah. It's yeah. got that real smile on your face type of fabric, but we can use it for so many makes. Yeah, I really like them because they're really, I think, really different really unique you've then got uh, your three plane in this and that will marry up perfectly i'm loving that bright red because you've got the red in there so that'll really bring out the color it really makes it pop again only 15.99 the next one that we've got and have a look at these your days out look at your little characters yeah here. it's got to be my favorite of that collection oh, love it this is the most popular actually yeah i love that it's so fun I just think oh. everything on there, and I have to say, the best thing for me, because I'm a massive fan, is bananas. Bananas. It's my number one. I love bananas. <laughs> and there's little bananas just randomly on there. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that is random. <laughs> isn't it? Random but fabulous. I love the little lion. And, and there's a tiny little rain cloud, but he's still happy. And it's like the rain cloud, it's, it's actually raining on his little trolley of fruit, um, which is just, yeah, these are really, really they're fabulous. beautiful, aren't they? And yeah. I think at the value that they're given as well, and Material Magic really work on their value as well and to have six fat quarters for that price yes i mean my maths isn't very good but that's that's very very good per yeah because what does that work out per fat quarter um so six fat quarters six pieces of fabric for 15 pounds and 99 pence well that's less than a quid isn't it obviously Oh, 266 per there you go. fat quarter. 266. That is amazing. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. We all yeah, know you go and rubbish. get a quality fat quarter. You can pay anything from four, four fifty for a good fat quarter. Yeah. You know, so and the super, super soft weight of the cotton is lovely. Yeah. yeah, they're really nice. So you've got all six there as well. So you've got your choices within um, your really cute, fun. Um, fat quarters. The next one that we've got, your next uh, one, see these are choices again. So the first choice that you've got is your beautiful poppies. I mean, your poppies always, always popular. Yeah, it's... we we had this debate, my friends at Material Magic, we were chatting about this and obviously, you know, for Remembrance Day, really, yeah. really good, but you can never get fabric around that time. So we wanted yeah. to bring it early enough that you can have a play with it, get yeah. your little projects and makes, and it's such a beautiful design of the poppy as well yeah. really really classy that i love that design yeah i do and i love the again the the colors that go with it because they really really go with it and i love that kind of mustard yes that is gorgeous yeah really nice yeah and that if i just bring the poppy down to that look how good it goes with that just got that so earthy nice. tone, hasn't it? Yeah, so nice. I mean, yeah, poppies for Remembrance Day are brilliant, but honestly, my mum, the amount of different stuff she's got in her house with poppies on I love, it. Yeah, it's a nice design. It, yeah, it used to be one of those, you know, when you're buying a present and, I mean, poor mother, everything had poppies on it. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. a, a Everybody few has years. A, my mum's is yeah. chickens, bless her. Really? Like, anything with chickens on, that's it. <laughs> my mum's is poppies. <laughs> um, so, yeah, for all year round, absolutely. Um, only £15.99. The last option that we've got in your um in your options is a little of and you see look at that again it's just fun look i mean and it's got that sort of cartoony it, hasn't it has it? yeah so there's there's almost that graffiti look to yes. it as well so yes. uh, and that is one obviously when i bring the fabrics home and have a little play and obviously my design consultant lily at home <laughs> she's like straight in there going oh i like these ones dad and I'm like, okay yeah so you've got the seal of approval from lily on that little bundle amazing i love that <laughs> you what's the official title design consultant or boss <laughs> it's probably that's probably easier like it. yeah no that's definitely. more like it <laughs> yeah she'll like that title i love this one as well yeah, favourite really one there. I really like that. Yeah, she did sneak a little bit of that to have a little play with because it is great fun. All that love on there as well, but just yeah. so much fun on that. And with those complementary colours, really striking pinks. 
and yeah. the purples there as well. It's lovely. It is well cool, and it has got that. Yeah, you could cover um, cover your books with that. Actually, you know, cover your diary, whatever, with that. It's very cool indeed with any of these. And of course, you've got your planes that marry up absolutely perfectly. So you have got. Um, your six options there, sorry, your five different options of your, uh, your six pieces of fabric for only £15.99. So 100% cost and an excellent quality. Uh, 451916 is your item number. Now, we've also got for you, and this is really busy already. We knew it would be. <laughs> and this one, this is a trio, so you're getting all three of these. And the first, you've got sort of two um, linens, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, so they're a printed linen fabric. These are great because they're a little bit heavier weight so yeah. obviously like we were chatting this morning about at home having a little beverage at home yeah. if you've got your little uh, bar at home and your shed and all this yeah. these are great because they are heavier weight for cushions really yes. good for little panels if you're reupholstering a seat pad the little trio there last orders i love it absolutely yeah. love it they're fun again they're really fun and like you say if you've got your home bar absolutely fabulous you might be putting you know the the little drip cloth or whatever it's called yes you could make that out of them. You could yeah. make your little coasters out of them, which would look good. Cool. In fact, I mean, something like that, that's a decent size. So if you have got your little home bar and you're making, like, you know, just a nice little table covering. Yeah, I mean, in that one there, the cocktails, I'd... I'd frame it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's that lovely, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And you could, I mean, board. if you're very posh in your home bar and you've got a cocktail menu, Ooh. you could actually cover your menu with this. You couldn't could, you? couldn't you? That'd be lovely. I mean, who's got a cocktail menu? I'd like to hear. <laughs> Is that you? Have you, through lockdown, created your home bar? Um, they're really good. Brilliant as well. I mean, when you look at that, you could create some really cool little gift tags out of that as well. Yeah, no, you, you read my mind, Leonie. I'm a massive believer in anything small on there that we can cut out yeah. i'll try and do a little demonstration with one of those fabrics later and i've done similar to that where i've used a small element for a lovely little make yeah yeah there's lots of, of cutting out ability i mean these ones as well um yeah you could be using those for a plique cutting them out and using them for a plique um really really nice now very busy we have got queues on the phones obviously you can get on the website that is thecraftstore.com i said it right without even thinking <laughs> um and you have got the option for paypal as well which i always forget about but it is an option um saving four pounds so ten pounds and 99 pence is your price six one nine zero four zero is your item number and again really good for gifts those fantastic gift wrap as well when you think about it now the uh, wonderful surprise box obviously contents are going to vary but the thing is with something like this it's going to be absolutely rammed with stuff. yeah no definitely i i you know it couldn't have a variety show without yeah. a variety box and that surprise element uh, i think obviously with lockdowns and it's been a strange year for everybody just having something a little bit different a bit of a surprise coming through the post a great value I mean, I absolutely love putting them together with yes. massive help from family, obviously, with my mum and Lily. And we all sort of team up and have a little fun with it and hopefully bring a little bit of inspiration. You know, you'll pick a piece of fabric out and go, oh, yeah, I can do something with that. Yeah. Little bags of goodies. Oh, my gosh, there's all sorts Always try it? and put a bit of fuser web in there so you can have a play with that as well. And embellishments. There's all sorts. Yeah, all sorts, yeah. There's so much stuff in here. Um, yeah, I, re I love things like this. Yeah. Because you don't know what you're going to get. It's always really good fun. I mean, the price, £19.99. £19, and we're not talking about small pieces of fabric. You know, obviously you've got some nice little, nice little goodies, but then you've got some big yeah, pieces. Yeah, so there is a variety in there. It is very much my childhood as well, Leonie. So, you know, going to fairs and things with my mum and, and yeah. finding different tins and buttons yes. and fabrics and have a little bit of play with it. You know, oh. there were some vintage bits in there yeah. I can see straight away. So you will get that variety. And it's, it's one of those, as long as I can fill the box, yes. That's, yes. that's how much you'll get. So and you I'll do you get what, a good quantity in there. It's surprising how much you can get in that box. Yeah, I know. We do sit on them. It's like a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one over here, actually, and I struggled to close it. So I mean, it's, I'm a good it's, say, it's full. I ain't going to get this back in there. <laughs> Don't you know, worry. It is going to be one of them that it's like, oh, there's all sorts. It, and I, it's still going. There's still tons in there. Um, yeah, like this, like this. Look at that panel. Like this a lot. Twit, um, twit. Only 90, 
That's well cool. Yeah, that's lovely. I yeah. forget, obviously, I make so many of them. You forget, yeah. oh, yeah, I remember that piece now. Yeah. Put yeah. these together. I love it. Oh, and that's lovely felt. Oh, there's all sorts. Look. Oh, there's loads. 19.99. Um, yeah, it is the, the box that just keeps on giving. Um, if you do want to get hold of that, you're saving a fiver on that as well. Really, really like them because every single time it will be good fun as well. Um, 847-385 is your item number. Next, uh, we have got for you. Now, this is nice, your variety bundle. So with the variety bundle, your A4s, that's going to be the same, but your little bundle of goodies, that uh, contents will vary there. Yeah, so the Candy Stripe purple bag. So the purple bag, it's a um, massive thanks to Mum because Mum oh. helps us with these. And, oh. and we just enjoy them. You know, our sort of passion for crafting and mixed media and not being scared of sort of soft crafts and having a bit of fun. Yeah. The mini bag, it might be mini, but it is mighty. So you don't know what you're going to get in your little bag. So oh. again, it's that variety that you will get your A4 fabrics with your Fuser Web and Calico. And love to see the inspiration from those yes. designs in those. But this yes. little bag we can just cherish and have a little fun with and open. And when you get it, it is like that, so you yeah. don't know until you open it and start pulling all the bits out what you can get as Amazing. well. Amazing. Yeah. And they are absolutely jam-packed. They are, yeah. So they are mini but mighty. Yeah, I like that. And <laughs> the um, the A4, if I show you, because I really like that. That fabric, that has got such a vintage hue to it. It's the colour tone's lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, those? yeah. I think it's because it's the I put that orange. little match in plain as well in there, so it really sort of brings out that colour. I really like that. That is proper cool. Um, so you've got all your beautiful air foils. You've also got your calico and your um, thingy, your fuser web. Your and thingy. then your thingy. <laughs> And then you have got um, your wonderful Make It Joe bag of all sorts of goodness. Um, brilliant. Again, brilliant kit. Only £10.99. Such a good price. And you're getting a lot in that bundle. 152981 is your item number. Now, next. Da, 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 the scissors. <laughs> Were your name on them? Yeah. Posh, so, in it. Do you know Posture. what? These scissors, obviously, people know me for my scissors. I wouldn't use them if they didn't work. And cutting yes. fabric every day. Yes. You know, every day of my life, I'm always cutting fabric. You know, even even last night, I was actually cutting football really? bibs. Really? You know, just to stitch up football bibs. <laughs> so there's always a point that I'm using a fabric pair of scissors. And these, once you, well, you know, yes. you've got a pair. I've got a pair. So if and I chuck cracking. a little bit over. Yeah. yeah, I'll chuck a little bit of cocktail, have a little yes. play. They are, you know, I love... The, the key is to these scissors, and um, Material Magic now, bless them, they're, they're on these. Obviously, they've been in fabric for 60 years, and as soon as they started using these, it was like, wow, yeah. these are yeah. the, the scissors that we need. Oh. But they cut right to the edge, so yeah. right to the tip of yeah. the scissor. We See, even had right Weatherman Joe tip. last week having a go with them. And really? he's not a crafter. And did he have a nice time? He did. He came to see Janice. <laughs> so it's got a soft spot, I think, for Janice. Oh, really? Yeah, so. <laughs> that's, that's... I think it goes both ways, though. Oh, so, really? yeah, I think there's a little bit of Ooh, chemistry there. Oh, cheeky. So, yeah. they are <laughs> but he, he's, not a, he's not a scissor user. And yeah. straight away he got those, cutting out little shapes. I want to um, cut all sorts But the, to be able to get a pair of 10-inch scissors like that, yeah. that, you will never need another pair of scissors for your fabric to cut right to the tip. Oh, and it just feels... And I'm, I'm actually being really naughty and cutting through uh, four layers, and it's not a problem. It feels... There's something really satisfying it's about lovely, cutting isn't it? fabric. Yeah. What is that? It's the noise, it's the texture, it's the fact that it just goes through like butter, um, and it's the weight of the scissors. It is, really yeah. They're nice not too weight. heavy. So the 10-inch are great because mm. they're heavy enough that for your fabric, if you're dressmaking, yeah. if you're doing quilts and things, but they're small enough that you can handle them. Yes. They're not too yeah. weighty, but they're got a little bit of meat there, I would say. Yes, indeed. And it's a nice, comfy handle as well. Um, the scissors, definitely, if you haven't got these already, you need these. Is it really Even. sad that I love the box as well? Yeah. They come in the little Look. box. <laughs> Will you stick around? <laughs> um, you're saving a tenner on these as well. £19.99. £19. Such a good price. Really, really quality scissor there. Um, 
792-753 is your item number. Sorry, I had to think about the number. Um, yeah, do not miss out on them. Absolutely fantastic quality. And then last but by no means least, um, the Fuser Web and the Calico Bundle. An absolute, again, essential because this is something that we see our Joe use all the time. Um, and this is a cracking bundle. And I love Calico. Calico is one of those that, as a mixed media, you know, someone who's into mixed media, maybe yeah. you're into making your own journals. Um, there's so much you can use Calico no, for. No, definitely, yeah. And I think there isn't a day where I don't use Calico and FuserWeb. Yeah. Obviously, we know Mr. FuserWeb yeah. is always around. Uh -huh. It is one of those, such a lovely weight, such a natural feel to it yes. as well. Yeah. It's, you know, whether we're painting and stitching or just mocking up things as well it's handy for that yeah. you know just to have that role there yeah obviously i use it for printing yes. you know so we do the a4 printing sheets of course. so you can print through a printer you know i love it uh, you yeah know, it's... i think it's an absolute essential how much is on each bundle do so we know a meter and a half amazing on yeah, each so one on each one wow yeah so you do get a lot on there so yeah. and on the little cardboard tube as well so you can just roll it off yeah there's, around my house, there must be loads of these where I sort of put it down. I'm really forgetful. Leave one there, leave one there. But they're always there, so I can just snip a bit off and ready to go. And then you'll recycle the cardboard too. <laughs> um, £11.99 is your price. Absolute essential. 812-514 is your item number. Now, have a look on the website. On the website, you will find an essential pick and mix. Now, the pick and mix, you're picking any two uh, for that one. Um, a really good quality essential mix. And it's stuff that you'll see Joe use all the time as well. You've got the wonderful Hessian. I love the Hessian. Uh, you've got your wadding. You've got your interline in there, the ivory lining, uh, your clear PVC as well. Um, your, yeah, and then your cotton calico. I love it. Um, you are getting half a meter of each of those so it is of course your pick and mix so it's completely up to you what you're going for um if we go for two of the same would it be as one long on the length? essentials yeah so we, we'll make sure that they're cut on a full length because it's frustrating Perfect. if you get two pieces yeah yeah definitely um wonderful and again really good price um so yeah if you want anything you know what to do zero one seven double three six zero two thousand or um, head over to thecraftstore.com. Um, that's the way to shop. And that's our wonderful pick and mix. That was for the essentials, only a tenner, nine pence, 99 pence, one nine seven five four four. Right, our lovely Joe. Uh, what are you starting with well, today? Well, I've actually just changed what I was going to start because I was playing around with this yesterday and the, the last orders trio I absolutely love. For me, a lot of fabrics bring memories. And on this one, you've got this lovely uh, pint yeah. of beer. Yeah. And I remember as a kid going to the pub with my granddad and sitting in the corner very, very quietly. Yeah. Uh, or very quiet as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but he had a, a pint glass just like that. So it really yeah. remembers that. And it was always kept behind the bar. So oh, I, what I've done, you'll see here, I started playing around with, we're going to create this, this little embossed little pint oh. here of beer. Probably yeah. a little bit early for beer, but, you know, <laughs> we'll give it a go. So I'll get my lovely scissors out. And being a lovely linen, this is great because it's a real nice weight to it. Yeah. Okay, so whether we did want to use it on upholstery or cushions, it's fine. But also for your smaller projects and your quilting as well, it's fine as well. So I'll pop that under there. So all I'm going to do is going to leave about half an inch all the way around my lovely pint of beer. Yeah, he did like his glass. Wonderful. I think you're special. If you've got your own glass in a pub, then you must yeah. be quite special. You know you've made it. Or you just go quite regularly. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they, exactly. You've yeah. got a tab behind yeah. there and they know you. I think that's been a, it, that is a thing, though, isn't it? Especially, it seems to be a bit of a blokey thing, does that? You know, like men sort of. Yeah, having the, the Yeah, they the have their own glass, glass don't they? Yeah. yeah. I mean, when I was younger, when we were all 18, all my friends, we always bought each other a tankard. Yes. So we'd have a tankard. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so I've got my lovely pint of beer there, and from the lovely Material Magic Essentials range, I've got the wadding. I think this is becoming one of my favourites because the wadding that, that we do is so good. It's that so is soft. Super thick. Yeah, it's super thick, super soft, and we can use it for all sorts of things. Yeah. All I'm going to do is very roughly look at my pint of beer. I'm going to cut the actual inside of the pint of beer in wadding. Amazing. Okay, like yeah. so. I'll pop that to one side and we'll just trim it off in the corners. A little bit of snow coming there. Uh, Weatherman the right Joe did not tell year. me about the snow. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't believe he didn't mention it, did he not? No, know? coaching football in the snow, it was oh. very, very cold. So you can see straight away, if I pop that over my pint of beer, it's roughly about the same size. Yeah, I'll get rid of this. Guestimation, that's Guestimation. Good. I'm going to use a little bit of hessian, again in that essentials range, so we can yeah. use that hessian there. So just a small snippet there. I love the hessian. There's hessian. so much you can do with hessian. Yeah, no, and it is that natural feel as well, mm. isn't it, that we, we can do so much with. So I'm going to pop that. And fraying and everything, it just looks so good. There we go. Obviously, I've got my fuse web roll with me. Okay. Of course so you initially, have. what I'm going to look at the size, just to make sure. Actually, I might make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Artistic license. <laughs> there we go. You'll always there use the other. Go. So this is great because this brings in that mixed media element. Like I say, if you're scared of your fabrics, you want to use it, and that lovely Last Orders trio has to be one of the best at the moment. I love yeah. it. So and I'm going to get a little bit of fuse web. Good for gifts. Really yeah, no, definitely. Forget. Like you we were saying, tags as well. Yeah. You know, we can use the fuse web. We can, we can bond it straight to cardboard. Yeah. So we can really give it a little bit of design and pizzazz, I would yeah. say. So I'm cutting my fuse web about half an inch smaller than my hessian, because you said it is self the only. We want to use a little bit of frayed edge just to give it a little yeah. bit of a feature to it as well. Yeah, so very roughly, I'm just going to pop that in there. There we go. Like so. Pop my scissors away a minute. Got my the trusty scissors. iron, or a little bit more. I have been using my scissors on the fuse web because a lot of people write in and say, oh, but it's paper. But because of the glue on it and because the scissors are so good, I've never had an issue. Yeah. You know, I yeah. do get told off quite regularly from Lily, especially. <laughs> really? You're using this, not... I said, yeah, but it's fabric related. <laughs> <laughs> so I've literally got my fuse web on top of my hessian really quickly. Super. You'll start to see the Gore-Tex of the glue come through. Yeah. Just have a little peel while you're doing it, and you'll see it. if it hasn't oh, yeah. quite stuck, then pop it down and do it again. Amazing. So I'm just making sure. What we're going to do now, because we've left a little gap around the outside, we're just going to pull some of the ends of the hessian off just to make a nice little decorative look around the outside. With so. the uh, fuser web, are you better waiting for it to cool before you peel it do off? Do you know what? Again, that's a question that people ask a lot, Leonie, and yeah. there isn't any right or wrong way with it. I find you can do both. So right. I can use it instantly yeah. or I can let it sit for a while. Yeah. So it all depends, obviously, on the heat of your iron and what you're doing with your iron as well. Super. So I've got a little bit of card here and we're going to fold that over and we're just going to pop this on here just to show you what we can do with it. And then we're going to take off our fuser web and it shows those layers that we're going to do with our lovely pint of beer. Right. Okay, and that's <laughs> going to go in the centre. Oh, I might put it to the top because we could always put something at the bottom. Okay, and we're going to bond that on there. And that's the thing, and it fuse web will stick on card. It'll stick on paper. You know, it is yeah. such a handy product. On your product. MDF, on your wood, yeah. it really is. I've even put it on the tops of jam jars as well. Really? Yeah, just do, you know, when you do your little jam jar topper. Yeah. So again, it's so incredibly versatile and easy. And easy. Okay, so we've got another little bit of fuse web. What we need is a little bit of fuse web, approximately the same size as our wadding. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to pop that down like that. Marvellous. And then we're also going to need fuse web on our pint of beer. So it, that might just be. No, we'll get a little bigger bit. As you can see, another roll of fabric uh, fuse web comes out. <laughs> so I'm All snip the that rolls off. of fuse web. <laughs> And I'm going to pop that on there. I'm just going to draw around it so I don't get my iron on the extra. Just so very roughly, just sketch yeah. round. There we go. Just to snip that out. See, and you'll see it all come together. A cracking project to do with kids again as well, isn't it, this? Yeah, no, I, I think the key is, and I do say it a lot, and I know I'm not the biggest and best sewer in the world, but I love fabric, yeah. and I love mm. sewing, but just to have that element that gives you a bit of confidence with it, yes. it really makes the difference. Yeah, and so, I think uh, being able to, to create something, I absolutely agree, being able to create something from fabric and not be scared of getting the fabric and doing something. No, definitely. I think that's a big deal. Because I was talking about um, covering uh, your books and things, because I think this would be lovely for book covers, you know, for, for journals and things yeah, like that. Yeah, no, you, yeah. You could and use your fuser web to actually do that. 
You can indeed. Yeah, you don't so need you don't, that sewing element. Yeah, so I, I mean, it's, obviously, fabulous. it's lovely to get involved and put your buttons on and do your seams. Mm. But if we're struggling with it, and you know, obviously, I struggle with the dexterity sometimes with my hands because I've had operations on my wrists. So sometimes a fuse web does help yeah. with that as well. Yeah. So we've got our pint of beer with the fuse web. So we're going to pull that off the back. Marvelous. There we go. You'll know it's stuck because you should have a crispy piece of paper. Okay. We've got a little bit of wadding. We've got another little bit of fuser web, which we're going to put dead centre and Perfect. just bomb that over. Again, you can see us starting to build those layers yeah. up. So, like you said, you're journaling. This is a nice little, uh, I think, a birthday card. This yeah. would be lovely. So we'll take that off. Day card. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to pop Father's that in the middle. In June, folks. Okay. So Yes, I was going to say with your wadding, you wouldn't, so you don't put your, your iron on that to fuse No, what down. you will find, obviously the wadding will condense down with the heat. Right, So it will okay. condense down. So I'm just putting that there just to hold it in place. Yeah. Okay, and when we bond this all down, you'll see how we create it. It will then start to shrink a little bit. So oh, I'm going to hold yeah. it central. I'm going to get my iron right on the tip and that fuser web then and just keep working round, obviously watching your fingers. Yeah. Okay. It'll take a little bit more time because there's a bit of weight in that wadding. It wants to spring back up. Okay. How quick though. When you there look at go. it, that is super quick. Super quick, super easy. Yeah. You've got that element of beautiful fabric. And like I say, the trio has got to be my favourite now. Yeah. After seeing the pint of beer last night, I was like, this is great. <laughs> so I'm literally just putting the edge of my iron. Just take your time. Yeah. Obviously at home, I'll do a little bit longer. Okay. Along on the top. Yeah, that is there so we go. easy. There we go. Just making sure there's plenty of heat on there so it does bond because the wadding will want to spring up. Yeah. If we want to just press down a little bit in the middle, but not too much because we, we want that embossed element to yes. it. Yeah, because that gives it the, the It's really different, isn't it? The uniqueness yeah. that we're trying yeah. to do as well. Definitely. There we go. Yeah, that's it. And last so little bit of heat at the top. Ridiculously achievable. I'm just going to hold that there for a minute, just on the corner. My wadding wants to spring up. There we go. And a little bit of heat. Six. And it shows you within minutes, you've got something very unique yeah. with a beautiful little fabric and our lovely pint of beer yeah. on our lovely little birthday or Father's Day I card. I like that. It's really cool. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is really <laughs> cute, is that? Um, thank you, our lovely Joe. We've had a really good photograph, actually. Look at this from Bonnie. Oh, wow, that's, that's, that's brilliant. That's well cool, isn't it? Yeah. A rubby, I saw as a rosy, her rubby built that. That's Boom. amazing. Great. You too. Um, so, um, Bonnie, uh, she was called Bonnie, wasn't she? Vonnie. Vonnie and her husband have built this. That is well That's called. That's amazing. Vonnie needs some bunting. It's Vonnie. Vonnie needs bunting. Yes. Vonnie <gasps> needs bunting. You could make bunting with this. You could make mats <laughs> with this. And actually, because it's, it would really tie in. You know, you could make a few little mats on the actual bar and it would tie in beautifully. And then, obviously, have your cocktail menu as well. Vonnie, I really like that. More pictures. <laughs> I want more pictures, please. Have you got your home bar? Uh, one of my mates, she's got, um, she's got this little table and she's got this neon sign and that's her cocktail cabinet. I mean, it's a little table with one neon sign, but it's like, no, that's my cocktail cabinet. It's her own um, space. So <laughs> <laughs> email in, show us yours. Um, studio at thecraftstore.com. <laughs> um, if you do want this, please check your baskets out. Super, super busy. Lovely quality material. You've got the two um, uh, lovely linen and then the cotton in the centre, which is, I mean, these two are really nice and traditional. You know, it just, it really does take you back. Whereas that one is bright and fresh and just party. Um, over 30% of the stock has gone. You're saving £4, £10.99 £10 is your price. 619-040 is your item number. Pictures of home bars, please. That would be marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, back to you. I do believe. What yes, so what we're going to do, we're going to finish off our little card. So obviously everybody knows before the printing. So yes. if you haven't seen it before, we'll get our A4 piece of fuser web okay. that I've cut out for my roll. And I should have an A4 piece of calico. I think it's hiding right next to me. Amazing. There we go. So that's the really, same really simple. Just to finish off our card, we're going to bond those together using our iron again. So we're just creating a printing sheet. We go, just making sure they're all lined up. 
There's a lot of these in my house. <laughs> what, the painting sheets? <laughs> yeah. And the thing is with this, I mean, obviously you couldn't stick calico just direct through, directly through your, your average uh, home printer. It isn't going to work. So the fuse web, that's what gives it... It gives it a little bit of stiffness. Yeah. Uh, but also, obviously, for when we're doing the little details, it's then you've got your glue ready to go. Yeah. We find a lot, uh, even at my house, we experiment all the time with fabric glues. You know, it's really tricky. It gets wet. You get that glob sticking everywhere. Yeah. This is great. So we can peel it off and we can stick straight away. I always find that it's best to iron both sides. Yeah. Okay, just to get right through. Yeah, I suppose when you're printing especially. Yeah, no, definitely. What you'll find as well, because obviously that calico has been screwed up in my bag. Yeah, yeah. And it gets rid of all those creases straight away. See, it's lovely. I know you're printing on it, but if you're into stamping or, you know, anything yeah, like that, Yeah, you don't need paints. to put it for the printer. Just to make that sheet, mm. then stamp, and then we can peel the back off, and yeah. we can then iron it on anything that we're doing. Yeah. It's perfect. Absolutely. So I've got a few little stick. fonts on here, just on a sheet of paper, that I'm going to pop through my printer. Let's get rid of this paper here. Oh, Big wedge of paper there, we don't need that. Just remember, <laughs> always think, which way does our printer print? So is it yes. top or bottom? Yeah. So we're going to print on the calico. Pop that through there. This is when it's going to ask me for more ink. <laughs> <laughs> and Live then we TV. start. There we go. So fingers crossed. Amazing. It says, yeah, it's just remembering which way your printer goes. I'd always do a little check. Because I, I notoriously would absolutely get it the wrong way around every single time. <laughs> uh, remember, the calico and the bondo web is in that wonderful bundle. You can either get it on the big rolls or you can get the A4 sheets in that lovely little um, bundle with all the fabrics, the A4 fabrics <laughs> as well. See, doesn't that look perfect? It's great, isn't it? So we've got those fonts. So we're going to go for... Uh, let's go for happy birthday in there. So we're yeah, cut that's that out. Ace keep all these little elements that we can use on our cards and our little makes. You know, the journaling and mixing it up is really yeah. good as well. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to also do, I think we need a little bit more hessian at the bottom. Yeah, no, so we'll do that as well. So exactly the same process. So that's going to go there. Okay, peel the back off. Lovely. So we're peeling the back off. Okay, it is ink. So yeah. just be careful of that. Just get another little bit of uh, fabric on there before we iron it. Ah, so I'm going to pop that yeah, over there because I don't want yeah. black all over it. I'd I'm always getting muck that. all over my iron. So it's in crucial that we just make sure we've got that on there before we stick it. Perfect. Okay. Again, I'm just going to pull the little edges off there just to give it a little bit of detail. Okay. And then we'll have a lovely little bit of fuse web there. All right. So little strip and it shows you again that element of hessian fabrics all those different weights you know the fuser web is such versatility i think is the word i like that's a big word i know for this earlier for me but the versatility of it with card wood fabric i mean hessian is you know it's a rougher fabric mm. so in it still sticks it again we'll pop that in the middle there i'm going to pop my fabric on top I even like the bits, you know, when you, oh, you do it sort of pull the little, the little frayer bits off. Yes. Because the frayer bits that are left over are kind of cool as well. Yeah, I like those. I like there we go. This, Put yeah. a bit of heat to it, and then that is our card ready to go. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's really cute. Love no. it. There we go. Perfect. My happy birthday card. I think my dad might like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he's got to wait. His birthday's not till November, so <laughs> he'll forget forgotten I've made it by then. So I'll keep it to one side. <laughs> he'll get about ten of the same yeah, ones no, where you demonstrated it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. Um, all right, I'm going to remind you of a few things that our Joe's been using. Um, the calico. Now, um, obviously, Joe used the A4 piece, but if you did want to use the bigger pieces, you have got a meter and a half on each one of these. I mean, that is a lot of fabric, and of course, you fuse away. And when you've seen how often Joe uses this and for how many things you can use this, it's such a handy thing to have in your stash. Um, and that not just for, this is a really good bundle for all us crafters, you know, not just uh, for fabric, but yeah, for all us mixed media crafters. 812514 is your item number there. Uh, we've also got those scissors, um, such good quality. You're getting them in the box, of course, so good gift idea. Um, but you 
you've got your wonderful scissors there, really nice scissors these, they cut right to the end there, um, they've got a really nice weight to them, seriously, this is a, a really, it's one of those that it's a must have, just um, don't miss out on those, £19.99, saving £10 on your scissors today, uh, 792753, we've then of course got the trio, which is super busy, if you do want to get hold of this, 50% uh, of the stock has gone, whether it is your, your home bar, whether you are going to be making cards, whether you're going to be cutting these out and actually creating in little um little um, embe embellishments with them. I mean, there's so many different beers. I like this one as well because this one reminds me of all the proper beer. Do you know what I mean? All the those fabulous brews. Yeah, yeah your craft no, beers. Yeah, definitely. Which is a marvellous. And I like it because obviously there's no, um, there's no specific brands on there. No, but there's just, things you immediately recognise. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think, like you say, because of that, that sort of almost a vintage look to it, hasn't yes. it? And it is those bottled beers that, you know, would look lovely all stacked up on our home bar. Yeah, 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 the home bar, I, I just under cupboard. Um, absolutely <laughs> fabulous. Um, if you do want that trio, lovely quality, fantastic price, £10.99 is your price. I'd love to know what you're going to be using yours for because that is super busy. 619-040 is your item number. Um, now, we also want to remind you of that wonderful box of goodness. Um, this is going to come absolutely jam-packed. I mean, when you look, that's what I took out of it straight away. There's still all this left in here. I mean, the it just sort of never ends, Joe. Yeah, it, it, I think it's, like I say, as long as I can just about shut it, then we'll keep <laughs> putting bits and pieces in there and we have fun with them. Like I say, it's, it's a family team effort, that one oh. with Mum and Lily and... It's great fun to create as well. And just those that surprise element that we get through the door, yeah. just to see something different. And that inspiration of sometimes oh. we struggle, I think, with what shall we make? Yes. You know, what are we going to do? Yes. And I think a fabric will give you that inspiration of a make. Yeah, I really like these. I must admit, I can relate to all family getting involved, putting them together. This is absolutely my kind of, yeah. you know, making boxes up like this. Definitely. Proper up my street. I love that. That is gorgeous. You've got some really nice fabrics in here. And you can see the one in front. That wasn't from the same box, surely. That had to have been yeah. from a different box. That's from the same box? No way. That's been Get squashed out. in. Because <laughs> there's... Tons! That's ridiculous. What's this? What's this? Squashed in a little bit of quilted fabric there. Oh, that's a bit nice, isn't it? Oh, there's all sorts in this. Um, oh, that feels nice. Um, right, if you do want to get hold of this, um, obviously you can get as many as you want. Contents will definitely vary. Um, the box is just holding together because it's been that <laughs> beaten with all these being squidged in it. 40% uh, of the stock has gone very busy there. £19.99. and Let's um, see, and I don't know why I'm bothering trying to fit it all in. I'm tidying up. Um, 847385 is your item number. Joe, have you got another demonstration for us I while have I indeed, put yeah. everything so we'll back have a little in. play. Obviously, the lovely fabric bundles there, you know, the great value for, for six fat quarters is phenomenal for Material Magic, and oh, I love them. And that. it has to be the one, didn't it? It had to be days out yeah, with the bananas. So cute. Bananas. 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 You know, and <laughs> absolutely love it. So what I've done, I've cut some of the days out into A4, I've then got my fuser web and I've stuck an A4 fuser web on the back of it. So this is a little make. I actually did, did it yesterday. I was playing around with it and I was like, do you know, I love this. I always, we can see I'm messy. So I'm always bits and pieces all over the place. So what I've done is created my little fabric storage. So you can see here. Oh, get that. The little poppies. So I'm going to tip it a little bit without tipping all the things there. You can see the bottom of the poppies there and that lovely black running round. That this is all so created good. without any sewing at all. Wow. Okay, so it's a really nice little handy on the desk. Good to go. And the, do you know, the poppies and the black, love it. That looks so well, good. I've got to give the days out fabric a little bit of a go. Can I just tell people, because that poppy fabric is super popular. Um, you are getting... Popular. Um, popular. 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 Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> popular, uh, popular puppies. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning. I mean, you can see that. Uh, that teamed up with the black looks amazing. Um, or, of course, you've got the green there. It looks so good with the green. If you do want this option, only £15.99. pence. You have got your six pieces of fat quarter. Um, you've got your six fat quarters. That's better. Um, and, yeah, everything blends beautifully together. And it's lovely quality fabric, is that? It feels beautiful. 451916 is your item number. Back to you, Joe. Okay. Okie dokie. So I've got my A4. I'm going to do a board around it. I'm going to just mark it off. Five centimetre border. So I'm going to roughly do that all the way around my actual A4. So okay. very roughly there. Do the same here. We're going to mark five centimetres there. We're going to mark five cent centimetres left and right as well. Okay. We can do it any size, but just to give you a concept of what I've created. Very, very simple little make as well. And it's all about just using the fuse web, using the beautiful fabrics, okay, and using our iron. So like I've always got those though. bits and pieces that are lying around on my desk when I'm working. Obviously working at home and yeah. stuff everywhere. And obviously we had schooling at home and everything. Yeah. So we're trying to keep everything as tidy as we can. Things like this make really good gifts as well. Though. Yeah, they do, yeah. Mm. And it, it's just one of those, I really enjoyed making it, actually. So I'm going to use my steel rule just to fold these over, just to give them a bit of a crease. Okay. Okay, because obviously the fuser web has got the paper back in, so it yes. will help give that structure to what we're making. Yeah. We'll do this all the way around. Okay, like so. Pop that on the line, just fold it over. Okay, like so. We'll do exactly the same on the longer lengths as well. It just gives us our structure that when we're making it, it will hold it all together and give us this weight that we've got on the poppy one as well. Last one. Okay. That will hold that because of the paper and it will hold that strength there. There we go. Nice little crease in that one. We don't need that now. Now we're going to peel off our paper. Okay, so the lines okay. is just there to give you that guideline and that fold. Right. So when we go to create the actual box itself, the little storage element, those creases will be there, so it will naturally find its shape then. Ah, uh, that's good, yeah, yeah, because obviously you're not going to see the line now, are you? No, going? that's right, yeah. yeah. Just make sure that my fuser web is stuck. A little bit more heat on there. Okay. Wonderful. Like I say, there's no right or wrong way. I love because the weight of this cotton is so beautiful. Yeah. It really is. It is a really nice quality, isn't it? A little bit more. Well, you're doing that. Can I just give a bit of a shout out? Yeah. Because the the um, the box of fun is ridiculously busy. Look, Abby, you has managed to get everything in neat and tidy, tidy and neat. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have been honestly. Mine have been a right mess. Um, but yeah, you have so much in here, so much fabric, so many goodies in there. There's even a cheeky little bonder web in ours. Um, please check your baskets out with this. This is super, super busy. Um, contents are going to vary, but oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> it's a box of goodness, is that? But we are approaching 70% of the stock now gone. Um, you know the kind of quality our Joe sends out. He's always, always um, been good at sending out his lovely boxes of, of goodness. So please make sure you check your baskets out with this one, 847385. Back to you, Joe. So I've literally got now one of the complementary fabrics in the bundle, the red. And oh, I'm lovely. about half an inch all the way around as a little border. And I'm taking off my fuse web back in and I'm sticking them all together. Super. And then on the actual red itself, yeah. okay, we're going to put some strips of fuse web. I love so it. It's just down. like fuse web is the thing, <laughs> isn't it? So we're making sure that these are on now. If we don't do these now, it is quite tricky at the end to achieve it. Right. So we make sure that our little strips are on first. Another one there that I cut out. And what I love about this, you haven't even needed to, to do any hemming. No, you know, nothing. You're not Yeah, just not going fast. for it. Just have a bit of fun. Obviously, at home, I would take a little bit more time. Yeah. But I like the fact that, you know, it's a five-minute project. You know, we can, we can put it down and come back to it. Yeah. So we've got some lovely little strips here. And we're just going to grab those, move that to one side. So smaller strips for this side that we're going to cut out. And you can see on this, I've already marked out some triangles. So they're five-metre... Oh, yes. A uh, five meter. That's a big <laughs> box, isn't it? So five centimeter it. boxes that we're going to cut out, 
and the little triangles that we'll need. Okay. Perfect. So you'll need eight of the little triangles. Okay, okay. And there we go. I'll cut a few there, but we're just going to do these side ones here. And what we'll do, we'll do that like so. Pop them there. And we'll pop these again. We're just framing it with our fuser web. So we've got a little frame all the way around. Oh, look at that. Okay. Perfect fit. You and you will in. see, you can see there on the overhead that the Gore-Tex of the glue yeah. coming out on that fabric. So you can see that it has taken with the heat. It's so quick, isn't it, yeah. as well? You know, that that is super speedy. There we go. Same there. Okay. And before we start to create it, what we've got to do is the corner. So the corner to our actual lovely uh, Days Out fabric, we're just yeah. going to cut the square out. So about a okay. half inch square out of the corner. Right, Do yes. that all the way around. Yeah. Okay. This is one of those makes, again, that uh, I love it because Lily will watch me making things as well. Oh. And it's, if I get the nod, it's like a secret nod. Of, <laughs> oh, that's not bad, actually, Dad. <laughs> or it's a puzzled look of, mm, mm, dear, don't what, bother yeah, with that one. What is that, Dad? Yeah, what are you doing? I'd love to see some of the fails. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Just There's a lot that. of fails, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, can I just give a shout out because this is now um, approaching limited stock. You need to be quick. Uh, the wonderful box crammed with all the goodness. Um, Joe did have another box that I were going to go through, but I don't think we're going to have time or. Uh, the stock because it is going to sell out is this please check your baskets out at uh, 19 pounds 99 pence oh shiny um <laughs> 847385 your item number you're taking that one home aren't you <laughs> shiny thing yeah shiny little box <laughs> <laughs> so i'm just cutting a few more triangles out like i say a five centimeter box Wonderful. okay and you can roughly see where we scored our fabric okay so we're going to uh, fold yes. that over and that top tab, so the long side of our little container, we're going to pull that off. Right. I'm going to fold that over and just iron that. I've left the edge. We could always crimp the edge if we wanted to, but yeah. I've left it quite sort of... And I suppose even with your, um, with your bonder web, you could actually roll the 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 edge, so you it could was do rolled it double under. Lay, yeah, yeah. So I, I do that a lot with. I do it with cushions. If I'm doing an envelope cushion, that middle part, I use the fuser web and I double roll it over, so yeah. we don't need any stitching then across yeah. the middle, and it really helps out. So again, we've already got our crease there, so we're going to fold that over. We're going to take our strip off, like so, and we're going to fold that little bit of fabric over like that. So we're doing exactly the same, That's it. bonding that down, finish that edge, and just give that complementary, you know, with that, I'm just going to make sure that we've got the five centimetres. Right, okay. Yep, so it yeah. is there, yep, just making sure that both sides are, it's on that groove, just make sure that's ironed. Um, so. While you're ironing our lovely jaw, I just need to give a little bit of info because technical sellout. Um, so technically sold out. If this is in your basket, please, please, please now check it out. If not, if any bounce back, I will let you know. But um, you do need to be checking your basket out if it's in there. Um, 847385 is your item number. Oh, I can put it there. <laughs> Sure. So we're back to me with back my little trusty iron. What we'll do, minutes, love. so we'll try and get most of it done. If we don't get it finished, I'll post a little picture of it. Have you got another hour today, George? No, it's just, just me you? today. Oh. Yeah. See, I think I talk too much. They only want me back for an hour. Oh, that's so rude, <laughs> isn't it? Rude. So we've got a little fold there. So all we're doing now, you see in the corners, as we bring our corner up, we yeah. pinch this together. So we put our fuser web in the middle of here. So I'll do one corner so we get to see it. Yeah, because I want to see how this works. Okay, like so. I'll do one side as such. Exactly the same in that corner. It fuses so quickly. Yeah, when you've got the heat on, you start to see it. You get used to it. Obviously, I've used a little bit of fuse web in my time. Yeah, Annie. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, th I think if we sort of put it together, it would probably go around the world. <laughs> <laughs> so we're literally going to now push our corners together. Like so, and we're going to, that corner, we're going to literally iron. 
and just to obviously hold it. Obviously, before you would have, the other top bit would be round, really. Yeah, no, definitely. We always peel that paper off. Yeah. The same on that side. Yeah. Just fold it over. And we're going to bond that down, like so. And we'll do this corner so we can see it. And then we bring, bring this in, like so. Okay, and we're just going to snip the top off. Because oh, well cool. when you're when you're bringing it in, if you can see on the overhead there, you've got your fuser web there. So what I generally find, if we just snip in the corner, yeah. I don't do it till the end because of the fold. Uh. Okay, and then we can bring that over, snip that bit off, like so, and that side. There we go. We fold our corners in. Oh, I see. And um, we would put our other triangles in right. here. So if I yes. hold that up there. Yes. But we, we'll, what we'll do is we'll just fold that in. We'll take our strip off. Well, you take your strip off, I'm just really quickly. I know, right? Well, Joe's <laughs> stripping. I'm stripping off. <laughs> well, Joe's doing that. We better talk about the box. <laughs> uh, because this, um, we've got extended delivery. But it's really, 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 really busy, is the extended delivery. You're only waiting an extra seven days, was it? An extra seven days, but already, already, how much has already gone? Thirty percent. You got it to it before I even got a chance to tell you it was there. Um, Thirty percent of the stock has already gone of this. It is super busy. Nineteen ninety nine. Right. Let's see, Joe, after his stripping. Okay. There we go. Straight away, you oh, can that's see well cool. with the fuse web there that we've created it, and yeah. you'll see on the finished one here that we've got a lovely little poppies in the same with our triangles in, our yes. flap over the top. Uh, really, really simple, really quick and easy little make to do. Obviously at home I'd spend a little bit more time yeah. and I wouldn't rush. And I'd, I'd be able to strip in peace at home then as well. <laughs> <laughs> but not in the studio. And it is rather cold in the studio. Sure, <laughs> I really like that. That is really clever. Just a really nice, there's all bits and pieces, all the stuff that I've always got lying around yeah, yeah. just to pop on our desk. I think between the days out and the poppies, I can't decide, but I really like the poppy ones. That so. poppy looks really effective. And it's the kind of thing as well you can just fold up and put it away. Yeah, just fold it back up, you know, put it away. It folds down, goes yeah. in the drawer. But we just throw it out there, put our threads, our needles in there. Really, Proper really simple to make. I really like that. And I haven't that. touched a needle and thread. Boom. And I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you need this. Yeah, yeah. You need your fuser web. I mean, essential. Um, so make sure you get hold of that bundle because honestly, you need. Um, you've got all those wonderful fabrics, so much choice as ever from our jaw. Really good. Um, demo that, I really like that. Um, 812 514 if you do want that. Our jaw, when you're back, love. Uh, next week. Hurrah. Yeah, some uh, lovely uh, new linens. Ooh, yeah, exciting. Nice. Yeah. I we had a little play with Material Magic this week and it was, yeah, exciting. Super. So, yeah, really looking forward to bringing it Oh, on. God, we do like a little bit of linen. <laughs> it's posh. Um, right, we've only got ten seconds. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, our lovely Jo. Thank you, Lonnie. Um, make sure you um, tune in to our Jo next week, but check your baskets out. Don't miss out at all. Uh, coming up. Oh, she's going to like this. Miss P's got the Festival of Japan. Um, oh, I'm a bit jealous. Uh, we're then crafting with clarity to one day special and then designer fabric. Happy hour. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select Network Settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch. 
purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Good morning. We have an amazing show. I always it brings a smile to my face every time that I see Festival of Japan in this casual because it is always a joy to have a little bit of Japan here uh, in the studio, but also look at the really amazing, beautiful colors. And of course, we have Jill who is joining us via Skype. Hello, Jill. Morning, how are you? I'm really good. Always, like every time that we look at what you have brought us, it always brings a smile to my face because you bring a taste of Japan and a beautiful, I love it because it's a little bit of different colors, different textures, absolutely gorgeous. I try my best. It's getting harder because I'm not over there, but I am finding stuff, so you it's do. not too bad. And uh, now, of course, we have, and now correct me if I pronounce it wrong, because this is a big word. Fukubokusu. <laughs> so actually what we've got is Fukubokusu. So Fukubokusu or Fukubokuro means lucky bag Ooh. or lucky box. Fabulous. So, well, I'm not going to pronounce it again because I probably will pronounce it badly again. No, but... you did. That was absolutely spot on. Oh, okay. No, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll <laughs> record that bit and play it whenever I'm feeling down. Uh, right. The lucky bag. What do we get in here? Um, I've gone through all of my lovely papers now. So 
in there. You've got some of my special papers. It's just, it's a perfect pack for journaling, basically. Yeah. So it's adding little bits of paper. Um, the sizes are good. If there's any small bits in there, Paula, it's, it's just because... I've had it extra and I didn't want to throw it away. So if there's any small bits, it's been put in free. So don't panic that you, you know, the teeny tiny bits. Um, it's just great for journaling, scrapbooking. Um, you can stitch into them. It's just Absolutely. fun to look at. Really. And, and the other thing I find with uh, washi paper uh, is that also you can die cut it really well. Not punch, but die cut. Uh, so kind of create your own journals with them as well, like you were saying. Uh, I yeah, love you can put it, stitch it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Love the textures as well. It's nice, isn't it? Uh, so uh, that's mommy gummy. That one. Sorry, can you pronounce that again? Fomi Gummy. Fomi Gummy. And then we have, look at that eyes. Oh, is that a beautiful uh, crane? And, and the crane has a symbolism of luck and auspiciousness in Japanese, isn't well, that, it? Well, that one's actually um, a phoenix. A oh, phoenix. One there. Can you see the tail? It's got lots of oh, yes. stripes coming from it. So, so that's the phoenix, that's that the, one. That's the crane, the red one, right? That's the crane, yeah. And yeah. that's the phoenix with the tail. Oh, I see the difference. That's brilliant to know it. And then, that's of course, like <laughs> oh, I love this. I mean, it's just so many different sizes, so many different uh, beautiful elements. I love also the rice paper as well. Um, although I kind of. I kind of think, I was thinking, uh, I was looking at a, well, I'm watching a documentary about paper from Japan, and they said that it's actually not made from rice, but it's, we call it rice paper. Japanese? Yeah, it, it just, yeah, it's, um, it tends to be a, a, a kozo fiber. Yeah, um, kozo, yeah, kozo. I think the, the trouble is on TV, you can't see, with the one you're holding up at the back, yeah. it, it's printed, so it's got like a, an, an iridescent pattern on it, oh, um, yeah. and it's it's got gold on it, which doesn't come across on TV very well, but the papers are... Absolutely. Yeah, you can see sort of, yeah, yeah the hand spread. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love the, the different possibilities in here as well. Uh, we'll so, of course, the contents will vary a little bit, right? Absolutely. Um, we tend to do paper when we're doing packs. We do it by weight. So you will get exactly the same weight as everybody else. Okay. Um, um, but it, it's just the, the fairest way to do it. And then everybody does have the same amount in their packs. I, I mean, this is just a stunning. Uh, £15 and £99 is uh, your price. As you're saving £8297. 964 is your item number for you. Uh, then we have a larger bundle with uh, even this one has embellishments as well in here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that one. Uh, so this one comes with toppers as well. Uh, the butterflies. Gorgeous. I know, they're really lovely. Um, a nice tip with those butterflies is if you actually burnish them with a soft cloth, yeah. you can get them really shiny. It's just yeah. when they come back to me, they almost have like a dust on yeah. them, Absolutely. which I suppose stops sticking together. Um, just give them a burnish with a cloth and they'll come up really, really shiny. Absolutely. And then look at those uh, papers. I mean, this is like a proper box of treasure in the form of papers because all this, I mean, this is a perfect topper for a card. Then it just a die cut flower and a sentiment. That will be a card. I love the way that you, you have got here, for instance, some gorgeous here uh, I know I f I f again it's a workshop find there's always a workshop find in there somewhere and I must have bought that 30 years ago wow <laughs> Well, but when that's I first the thing. got into buying Japanese things. I think these ones are the kind of thing, the treasures, you know, like kind of a rediscovering. And I, I kind of, the, the thing nowadays, like you were saying, sewing through them, making journals, making like beautiful elements in here as that, well. That that paper there is called Unryu, U-N-Y-R-U, and it's cloud mm. paper. Mm. And it's actually hand stenciled, that one. Wow. So the little stenciled. That's amazing. And I love this as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that's it? Uh, That's just begging to be played with that one. It does, indeed. I, I, oh, just, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I <laughs> love their, oh, look at this. Absolutely amazing papers that you have. And of course, one of my favorites has to be this one. I just adore it. The Japanese That's calligraphy. I mean, it could nice be the shop. shopping list. I mean, it could be saying X yeah, and- Yeah, don't, don't ask me to read that. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say that it's something incredibly beautiful. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is a price, but you're also getting and the coins. Uh, is this, you can make closures with them, can you not? 
Yeah, those will stick on cards. They'll go on quilt making. They're, they'll uh, mix media. Um, the the Japanese coins. They started printing these ones. The one at the end is a real one, which yes. I just noticed. Yeah. See the one at the end, yes. the, the, the round one. That's actually a real five cent, uh, five yen coin. Yeah, it is. So I don't know how that, don't know how that's got in there, but it'll work just the same. Yeah, it will. Um, Absolutely, I love that. They, they, they sent so many of these coins out to craft makers. There were people were taking them home from Japan. They had to start printing them because they were losing so many five yen coins. Oh, I didn't know that. That's amazing. That's so, so you might get one of them. Uh, now, of course, you have got the stickers as well. Uh, did you use them as well for wrapping presents and envelopes? Yeah, use them for tags. Um, I put resin on them. They, they're great to put into jewelry and resin. So you can. You, there's a multitude of uses for Absolutely. those things. And I think there's. Uh, I think there's ten sheets. So there's ninety in there. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. We are saving four pounds. Four five nine seven one three is your item number for the Fuku Bokusu. Uh, you know the large one. Excellent. Uh, oh yes, I got it. Then we have got some uh, hardcover uh, sketch books. We have got a set of three. Uh, you like to do a lot of beautiful work in sketchbooks, don't you, Jill? I've always got a sketchbook with me. I've always got some form of thing I can write in. But the, the trouble is with me, I'm a notebook collector. Yeah. So if I write in a notebook and I don't write it just quite right, I'm afraid I have to have a new notebook. Oh. I'm terrible. <laughs> And they're oh. all terrible. So, so they, they grip little sample books. It, they do. And of course, you could incorporate here uh, beautiful uh, pieces of paper uh, from the bags and, of course, then kind of create uh, different elements and collages and kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's bullet uh, nice paper actually in those. Absolutely. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, $12.99 is your price for a set of three. One, three, one, five, three, seven is your item number. Uh, then we have got Shivori uh, paper. Now, this is just absolutely I and mean, this looks to me like a kim it's paper but it looks like a kimono a men's kimono or yukata um yukata, uh, yeah. fabric this is the most special part of today you're not going to get this anywhere anywhere because no. it comes from the uh, shibori museum in kyoto wow and shibori is uh stitching and tying and tie-dye yes. for want of a better word so if you could imagine one of those papers folded in half yeah uh, you pleat your silk scarf, so uh -huh. it's pleated to the width of a half, so you continue to pleat it until it fits into that piece of paper. This piece of paper starts off white, it's then hand stitched, so the stitches are put through the paper, through the silk, through the paper, so it sandwiches it together. Yeah, yeah. Can I get so it? that what makes the pattern, we put it into the dye, so you actually get the pattern that you can see there will repeat on the scarf, but it will be uh, layered and layered and layered. That is so this, amazing. It's all from original scarves in the museum. Oh, look at that. And you can see that shell pen. And of course, that's why it has the half element. That could be a lovely if you also have book binding or, or journals in here. So nice. you could put them like this. Yeah, I promise you, you're not. And, and obviously, you can stitch back into it. Yeah, I promise you, you're not going to get that paper. Um, anywhere. Yeah, that and is it's, it's a, just a completely unique. Paper. It's absolutely, I mean, it's just incredible. And to know that that comes from the uh, Shibori Museum in Kyoto, that makes it even more special. Right, you are going to get 10 sheets of this, uh, 16 pounds and 49 pence. It feels like a treasure, absolute treasure. 566-688 is your I-10 number. I adore it. This is the mixed media paradise with something incredible, spe incredibly special. 16 pounds and 49 pence, brand new today. Then we have got uh, the Inspiration Car Pack. Uh, now, this one, you're getting 10 sheets, 250 GSM. Uh, Jill, talk us through what we are getting here. Yeah, I'm bringing out loads of new papers. So these, these are stock that we've had on the show before, and we've just discounted them right down. Um, again, it's mixed media. It's card making. These are taken from Ukiyo-e prints or Japanese woodblock prints. Oh, yeah, and it's the style that I paint. So it's for me, it's just really a really important uh, yeah. piece of paper. Oh, and the little dog's cute, isn't it? It is, absolutely. A bit like Janice's dog. 
Oh yeah, the Jack Russell, the little Jack Russell. <laughs> and then and you I have. This is taken from kimono fabric, so this is uh, a pattern that was found on a, a nice kimono that we had. Gorgeous. It's all the colours torn together. You've got some plains, you've got some pearls. And then I need to um, show yeah. you as well the, the stamps, the ones, because they are, I love that. Love that. Yeah, you've got some little little toppers again in there. Um, obviously, that one doesn't need to be Christmas, but it does tend to lend itself with those colours. Does tend to lend lend itself to the Christmas period. But the stickers you can use for the, the stamp, the pattern there, you can use for anything. Uh, fabulous! Nine ninety nine is your price. You are saving three pounds. Uh, five four four two nine two is your item number. Now, uh, r the chrysanthemums are absolutely stunning patterns. Uh, what are we getting here, um, Jill? Completely mixed set of colours, um, all based on chrysanthemum, which is the national flower of Japan. So chrysanthemum is kiku, kiku. Ooh, so I that's that name. I K U. So yeah. you've got kiku, um, and you can draw onto these papers. You can paint onto them. Um, they're uncoated, so you can. Well, it's not paper; it's card really. It is card. Um, yeah. yeah, and I think with a lot of Japanese patterns, the thing. Oh, that's my favourite. It is my favourite. With Japanese too. patterns, the, the less less is more. It is indeed. So you don't need to use loads of it; just use little elements of it. And then you've got a black and white one in there that obviously you can colour whatever colour you want. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Nine ninety nine is your price. Be to one hundred and fifty GSM. You can die cut it and make boxes as well, or just use a score uh, board, uh, scoring board as well. Uh, three a set pound saving. Nine ninety nine is the price for ten of them. Zero five five seven six one is your item number then we have the gorgeous uh, I love this one because it kind of is so much potential it kind of just kind of cutting around this is the backing papers you are getting 21 uh, sheets of paper uh, or card actually I should say uh, again beautiful patterns glorious different ones Oh, that one I, looks like it's spoiled, but it's it, not. It's just the way it that does, we yeah. designed the papers. Now, yeah. would you use them, these ones as well, for mixed media, journals, cards? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do um, something with some of the papers uh, in the demo, so you can see how I'm going to use the papers. Uh, but again, yeah. we've dis it's because we need to get more stock in, and I'm yeah. running out of space. We, I think that's discounted by about eight pounds. This pack. Yeah, it is indeed. Now, uh, Jill, if you want to get ready for that demo, uh, then of course indeed. do get ready for that. You have save uh, save eight pounds saving. Uh, you're just paying sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence, which means it's almost a uh, one third of the price. Four four six seven seven eight is your item number. And then we have one more product to look at is the the glorious King uh, Ginkgo, and of course. That is the uh, tree that is an incredible tree, a uh, symbol of longevity. It can sustain so much, the ginkgo. And uh, you have your paper pack, which is 120 GSM paper. You can see it here, uh, and it says 8 by 8. But also, you are getting the inspiration booklet. And I adore this uh, because you have the different tonals, and it's double sided. So, you have got the ombre effect in there. So, it could be cards, you could be then layer them up. It could be for your uh, kind of, if you wanted to, uh, for your journals as well. I love how it's been printed, but it gives you that idea of the rose gold foiling. And of course, you have have those t different tones. I mean, look at that. This is just stunning. It's such a beautiful ombre. And then you have also the bird in here, different elements that you can bring into it and create an amazing project, paper projects in here. If you want to go for the glorious Ginkgo, you have got the details on the screen. 017979 is your item number. 19 pounds and 49 pence is your price. And of course, saving eight pounds. Jill, are you ready? I am indeed. So take it away. Um, in the show we're doing tonight, we're going to do borrow, and borrow is just using uh, old fabrics to make new fabrics. So, for example, if you had a jacket like this one here, this is a farmer's jacket, it's about 100 years old. Once it starts to uh, get holes in it, then you start to add patches to it. So you can see we've got some patches added to this, and it's just stitched on relatively roughly. Now, this jacket... So it's about 100 years old, wow. and it's worth about £2,000 oh. because of its age and because of the fabric. All right. Um, when you get to the modern versions of Borrow, we get more like this one here. Right. And I know this is fabric, but it does it, it makes sense in a second. 
Okay. Um, so again, we've got the patches stitched in. This is made from scratch, so this one has not been patched to fix it. This has just been patched. So for something like this in Japan, you're talking about three hundred pounds. We're okay. going to do full sporo. Okay. Really easy. So we're going to make something that looks like this. Oh, I see the inspiration. Yeah. Can you see what we've used? Yeah. So in this one, it's just when I when I do my tours, I like to give the ladies and gents something special to keep their tickets in. Um, they get a, a handmade book so they can put notes in. But I wanted to make them something to put their tickets in, and also have the address of the hotel. So we've made this little booklet for them to keep tickets and things in. So you can see we've used the ginkyo paper on the inside, and we've used the borrow on the outside, and we have actually stitched into this. Yeah. On the inside, this is just done with a pen, this section here. So if you don't want to stitch into it, you can make four borrow just with a pen, just the same. The th nice thing about using these scraps of paper is one of those sheets that you've got, once you've cut it up into small pieces, it will go such a long way. Yeah. So you're not using loads of it, you're just using little bits. If you don't want to use it all, just find some nice... Um, blue indigo coloured papers, put those on and just use a little bit of this as an embellishment. So you don't have to use all of this paper. So all we've got is a really simple pocket. So we've just got nice, simple to make. So we've got a piece of A4, nine centimetres, nine centimetres, nine centimetres and one centimetre. So we've scored it at nine and 18. Yeah and 27 so we've got a piece that falls over here perfect then what we're going to do is you're going to cut out this section here this is an angle that you want you can have it straight across if you want to you can have a curve on it you can have it straight it depends on on what you're looking for so we're just going to cut that section out there when you've done that you end up with this little pocket so all i've done i've taken one of the gig cure papers and because the papers, when we designed them, they were actually designed around these colours. They will actually torn, so they torn beautifully in. Yeah, absolutely. With these pants. I mean, the Ginkyo paper is, is absolutely gorgeous paper. It is. So I'm just going to put one piece on the back, and then when we finish it, this is just going to pop down. So we've got our little pocket. On this one, I wanted to see more of the paper, so I just made this pocket shorter from this one. So all I did was I just took it... I took it one step further across and trimmed it so that I could actually see the paper behind because I don't think you want to hide too much of that tape because it's really, really nice. Okay. All we're going to do is you're going to go to the front of your... Well, it doesn't have to be black, but I'm like black. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> oh, well, so do I. <laughs> just a bit. Yeah, and just a bit. Me too. I'm with you. Like oh, I've got that. to say congratulations. Your stuff was gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm, I really oh, want to use it with the Japanese papers now. Yeah, get some, got some of that paper stuck in. Definitely. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the... You can either tear it or you can snip it, whatever you want. And borrow is not an exact science. So you're not cutting exactly square pieces of paper. You're not cutting straight lines. It, it's, it was to use scraps of fabric. So whatever shape you cut is the shape you can use and we're just gonna it's just a collage method of just adding some glue to it don't think too much about where you're putting them we want to overlap because we need to obviously fold that over at the end and then you're just going to start building up your pattern like sure just ordinary glue, PVA glue will work absolutely fine with this. Um, if you've got a fabric glue, that will work as well. So okay. I'm just going to layer in them up. Make two. Okay. I've got about 50 of these to make, so bear with me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Two as a two as a back on track for next year, luckily. So I'm, I'm a happy Good. bunny. We're looking forward to. Nice. Oh, and of course you can find more information about those ones uh, through Facebook. You have uh, as well Festival of Japan or Jill Play. If you look for that uh, for Jill on online, you will find it. So I'm just adding more and more of this. Um, this is going to take me a couple of minutes, so bear with me. 
until I get this bit done. Okay. It's nice and fast. It's not. It's not. I don't like things that take too much time. Even my watercolors, Fast and Furious. Yeah, uh, look at the, uh, I need to, uh, sorry, interrupt uh, one second because half the stock of the Shibori papers has gone. This is something incredible. I mean, I'm a much self lover of Japan and Japanese paper and I had never seen something like this. Uh, it, and knowing the story, knowing that this has been used for the silk, uh, pay, silk scarves to dye the tie dye them, it makes it even more special. It has like history. It has that crafty, craftiness. Uh, the masters are crafts of Japan and the way that I kind of see it will make the most beautiful spines the most beautiful elements just tiny pieces will make it incredible our texture color subtle um, you know elements pattern as well incredibly beautiful and delicate in terms of uh, and it's delicate in the way that it presents itself but not delicate in the way of the inner strength of the paper if you want yours, well, half the stock has gone. Make sure to check out your baskets. 16 pounds and 49 pence is the price. 566-688 is your item number. Let's get back to tell. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So the, the owner of the, uh, the shop, it's run by a family, the, the museum. Uh, many of my ladies I know are watching and they've, they've actually been there and, and actually had a go at making this, the scarves themselves. Yeah. Um, the family are absolutely amazing. They're, they're so kind. It's three generations. It, in Japan, if you show an interest in something, even if it is something like in a museum, they will go to their nth degree, as many crafters do all over the world, to help you. Okay. So they will give you all of the information that you could possibly need. The only thing I do get in trouble for is taking my ladies and gents up to the shop. Oh. Because that's, yeah, that's quite scary. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, they do, they do come out with, uh, with big bags. Uh, yeah, big bags when full I of things. Yeah. When I went to Japan, it was, uh, we were backpacking actually, and um, we had a big roll of paper coming up for a half of our trip because I could not stop by. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like for me? Oh, yes. I mean, I, I, I can order, I, I do order my stuff from companies, you know, over the internet, but I I like to, to get hands on and, and actually feel the things that I'm buying. I like to be able to see it, you know, to make sure it's exactly what we want. I, you know, I don't want to bring something back that isn't what we want. So we're just going to fold that over onto the inside. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen when we do the book binding, but to make a nice sharp corner here, all you're going to do is just go in there with your thumbnail okay. or your fingernail yeah. and give it a good crease. And that way, when you fold that over, you're going to get a really nice fold on because there. Especially the Shivori paper it has like a fabric-like feel to it. So it This will... is very much like fabric, yeah. yeah. It's very, very much like fabric. So again, just thumbnail or fingernail, crease it into there. And then when you fold it over, you're going to get a really nice sharp point on the edge there. So it's really nice and sharp. So that's how easy it is to prepare the front. I mean, that is extremely simple. What we need to do now is we need to start putting some holes in for the stitching. You can stitch straight into it, but you're going to need to be strong. So what I've got is just a piece of uh, polystyrene, high bee needle and a uh, bradle. So all we're going to do is, you can do it in straight lines if you want, depending on, you know, if you're a neat person. I tend not to be. Oh. You can come in there, and all we're going to do is just going to actually put in our holes like that. Okay. It doesn't have to be a sashiko ratio stitch. What, what is a sh sashiko uh, ratio stitch? Well, a, a, a running stitch is, is an equidistant, so uh, it would be an inch, so we're talking inches, an, an inch stitch with an inch gap, okay. an inch stitch, an yeah. inch gap. One, one. Yeah. When you're doing sashiko, it's a two inch stitch with a one inch gap, so okay. it's a two to one yeah. ratio, so the, the gap is smaller than the stitch. Okay. You yeah. can do that if you want to, if you're not feeling that way inclined, you can do any stitches yeah. you want to here so you're just gonna add them in i must admit it is difficult to get through the card and the 
paper if you don't put these holes in first. So yeah. You're just going to start putting holes, many of you as you want. So you can see on here. Yeah. Can uh, you can do yeah. circles, you can do squiggly lines. You can use sashi core thread if you want to, or you can just use any thread that you've got. So you can put uh, gold glitters. Um, you can add a, a soft gold embellishment over the top of this. Do some embossing on it. It'll work with any other medium. The only thing it won't work with are the white pens. Uh, these famous brand of white pens. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, if you put that onto there, it will just soak straight into the paper. Yeah. So you won't have a white line if you want to draw them on. That's why this one here has gold and silver. Because the gold and silver will go over the top of this, but the white one won't. So we're going to add some squiggly lines in here. So we're going to go around in a circle. And of course, if, if somebody has like a template, they could use even, uh, you know, quilting templates and things like that to follow the rules. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Anything, anything sashiko related, you can stitch a name into it. You can stitch, you know, a design or you just anything you want. This is now just a blank piece of work ready to put your stamp on it. So we're going to do some nice circles. Yeah. I think that the main thing to bear in mind is um, don't stress too much. We're not we're not in in this game for stressing, and I know a lot of people do. If your lines aren't exactly straight, it doesn't matter. It's borrow. This line isn't straight, but it wouldn't be in an original piece of fabric. So you, you know, don't don't think everything has to be perfect. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I'm perfect. <laughs> of course you are. Sure, you laugh. <laughs> no, no, you are. I just, I'm, 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 I'm truly not. If I could turn my camera around and show you my workroom, this 12-inch uh, square is the only tidy place. The rest well, of it is just like isn't a tick. It, Isn't it the it, Japanese way, the wabi-sabi, the kind of almost absolutely perfect not. imperfection? Absolutely not. The, the Japanese say I should be nice and tidy, but if you actually go into a real Japanese house, yeah. they're yeah. so small that you will see that everything is piled up. Yes, I have. Every yeah. possible yeah. corner is mm -hmm. full of things. If you go into a cafe, when we expect to go into a cafe, we expect to see you know, the, the, everything beautiful behind the counter. In Japan, everything they use is out on display. Yeah. So I think a lot of people get quite shocked with that when they, you know, when they go into houses and they expect them to be What's, minimalist. What surprised me because I was there for a week with a Japanese family is the fact that you had everything messy, but they had it kind of hide it away. They could close the doors, they, you know, the sliding doors, and kind of it was there was that sort of element of mess hidden away, which I, yes. which I really like. Famous thing of opening the doors and everything falls out. <laughs> yes, it's that, that sort of may thing. Yeah, we have we happened. were totally shocked the first time we went to a friend's house, and there was literally just enough space to sit on the floor, oh, and that was oh. it. Because they they have they they're, they're consumerists like we are. They want things, but they haven't got anywhere to put them. Yeah. yeah. So most of the rooms are multi-purpose. So the they the are, bedroom yeah. will will be the sitting room. Will be the workroom. Will be the yoga room. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, can we do a quick recap one, uh, for, can, before the next uh, thread? thread. Uh, right. Uh, so um, while uh, Jill gets uh, that thread, uh, let's have a look at those beautiful uh, lucky bags in here. The Fukubokusu. Uh, oh, Fukubokusu. Uh, God, I love that word. I know it's going to be my na next favorite word. Uh, you had the lucky bags with those beautiful papers. It's just the most absolutely stunning. Of course, it will be a lucky dip. Uh, it's weighted, so therefore it's a weight and rather than actually um, a single elements in here. But you may have some of them, the ones that have been dyed, hand dyed, some of them that, oh, look at that, those patterns. I mean, think about it, sew them together, create a journal in which you can then put maybe a picture, maybe you can want to put codes. Like, see, for instance, I, this is one of the things I love. When I, when I read a book and I get this a nice, interesting quote, even if it's something that the, doesn't necessarily particularly apply to me, but may apply to a friend or something like this, I like to take a picture and then you could print those pictures and put them in here.
then think about doing something like that or just kind of if you want more decorative uh, memory books as well that would work very well love papers like this with that beautiful japanese i'm not sure if this way uh that how it comes in i mean who knows what it says it doesn't matter the beauty of the stroke is what matters here look at those beautiful a uh, paper papers uh, it's a paper fabric kind of thing book binding again so perfect for your art journals as well bookmarks things so things like that 15 pounds and 99 pence is uh the price for this one a saving eight eight pounds a quarter of the stock has gone to nine seven nine six eight four is your item number it is a fabulous bundle then we have a bigger kit here because this one also you have the papers in here and you have also the coins you have got the toppers you have got those beautiful butterflies as well so if i put for instance the butterfly here you can see it the glorious nature of that filigree it's kind of a, an element of you know kind of laminated foil so then it but it still can get some shape into it and of course that means that you could do a mobile imagine to kind of sew them together because you are getting plenty of them and of course you could have some leds inside it you can get in a beautiful array of silk screen japanese papers in different sizes look at this one with glitter as well then you are getting this gorgeous cord. Now, one of the things I was a strike, I can uh, strike by is the cards that they hand out. They give these envelopes, right? Wrap it around. This is the cord that they use. You also get the coin, kind of the seal, so they go through it. There are so many possibilities, so many elements into here. You can use this as buttons as well. So you have got a, like a closure. You are doing a little bag. You could use this one as well. But for me, it's the papers in here. I absolutely adore. It. I mean, you could then put something like this, put a sentiment in here, maybe use these cords through it. Uh, now, over 30% of the stock has gone, and it's, this is the kind of thing that kind of bring it in. Then here you have a topper for your card, and then you could say best wishes or whatever sentiment you want to put. Right, so this is absolutely glorious. You have the stickers as well, so you're having 10 sheets of these, so you're getting 90 stickers in total. Perfect for gift wrapping as well. And of course, you've got plenty more papers in here. Glorious. Can I show, show you a couple more? Because it's just... Uh. It's just something so beautiful. But, and this is washi, this is Japanese paper. Washi means j uh, Japanese paper. And of course, it has that nature that if you like, if you, for instance, use um, gel mediums, you can use them as collage as well. That looks really good if you have, for instance, um, you want to upcycle like beautiful pieces of like frames or things like that. Treat it as rice paper. Uh, and of course, get, make sure that you just varnish it on top and then you can use it in different ways. It's it is extraordinary to work with. You can sew with it. You can die cut it. The only thing I wouldn't recommend is punching, paper punching, but die cutting works beautifully. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving four pounds. Four, five, nine, seven, one, three is your item and number. Then we have the notebooks here. We have got a set of three of them or the sketchbooks. Now you have the page. It's a nice chunky one. So you have got lots of different pages. Uh, and we are busy for this, approaching 60% of the sketchbooks. Now, you are getting all three of them for $12.99. Think about bringing your paper, papers into here. And think about maybe you are uh, trying to do sketching, trying to learn how to draw. This could be the perfect way. Or again, a companion piece where you are reading and taking those, you know, those quotes that you can want to remember. 131537 is your item number for this one. Really love to have those notebooks and if you are like Jill and myself that you're a notebook collection that would be perfect to have then for me the start of the show though it has to be the Shibori papers and uh, we are two-thirds of the stock gone this is incredibly unique the fact that it comes from Shibori Museum in Kyoto makes it even more special this is not printed paper. This is a paper that has been used to dye your silk scarf, well, the silk scarves. Think about it, Fold, fold it into here, then fold it again, sewn in, and then dyed. 
this makes it completely unique. I love how you can see it here, how the dye has penetrated throughout. But look at the nature of it. It's irregular, it's imperfect, but it has that wabi-sabi uh, feel, the wabi Japanese, that has the beauty of the stitching detail. You know it has been used, you know it has a history, you know it has been handled for by master craftsmen in Japan, in Kyoto. That makes it incredibly unique and like a little bit of treasure. 16 pounds and 49 pence is your price. 566688. Oh, perfect bookmarks as well. Can you imagine a bookmark like this? Oh, gorgeous. Anyway, let's join, uh, rejoin Jill via Skype. Are you there? I am here. Can you see how fast it is to actually get wow. this done? That's glorious. That's so you can, you can really go to town on this. Can I just say about the papers and punching them, if you put them between um, the sort of the washi, if you put that between some cartridge paper, you can actually get quite a sharp uh, punch from them. But layer them with uh, either greaseproof paper or cartridge paper either side, and then they'll go through the punch really easy. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Right, so we're going to... Just continue doing some more stitches on this. Yeah. This is so relaxing. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do some more of these this afternoon. Oh, that's so all nice. we're doing is literally stitching through. Because we've glued these down, it doesn't matter that we don't catch every edge. Um, they're nice if they're ragged. So with this paper, rather than cutting it, just tear some nice random shapes from it, oh, yeah. and that's give you another detail again and you can actually see the fibers on this so this is washi paper so this is a corso paper as well which is why it stands up and it's really strong it's stronger than people imagine but it's even weak so the fibers in this are very small which means you can tear it if the fibers are big then you won't successfully be able to tear oh, it down I see. Yeah. Because cross the lines but this is a very small weave so this will tear really easily save all your teeny tiny bits if you can imagine one of those pieces of those strips of that paper is, is bigger than this piece here so one piece you know random will, will actually cover the whole front of one of these so 10 sheets goes a very very long way like I said intersperse it with some of this maybe so oh, lay that, down yeah you know, lay down some colours on top of there. Colours will all tone together. I mean, purple and purple and lime green together are just my favourite things. Oh, that looks fresh and beautiful, vibrant. But really sharp. And even on the darker ones, so like this this one here, it will still work on the darker ones. So maybe pull out some of the green and the blues. But they will all go together. I think that's... I keep saying that the thing about Japanese culture is they use a lot of colours. They do. But very elegantly, the always. The, the, the colours the colors go together because they believe that everything is from nature. Yes. So all of these colours you will find in nature somewhere. So if nature can make it work, we can make it work. Mm -hmm. So I think sticking to a colour theme is really nice. So, so this one is all blues and greens and purples. But mix it up a bit, stick some red in there. These little uh, money pockets that I've made. So oh, just with I it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that'll just that'll just slide into there as well. So fabulous. Yeah. So and and that red is now bringing out this red. Because traditional yeah. sashiko thread is red and cream. Um, so this is red, creams and blues, which is actually going to tone in there. So this is what my ladies will get their tickets in, oh, sort of their rail passes and their, their various tickets. So we've made lots of different envelopes just with the paper that you've got there in the packs. Yeah, fabulous. Just, yeah, and these this will make uh, two envelopes. Right. Just a standard, right. standard easy shape of an envelope. It's, do you know what? I'm going to get so shouted at from my mother-in-law. Oh, right. Oh. And I do apologise. I keep saying everything and not oh, everything. Oh, well. And it really uh, was. So I do apologise, Chris. Well, <laughs> I, can I apologise for every word that I say then, Chris? Because probably I do say so many words wrong. I'm not so. like you. 
No, she likes you. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> right, can I did remind everybody to check out their baskets because the Japanese paper on top of the, uh, right, uh, the details are coming up for that. Uh, now, it's the big size, so the Fuko Bokusu, uh, big bundle uh, with the toppers as well. Uh, you, uh, We are very busy for this. 40% of the stock has gone. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving four pounds. 459713 is your item number. Uh, now, in, of course, the sketchbooks uh, we have out here are uh, gorgeous, beautiful uh, notebooks. And they're here. Uh, now, I love that they are hard covered. I love the chunky nature, but still, it's a smaller size in the pages in the themselves. 60% uh, of the stock has gone. This is a perfect book to have right beside your bed to kind of think maybe less, maybe kind of the thoughts. A dream journal, apparently. Oh, can I say something? Somebody dreamt that I became um, queen, uh, the Catherine of Aragon, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> uh, but a queen I became a queen uh, and then Emily, our director, she dreamt that I kind of, uh, the producer, sorry, not director, uh, producer, uh, she dreamt that I came up with scissors. Don't know where that come from. Uh, anyway, but that could be a dream journal, so you have it in your bed, right beside your bed, or it could be a quote. I really think that a quote book would be amazing, or it could be an art journal or a sketchbook, or it could be a travel ideas, a destination, or it could be something for recipes. It could be whatever you want it to be. It's a hardcover sketchbook. 60% of the stock has gone. 12.99 is your price. Uh, now, we very busy for the Shivori uh, beautiful uh, papers. I am completely and madly in love with them. It's something incredible. The history of it. I mean, you look at them and they are beautiful, but the history of them, the fact that they have been used uh, in Kyoto to hand dye the beautiful silk scarves, the fact that you have got the stitch lines, the texture, the color, how it kind of goes in, it's just incredible. The fact that it will fold nicely, the fact that it is just extraordinary detail, the fact that you can then bend it over, create the most beautiful bookmarks as well, or kind of elements. I really like the idea of gluing it into the, the journal or a stitching and then creating like a book band in here. Look at that. How gorgeous does it look? It's just something incredibly organic. It's, it's so tactile as well. When you touch it, you want to touch it. Uh, 16 pounds and 90, 49 pence is your price. 566688 is your item number. We also have the Inspiration Car Park with inspired by the winter scenes of Japan and those beautiful, you can see here, this temple. Oh, Japan, I miss it so much. And those beautiful kimono prints as well, the fabrics, the papers. You can see in here the little Jack Russell going to the temple. And you can see as well the fact that you are getting them imprinted into 150 GSM. So it's cards in here that you are getting. And that means that you can create beautiful toppers and beautiful cards as well. Look at those. I mean, those beautiful stamps, those beautiful elements in here that are oh, the Honshu Islands as well there that they have you know predominance the the stamp postmark in there the Mount Fuji the sushi the teapot for the tea ceremony the beautiful chrysanthemum there kind of that geometric nature the raising uh, the raising sun as well those gorgeous vertical sentiments that reminiscent of the Japanese uh, calligraphy as well. You have all of that in those beautiful 10 sheets of uh, the Inspiration Car Pack. 9.99 is your price. Saving three pounds, 544.292 is your item number. Right, uh, Jill, we have got 10 minutes left. So are you going to, do you have got something ready for us? Yeah, I'm nearly finished with this one. Well, I, um, on the toppers um, pack, I, I've just remembered I did add quite a big pack of paper scraps into each one. So you'll get a nice surprise oh. pack of paper scraps as well. Uh, I, I will never have enough years in my life to use them all. So I just bagged them up and put them in as a freebie into okay. the pack so you're going to get a nice uh pack of small bits as well Fabulous. which are infinitely usable oh. so i'm going to pop that onto there okay that's covering all the stitching yeah. so we got stitched at the front i've drawn some and i've stitched some whatever i fancied but i've i've 
I tend to try and leave the, the, the stitch marks from the paper itself rather than trying to follow those because I think that's just such a, a lovely, interesting uh, thing to see. And with this, all we're going to do now is we're just going to get some glue. Um, I'm going to make a full pocket. You don't need to stick the whole thing down if you don't want to. So you can leave it loose at one side. Fold that over. You can um, embellish this beforehand or afterwards, but what I'm going to do on mine is I'm going to uh, do some calligraphy and put everybody's name on here. Oh, so I'm that's just going nice. to put their name on there in calligraphy. And then you've got a perfect little pocket oh, to put your things in. Fabulous. That's All gorgeous. I did to finish the back, um, I stuck some sashiko thread on here. I did attach it down first with some. Uh, masking tape and then put a piece of torn paper over the top of it oh, so that nice. it does have a really good bond and it's not going to yeah. come off and then they can fasten their little booklet yeah absolutely gorgeous i love this and this of course then it will be part of the memories to treasure from a trip to japan or it could be just a trip to well to where are you based actually and jill we're based in Kyoto when we're in Japan. Okay. Uh, we travel, we, we do textiles, so we travel to, there's a, a museum near Fuji oh. called Ichiku Kubota. Oh. Uh, we, go to, we go to the home of the gods, Izumo, and apparently it's where the gods go on holiday. Yes, that, that's but, one of the yeah. places I haven't been to, and I need to go back oh, to should, Monte Izumo. Yeah. We really should get to Izumo. Is it's Izumo? near the beach as well, so we get to go to see the seaside. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, well, we went to Miyajima Island as well, so we kind of saw that as well. But it's Miyajima just... or Miyajima, we spent uh, my fiftieth birthday and my mum and mum and dad's fiftieth uh, wedding anniversary there. Oh. That's amazing. Anyway, those are beautiful memories from Japan. But this is like, you don't need to have been to Japan to celebrate Japanese culture, to celebrate the beauty of the papers, to celebrate the fact that it's an incredible, uh, you know, culture.